Oh, hello everybody. It's been a while. We uh we're doing memes today. <gasps> Why? We're we're doing memes. Sure are. Do it doing the memes. Doing doing the memes. Doing doing the memes. And I feel like we should just hit the ball rolling and hit the ground bowling. Um yeah. my balls. Get straight Stop. to the point. Check it out. Ch -ch Check it. Quick 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 quib gift. These are the people that sponsored the EFAP episode. Uh, Rags, That's true. Oh, thank you very much for Quib Gift sponsoring that oh. episode. That episode wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Quib Gift. Quib Gift, the ultimate puzzle dodecahedron with added sock. Uh, look so, at the about uh, oh, page. I wasn't there for the May May. Can I get a Redux Digest version of that? Well, this this <laughs> website explains it. Uh, Quib Gift. Yeah, the luckily now that this uh, website, which has always huh. been around, because this is Quib Gift, our sponsor. Mm -hmm. uh, now that it exists. Okay, All sure. of you All right. can experience the joy and happiness that's brought by Quib Gift <laughs> to thousands of people every year. The world's best subscription service for using your brain and also increasing your sock collection. At the end of each month, a hand-curated dodecahedron will be sent to your address of your choice with a puzzle on the topmost face. After completing the simple puzzle, the dodecahedron will open up and reveal the secret unique prize inside. Sick. Uh, they're one of the most successful companies in history, I think, right? They're, uh, oh, they're going to be buying out Amazon oh, like, soon. Revenue oh, nice. like every year, two hundred billion, something like that. Yeah, I think it would. I mean, in the timing too, right when Amazon was on the verge of overtaking Walmart, mm -hmm. Quib Gift comes in the just dark horse, in, yeah, the Dodeca horse, and just steals it. The Dodeca horse with its Dodeca legs and Dodeca hooves and Dodeca face, just running up. I think the most important part is the mascot Dodeca is a Dodeca mind. dodo. In our guaranteed to be... sock? Fuck well, yeah. I was going to say, they do guarantee the sock. Uh, I think they didn't used to, because it was more of like a loot box type thing, but we, we, we said we're not going to be taking them on if they're, if they're running with that. And so we had a huge influence on their, um, their sort of sales and stuff, which I feel like it's a good mm -hmm. partnership in a lot of ways. Um, in an effort to be 100% environmentally friendly, we have specifically designed the dodecahedron, the gifts inside, to not only be made of su sustainable materials, but to also be completely recyclable. The dodecahedron is also made of 100% recycled materials, which, again, that was something that we actually we request. Uh, we're very green here on EFAP. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when you upgrade to a SOC subscription, which can also be done by entering a valid referral code, you will not only receive the surprise prize inside, but it'll also be accompanied by a random SOC. Like... They wanted to keep the randomized element of the sock, but the sock was guaranteed, which yeah, I'm okay I think with. The only thing that isn't random is the the quality of the sock. Yes, they're all great. All the yeah, socks all are like, very impressive. You'll put those socks on and be like, "Man, did God make these? Are you they're wearing so your socks now? Mm -hmm. Is this the God sock of legend? That's true. Yeah, the one that he made on the seventh day when he sat back and looked over everything and was like it is good like these socks they're so good that's right it's not in the bible but on the darn of the eighth day um, wait wasn't wasn't that a like a a, a, a collab from all the gods together they created the perfect right, sock. yeah no you're right it wasn't just yeah. god yeah i think that slipped under Zeus, the radar for everybody yeah yeah Zeus, because if you ask uh, which god you'll say yes um, the Anubis, they're all, all right. just like, man, these Rack, socks. Sometimes I just don't find it funny, though, you know? You have to accept oh, this I don't, possibility. I don't think they, I just think no one, no one got it. Oh, got oh, it. Uh, fun fun. Looks like they got it, there you go. <laughs> Welcome to Fun Town, everyone. If you subscribe for more than yeah. a month, it means you can get a large variety of socks for every occasion. Socks inside And all range. the socks are guaranteed to have one hole each. Mm -hmm. oh, sick. Got hiking socks, stockings, cotton socks, a blend of different socks, not biblically moral, which kind of sock you will get. Uh, if you choose our charity subscription, the first added bonus is the inclusion of Tola socks to add to the rest of the gifts inside the dodecahedron. Tola socks are a new fashion trend, which Quib Gift are getting in early for. It's like fingerless gloves and ripped jeans. Tola socks are rising in the fashion market, which is why Quib Gift has decided to include them. And the hits don't stop. Quib Gift has partnered with Ugandan Foot Children's Fund, which can help you. Uh, you can help if you choose our charity subscription. So it's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Um, kind of like there's just there's so much to discover on this site. It's uh very detailed. You got several tiers. I know a lot of people don't like to just have the one tier. 
So um, like the 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 seven pounds, I guess is this, this is a this is a British company. I, I knew that. I was just making sure everyone else understood that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get the dodecahedron with the puzzle surprise gift, and then uh, upgrade tiers with referral code. But you know, if you if you get more, you get the thirty day money back guarantee. I would say that's pretty good for two pound extra. Very and then fair, if you go for the top fair. tier, you get the Tola socks. Um, you keep Ugandan orphans warm, and you help others while having fun. Which, again, mm -hmm. is, how wonderful is that? Impressive yeah, beyond measure. It's, uh, um, it's, it's real nice. Yeah, there's, there's some parts of the website that aren't fully complete, but I'd, I'd say most of it is just beautiful and well done. So, um, yeah, Quib Gift. As, Quib Gift. Yeah. As we, as we established before uh, in the lore, as you know, um, every time you buy some toeless socks, those sockless toes, those are given to the Ugandan orphans to keep their toes warm Little toesy on those old warm. Ugandan nights. I was going to say, if that's not Ugandan charity, Knights. I don't know what That sounds like a great band. Ugandan <laughs> Knights. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like it. And now, for the, the, me posting to you guys loads of plushy images... Yeah, Woo! go! I'm just gonna keep posting them, because there's so okay. many of them. We'll start... I, I think I managed to format them into me, then rags, then me and rags. Alright? Beautiful. God. We we have a lot here. Beautiful little <laughs> plunchos. It's almost... it's hard for me to click the individual tabs. They're so small. <laughs> they're yeah. microscopic. Oh, check out that gorgeous little rago in the middle there. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look oh, at him. He's fancy. Oh, dang. Oh, glowing. Reading rainbow. A godlike rags. Shiva dog in the sky. Do, do, do. Yeah, these were a, uh, a wonderful what? What? success. Portrait? People love the what pollutions. What's that portrait of? The guy with a bag on his head? <laughs> Do you not have one Is of that those? Framed? Do you, do you, a framed picture of someone with a bag on their head? I kind of want that for my house now. Just like just put it right someone with a bag on their head. I wasn't yeah, sure this, if everyone let's else Let's bust out the, the good frame me. for this one. It represents life. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I'm hanging with a spooder. Trying to learn about the future. Hey! Oh, I, 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 I saved a spider bro today as well. Nice. That's, got him out of my house. That's actually yeah. pretty cool having that little look at that spider. He's probably friendly. <laughs> probably. Yeah, he probably is, Fringy. <laughs> probably is. He'd be non Australian, so he'd be nice and friendly. <laughs> so he isn't here to kill you. I do like dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Oh, look, now I'm hanging out with other critters, but they're not. These ones are a little less alive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but still. Oh, man. They're doing a, oh. doing a Jesus up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at me hanging out with a. What is this monster? Well, the movie's just called Monster, I guess. Naoki or a. Where's it a book? I think that's a book. <laughs> there was a VHS. It could be one of those mangies that they read, that the virgins Manga. read. Yep, yep. Oh, Mangies. look at that. Even I have a, a godlike image. <laughs> I have joined a family of plushies. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, it's really yeah. good. <laughs> Okay. This is a Toy Story what, what, setup right here. We got, a, we got a we got a, a Yashi back there, yeah. and we have a Pikachu, and we have another Pikachu who seems to have been swallowed by something else. Mm. We have an like a Isabel bigger Pikachu from the Animal Crossing game. We have. Oh. Is it a plushie of a? What's the one on the right? It's just it's a drink it's in like a, a cozy bottle. Very it's a, it's cozy a happy champagne. Drink. Yeah, it looks a like a little neck. champagne bottle or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's alive. It's terrifying because it's just oh, a yeah. bottle. Mm -hmm. Every time it tries to move, it just tips itself over and it gets sad. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! Look at me doing a read. Can you believe it? What, oh, no, I can't because I can't read. The, the Fellowship of the Ring! <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Wow. Oh. I mean, it's, it's, it's good content. Undeniable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here I am, in a candid photo, watching my potential owner playing some Dragon Ball. Well, watching some Dragon Ball. Yeah, no, it's says... Ooh. Well, yeah. it's a DVD. It's a DVD. You're watching, You're watching Blu -ray. someone watch Dragon Ball. Yeah. yeah. Which is normal. Which is... Well, it's probably more entertaining <laughs> for half of it. 
Yeah, probably. Hmm. I just oh, having, a little, having a little ride. Yeah, this is the thing. The plushies—they get up into all kinds of adventures. That creature. Yeah. Just running around the world. You know, sometimes plushie might just play a PS2 game. <gasps> oh boy! Van Helsing. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did they? Is there a GameCube one? Could you dolphin the... that? So, I think I've actually tried to set it up on the PS2 emulator. That will happen eventually. I've, I've been trying to get it to work better. I might wait nice. until I get the new PC, because this one is kind of dying on me. Oh, okay. You need to tell me if it's any good, so I can play it on stream as well. <laughs> Van Helsing <laughs> game? Maybe. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Not... I even get I along with cats. Can you believe a... it? There was never a game for the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, I don't think. I'd imagine not, but even if they were, it probably would have been ass. Yeah, probably. Oh, look at that. Casper, like, what are you doing here? That cat's gonna <laughs> knock you tree. down. This is my, this is my kingdom. <laughs> cats just, you know, they get a little territorial, as you do. Oh, we might be in the rag section now. Oh my goodness. So, start. That little. That oh little my god. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. Mondays are all right. Oh, no. I, I, I don't. Maybe I didn't format these that well. <laughs> <laughs> who, is, who is that up there? What creature is this? Who is that up there watching this? Slow, creepy fucker. Is, it's that's like what a, it is. It's like a Muppet mixed with a Sesame Street character mixed with Lupin the Third. You know, he kind of looks like uh, he, he kind of looked that guy from Nintendo, Reggie. <laughs> oh. But if he got stretched out. Yeah, he's got a long head. Like if someone, like, they tried to dry him, so they twisted him, and he just sort of <laughs> stayed Good there. God, Didn't how many times turn. could Rags get drunk from this? Like oh, a uh, yeah. 50 <laughs> times. Yes. Maybe that small Who? amount, yes. Who's that on the poster? Uh, what's his name? He played Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. Justin Trudeau? Oh, that's Aiden Gillen, right? <laughs> that's it, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. At a glance, I thought that was Todd Howard. I, I couldn't tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a bit like Todd Howard. It does a little bit like a... Pickles? Todd, yeah. mm. Pickles. You know, well, no. are, I'm, I, don't, I actually don't like pickles. What? I said I don't actually like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Well, Not I love zucchini. Them. Maybe they are here to repel... Evil spirits or something. Vampires. Mm. Pickles repel vampires. That's part of the lore. Yeah. That's the deep lore. Yeah. Pickles. That's some deep pickle lore. Piccolo. He was in Dragon Ball Z. And he was made True. of pickles. Yeah. <laughs> he was green, so yeah. Still very narrowly selecting these fucking tabs. Eh. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we got rags and mooblas popping up just every which way where. <clears throat> Sometimes my hair is very excited. I'm going, to say, I'm going Super you Saiyan. I'm going Super Saiyan. See, we're keeping the Dragon Ball thing going. Yeah. Some people floof up your ears. Some let them lo lob down. You know, yeah. it's, that's you the fourth variety. time I've seen that little blue I... bag. Does that is that what they come in? Or... Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was about to say I it's like, like my... is that just the same? Pretty good quality bag as well. It's pretty nice. Yeah, you can use well, it. Well, don't for... you know? Haven't yours arrived, Das? I hadn't ordered any. Wow. wow. Okay. Get out. My, my Mubes one is okay. uh, inbound. <laughs> yes. Rags, is that a shelf of manga? It looks like a shelf of wood. And on that shelf, there is school right. prodigies have it when I... S what is that? <laughs> Why does that... Fucking weird ass name. School is it high school? It pro it's probably oh, shit, high that's, school. That's sold out online. That's be... famously oh, bad no. anime. Maybe it's a good manga. <laughs> high school prodigies have it so clean. Do it. This is rags right now. Oh my goodness! I'm trying to read the anime. Squinting really hard. And look at this. When they're watching some some Gary streams, rags is right there. Yeah, just staring at you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> something, something so wonderfully juxtaposed about this image. That looks like a cozy room. <laughs> also, nice. nice. What gun is that? Looks like an AR-15. Right. 
Oh yeah? Well what gun is this? <gasps> that looks a, like a lesson, right? It's a Colt. Oh, there you go. Because it says Colt. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ah, I probably should have read that first, yeah. <laughs> Did you say Smith and Wesson because of Grandpa Simpson? I It's a Colt peacemaker. Oh, peacemaker. Because nah, we tell people to make peace army. with the fact that movies are crap. Oh. <laughs> and 45. It's my old Smith and Wesson. Better be, if you're going to play with it, be careful. It's loaded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's loaded. Well, this is like Grandpa that he's like, well, they got to learn about it someday or something like that. I don't know. Grandpa's that fucking aired, great. I thought Grandpa did it. Oh, my God, right? Grandpa, look look at you in your element here. Just. Oh, my goodness. We have Sailor <laughs> 5. We have Sailor. We have uh, Queen, Club. Sailor Queen Barrel. And Queen a barrel, Daddy. that's like a little, that's like a, um, what's it called? It's like a little stone, a little cool looking rock, right? And look, there's even little paper craft you and Mooler. Yeah. And that's right, right there is. It was un underneath Sailor 5. It's in the Sailor Moon Funko Pop. Hiding away in the corner there. Hiding yep. away. And watching you. So many rude Amazon plushies. Basics keyboard. Oh, look, going for a little ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I hope I don't want to get a uh, the the sun, you know, over time the sun will change my color, so. Yeah, I'm getting ready to watch that EFAP Batlog, huh? EFAP take number a one. <laughs> you, just, you can only watch one show before you die. <laughs> You're just been recommending me the first EFAP episode like uh, so if the show ends and you die, then you should be okay. That image of Jared though, it really does scream to me that it's like a painting of him in the Renaissance. <laughs> it really it, it really does. Jared Janisa. Janisa, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, two rags. <gasps> dun, 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 now there are two of them. Okay, now back to one. Tarsen. Now there are, there's only one. One of them went away. <laughs> oh my god, they put in the super chat with it? Oh, Surprise, it's bees. Hi, Rags. What? Oh, hi. I Rags got a sword back there. Fun mediatisms here. While yeah. you're playing something. Mm. What is that? Uh... Looks like Pokey. Oh, oh no, my someone God, else the door is open. No. <laughs> oh, no. It ain't right. <laughs> it ain't right. God damn it. No. This Stop is clearly it. evidence that they opened the door and you were like, whoa, Wait. this is right before you went, whoa. <laughs> toilet paper storage. It's on like a, like it's on the, it's yeah. on some it's on sort of a peg. Like it, like they had a paper towel thing and they put the, the TP on it. Yeah. I don't know. It's that's, is that unusual for you guys? Kind yeah. of. We have ours on the wall. Yeah. It's on the wall. It's on a roller on the wall. Mm -hmm. No. So they have a roller too. Can you not see it? No. No. Right there. It's on the floor. It's underneath yeah. the towel. Can you not can you not see it? Oh wait, That's is that, not, is that a, roller? <laughs> like a roller? Now that I've zoomed <laughs> in, it is not a wait. <laughs> you're right. Where is oh because I just assumed that was it. So where is the little thing? I guess they have to just where pick it up and floor, un unwrap it themselves, huh? Yeah. Where is it? Well because I can or... I can understand that thing on the floor as a as storage for additional you know. yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, the yeah. primary. It's not like what you pull it straight from, unless you're sure. supposed to stack it like three high and you go off the top. But even then, that's odd, because yeah. once you're done, does it just sort of like? <laughs> I think the piss that took this photo was expected. Because it's this. loose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you should expect the unexpected. No, is the roller is on the right side of the door. You fool! I have to get up to use it. I like that one. It's cool. Oh no! Oh my god! It's so huge. It's Han and, and Chewie, and Chubica. also Mahler and Rags. These are our our candid group group photos now. You see us hanging out. Be showdown. Yo. Cooler me, master. Me and Rags just chilling out together all over the world. Star Wars. Here we are. Boba Fett seems wow. Boba Fett <laughs> is really prominent on that <laughs> mug. Yes, Not only yeah, is he. Know. Not only is he on the right, but his whole entire helmet takes up the background. That's half of the image. <laughs> Boba Fett's so very cool. prominent for a character. 
She survived oh. Sarlacc Pit. Oh my God, it's Looper the Third. Loop, Looper the and, Third. And it's the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. And it's the shelf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. da, 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 da. One's clearly trying to do some work, Mother and we're just like, nah. And rags. Give us attention. Nah. Mother and Rags. Mother and Rags. And they're like, I want to play with the cat. And then me and Rags are like, no, 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 no. Play with us. No, no, no. No, Kato. <laughs> you will play with the dog and the strange one. <laughs> the long one. Meow, meow, the great meow, Greek meow. hero, Tentacles. Oh. See, they're just chilling. So many ch yeah, Ugh, yeah. I don't know who sent this photo in. They must be weird and gay. <laughs> oh, my <Cringe>. God. <laughs> <laughs> who does this, huh? Who does this? What a weirdo. Yeah. What a fucking weirdo. Now that is the, the glory setup right there. Look at that. All ready to go. Oh, nice. why? Yeah. Let us watch the Ifupens. That wallpaper is gay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually like a cloth. Oh no, it's wallpaper. Never mind. <laughs> so, if it were cloth, would it still be gay? Uh, yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Well, nah. I, I, I think if it's a cloth, yeah, it would it's stand strong. That. Stand strong. <laughs> Don't weasel There's out of your pants. Your pants and a cat. Oh no! Back to a shelf <laughs> filled with presumably. Mongor. Oh my god! Vinland Saga, Tokyo. Got... Does anyone read books anymore? We got Monster again. Monster again out. by something Urosawa. I was going to say Hell's Paradise. Okay. We have Oatmeal Al... Oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Oatmeal we Alchemist. Have... <laughs> I thought it said Oatmeal. <laughs> Full um, Oatmeal Alchemist. Monster. Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah. Ju Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm-hmm. I don't know any of these things. <laughs> yeah, because you're not cultured. With a very specific culture. <laughs> We're being fondled. Run! Oh no! Oh my God! What's on his shirt? Yeah, jello. Is it Jello? Yeah, jello. Is it Jelly? Is it... I think yeah. Game or Jello? Jelly. Game of no, Jelly. It's jello. It's Game not jelly. jelly. It's Jello. It... It's even shaped what, like a Jello. Is that, does that what? Is that is that the same thing? Is no, Jelly and Jello thing? are not the same thing. Yeah, they're in, not. The in same what way are they different? Jello is formed into a shape, and then you have to like cut it with like a fork. And jelly is just spreadable that you just put on your toast. Yeah, jello is a uh, it, that's it's gelatin. So I yeah, that's what yeah, jelly same is fucking jello. Thing. No, <laughs> no, jelly and jello oh, are the shit, same thing. And jam is a totally no, they're not. Thing. You don't put yes, jello on your toast. You don't put that's jelly. Don't, yeah, yeah, because you put jam on your toast. toast. Jam you put it, jelly yeah. on your toast. Jam and jelly are not jam. the same thing. What are you guys Ridiculous. talking about? Everyone's jam thing. on their toast. Like so, this is some kind of, like this is some kind of fucking what's that movie? Some Von Trapp family nonsense. Guys, jello is a brand. Bread here. Jelly is like the substance. No. Yeah. I'm sorry to tell so you this. This would be like if you said, "Oh man, you know, tissues. That's not a Kleenex. It's like it's just retarded." <laughs> yeah, but they're the same <laughs> thing. Ridiculous to put. Jello on to it wouldn't it just wouldn't work. Wait, so do you not have an equivalent for jam? You just call it jelly. It's just no. Jelly. We 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 do have jellies and jams here. No, it just that no one says jam generally. Yeah. So, okay. So what? I just identified the error then. <laughs> yeah, it looks it's like jam. you guys need to work on that. No, just jam. no, just people just don't so generally jelly. refer. For the most part, people use jelly, or they will use apple butter. There's that. But nobody says peanut you know butter what? and jam sandwich, okay? Uh, me and Fringy are offering you a wonderful system that makes things easier, so you're welcome to adopt it yeah. anytime you want. Yeah, well, we don't, we don't adopt Well, there's the no confusion here, so here, it's right? not There's well, literally you know confusion not, here. You know, what, you know what's not confusing is when you refer to a food by what it is rather than a brand name of it, and then also refer to jam as what it is. It is peanut... I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't <laughs> take jelly. I can't, like, take jelly... And mold it into like the yes, shape. You can. It's, you can. What do you, it's, what do you, it's not yes, the you same. Can. No, it isn't. Absolutely How do you think Jello is no. made? Jello is magical. <laughs> if I if I get That's a jelly mix it. and put it into like a star shaped thing, it'll be a star shaped jelly. Yeah, Ridiculous. but you, would, you see, Jello is just gelatin. It's not the I same thing. I it's, don't. It's not I don't. 
I do not, as far as I can tell, Jello is just jelly, and then there's jam. Yeah, there's and j jam and jelly yeah. are the same thing, and gelatin is just jello. Starting to think this whole war for independence wasn't worth it. Hey, that is a handsome face right in front of us, eh? <laughs> oh wait, uh, where's the next one? Oh, you know what? This this one. I like this one. I like this one a whole bunch. As and Mahler <laughs> being watched by Rags and Mahler. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, settling Pretty in cool. on a quiet a night. Couch. Watching me and Az catch up on real BBC Super Chats. You have Super Chat, multiple, the, the Super Chats run deep. There are like three different Super Chat catch-ups I am now involved with. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare for every creator. But the best kind of nightmare, I would say. Go on a road trip. And then once they're done with that, they go back home and listen to some more Super Chat catch up because there is infinite amounts of this. How oh. many? How many? I'll, how many? Because you, you you use kilometers. How many kilometers do you think that you have traveled? In um, Simpsons Hit and Run. Simpsons Hit and Run. <laughs> How many virtual <laughs> kilometers? Like All of them, Rags. Every last one. Wow. Do you think there are roads that you haven't traveled down in that game before? I doubt it, because when I first played it, I got all the unlockables, which like involve all the gags, which are like everywhere. So oh. Probably went everywhere. Oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> the dog is like, why are you posing me this way? What are these creatures? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that being held against my what? will. I didn't agree to this. What's that in the back? That fluffy thing. Is that a gnome? Oh, With his name sticking gnome, out? Yeah. yeah, it looks oh, like a gnome. Oh, it's a little wizard gnome. Sure. It's a little wizard gnome. It looks, you just see his little gnome. He's like, um, he's like Avatar from Wizards, the Ralph Bakshi film. There you go. Oh, yeah. I saw that when I was a wee lad. Who you weed when you were a lad? <laughs> I weed when I was a lad. I I still weed to this day. Yeah, me wow. too. Oh my goodness, Mahler! I think that you posted the same image twice. No, oh, look look at the, spot the difference. You can tell Rags' ears, for example, my tentacles, bags. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Are you saying that they bought a pair of the pair? I think so. I think what a so. madman! That's next level. Ba boom. Um, uh. Oh, look at this. Primetime EFAP viewing. <laughs> Woo! Nice. A lot of people watch these on their TV, don't they? Apparently. Oh, yeah. I, what do you do? I just assume everyone's watching it on computer on a second monitor, you know? It just, to <laughs> I, me, seems I like the normal it, way to... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, no, there's plenty of people who just sit I mean, my here. normal way to engage with, like, everything. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to using a TV, it's it's like it's a very it's a cozier medium for something as long as EFAP, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. Especially the ketchups. Ketchups are super cash. And Simpsons Hit and Run is super cash as well. Mm hmm. Now oh, this is a great one. We're just hanging out with one of our favorite lads on a nice day. Oh, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> His like patent rags on the head. <laughs> oh, is, and he's got, I guess he got all the stones in there too. So, yeah, this is probably why we chill with him. We're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, what are yeah. your friendos? His, <laughs> if you, you have snap good me, ideas. you can't pat me, all right? Jim's could be brighter. <laughs> he could use a, a barrel stone. Ha <laughs> uh. ha! Nice. <clears throat> also, look, these plushies can take care of young'uns, oh. protect them from the darkness. Nice. You give the, you give it the dog, and he's like, "Yay!" And then you give him the strange <laughs> monstrosity. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it could be that like trope where like the kid is actually happier with the creepy one for some reason. That happens <laughs> in Ant Man, doesn't it? Oh look, I got a sword. Oh, and those pokey cards things that the pokey kids like. Cards. Pokey cards. All right, you have they a... put them there for a reason. Let's see what they are. Quick ball. Why okay. do you put quick ball on my side? <laughs> <laughs> you know why. What does that say? Col-p-passat? Col uh, Colossal? Coalescent? 
Co Colossal. I guess he is a he's an industry type Pokemon. Colossal. Oh yeah, okay. He's and he's all shiny. He's very shiny. I don't. I, I didn't know cards look like that now. Well, Normally the they have ones... the picture up top, and then they have the like the text on the box down below. Well, but this one's got the picture remember. on the whole thing. Yeah, as yeah. long as I can remember, do. the shiny ones were like rare types. I recognize Zekrom, but man, I'm so Rishiram. out of fucking. I'm just so out of Rishiram thing with the. Uh... Which and one's course... the Pokemon, and which one's the person? Both of Pokemans. And then, of course, it looks like we have a Chinese. Sh Chinese Charizard. <laughs> Chinese Zard. Chinese Zard. It's worth 250 Chinese social credit. Nice. Chinese Zard. Yeah, cool. Real cool. What's the right, What's the background image on the left monitor? What What is that? I'm assuming it's a game. Is that a Is that a Dark Souls? It kind of hmm. looks like either Shadow of the Colossus. Maybe Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, yeah. he plays Timberborn. It That's a fun be. game. Yeah, Timberborn is neat. About the one with Bright, he plays the Beaver game. Oh God, more Pokemans! It's fun watching. It's fun oh, dissecting look. your stuff, everybody. Oh, oh. oh look at them Shovel Knight lads! You got, yeah, look at those Shovel Knight ones. He's got. Oh, he's got and an you albino got, uh, Vulpix. The, the one Hollow Knight from, uh, from Hollow Knight. Well, it's it's not Hollow Knight. It's it's uh, the lady. I was gonna say it looks Knight. custom made almost. Dense Knight. It does. Um, Maybe he painted it himself. Are these two Pokemon here at the front the ones from the black and white? I probably. I, I I think I dropped off the one before that. I think they're the same Pokemon, but they're different. And then in the middle, that's uh, same, the, same, the, the, the the tails one, Eevee, right? Or yeah, that's a low that's, of Eevee. That's that is Eevee. That's type. Al albino Eevee. Albino Eevee. Yeah, uh, needs the red eyes. Look at him. And there's a there's a there's a little plague doctor down there. There was, yeah. 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 I wonder what he's yeah, up from to. Holo uh, he's from he's from Shovel Knight. Yeah. Look oh at this set. Oh my yeah, god. Got there's the coon. The... Oh yeah, you do. You got the coon, you got Mysterion and Professor <laughs> Chaos. Uh, what ship is you that? Cartman as the wizard. And you've got Robocop robot. Is that yeah. the Firefly five ship? Which ship is that? Let me check. It. Oh, and you've got the Dead Space. Um, you've got, got the, the marker. marker, marker, and Deadpool, obviously. Yep, yep. That's a lot of cool stuff you got there. Everybody's got cool nifty, shit. Co nifty collection. That is the Firefly ship. Cool. Oh, is is it called Firefly? Uh, I think is it's called Serenity. I think. Oh, missed opportunity. Should have called it the Firefly, idiots. <laughs> Like fire fired. I've noticed there's often books, films, games, or something in these shots. Is the, what is EFAP about again? Do we cover that sort of thing? Or mm. Mm. I don't know. A Maybe. book on smooth character, Eskimo Joes. There's got to be a monster book around here somewhere. Just got to find it. Oaky Manster. Oh my oh, god. Little it's a hedgehog. Thing, and <laughs> now I think this is the best one to end on. You know, it, this, a picture's worth a thousand words. Oh, we're all out. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna comb it. <laughs> We're gonna comb it. <laughs> That's weird. You get these people next to you. One has a knife, the other has pills, the other one has a comb. <laughs> What's the plan here? And you're everyone? like, fuck man, give me the knife guy. I, I don't know what that comb dude's gonna do. My assumption is they'll find the, the DVD ripped to shreds with blood everywhere and we're gonna frame it as a suicide with the pills and the comb. <laughs> well, I think what happened here is they have gone through all the details with a comb. They combed through the details. Oh. And they didn't like what they saw, so now it's time to die. But that's not a fine-toothed comb, so, you know, I, I guess. Didn't say fine that is a I just very... Said they combed through it. That is a, a big-toothed comb. That is a buck-tooth comb. <laughs> buck-tooth <laughs> comb. <laughs> if an elephant was a comb, that would be it. Oh, Saz, I had one moa, and there will be more, I imagine, next time. But mm -hmm. check this one, one out. Oh. oh. Neat. Oh, it's, it's, all, it's not just Mjolnir. It is it's the, the, little thing. the power, power stone, stone container. That's right. Yeah. yeah. How did you get him to sit up right at the end there? That's up his ass. Yep. Right up the bum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right up the bum. Mjolnir's right. hanging on to me. He's like, don't you fall. <laughs> and then, and it took way too long to fucking look at this little game, but it's a real good reference from... I, was it EFAP 150? I'm pretty sure. 
Say hello. The Shotting Onion game. Oh, oh yes, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. So I think the rule, the way it works is you're supposed to tap space as much as you can, and then you'll shoot off into space, and it'll yeah. give you a rating with the the measurements I gave in our Wonder Woman stream, including Meebs. So I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna try and do a good record here. Okay, here we go. I will. Uh, and don't lie. I, well, yeah, I mean, it's all recorded, so I'm currently at ten rumps. All right. You could you could do bad and then try again and re-record over it. You could splice in the footage like a speedrun cheater. I'm yeah. a I'm a thirty rumps and four or five flaps. <laughs> okay. I I would I give you the meeb count, but it's just skyrocketing, you know. We're almost at fifty rumps. Any, any of you guys having, having a go here? How you doing? I just rumps? farted into oblivion. Do, do, do you mean you're dead? Uh, or? <laughs> no, it's eight, nine rumps, ten rumps. All right. Probably Fly, I'm flying terrible at this game. High speeds. I'm getting to a 80 oh, shit, rumps. Oh, wait, I need to move. Uh, 30, 30 rumps and six flaps. <laughs> I got over 100,000 memes. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm about to hit 100 rumps, too. I'm in outer space. Yeah, same. It's, it's cold out Se here. 70 rumps. 110 rumps. Oh, I let, uh, the, the Earth is gone. I don't know what mysteries I'm going to uncover by getting this far into space. Those are some massive shits. <laughs> it makes you wonder where, 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 where does it all come from? I can't tell if I'm slowing down already or not. I should realize we need to play Gothic Phone. Holy fuck, it's been a while. We do need to play it. It has been a long yeah. time. I wanted to Let's plan one it, uh, soon. works properly. I got a little drawing tablet even. Oh, look at you. Try hard in. Yeah, since then we haven't played it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 150 uh, rumps. It's slowing down uh, now, though. I, oh, you yeah. did better. I, I have 112 rums. Oh, you already... I remember the last time when I I don't know if I hit like... something because I couldn't tell if I was slowing down or not. But apparently I'm a celestial white Samari, so I'm, I'm happy with my... How crumps. many rumps does it take to exit the atmosphere? I don't think it's that many rumps. I, say I don't think it's that many rumps, yeah. yeah. You mainly want to measure that in flaps, I think. And flaps, okay. Yeah, a little more straightforward. Like so said, is so. I guess a like a flap is six rumps. I think so. And then Meebs are just. We need to start writing this down to try and make sure that we can always have a handy guide to refer to. Yeah, it was my mistake to even talk about Meebs because Meebs are much more specific, like you know, down to like measuring insects and stuff. Yeah. Limited use, but still. It's still know, interesting useful. to know how many Meebs are in space. Exactly. I mean, you know, in this, you know, it's 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 handy to know exactly how many <laughs> meters and centimeters and millimeters it is from Earth to the Sun. Exactly. Some people think that's irrelevant. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Oh, definitely I mean, sure, slowing the down will now. Probably have like sixteen billion, you know, numbers in it. But hey, Ultimate, I'm up to 184 rumps. That is oh, many boy. rumps. Oh, he's... That, yeah, many, that is many, many rumps. Slowing down. Oh, there we go. So, we got 137 tap count, and I am a celestial white Samari as well. Oh, oh my goodness my gracious! I'm still going. I have my tap count was 195. I was really, 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 really tapping. Really banging the boy. I was gonna say I I, I only got 137. Wrong. Nice. That's incredible. A celestial white Samari. Um. But yeah, that and the Quib Give site. Thank, thank you, Lance, for making those. Yeah, They're quite fun. Stuff. I like them a whole bunch. Starting off strong on these here memes. Yeah, sorry we took so, uh, a while to get to them, that's all. Wait, did you guys get across the gap? What gap? On my, on my first what? try, I did, yeah. <laughs> uh, the then onion, I realized I need to go did up. you get the onion across <laughs> the gap? I know that was like the point of the game, is to get it across <laughs> the gap, but... 
<laughs> Instead, we're going to space. <laughs> Things went horribly wrong somewhere. All I gotta do is get this onion across this little gap. Oh, dang. Space. <laughs> Your tone went to He's space. He's a grilled onion. You uh, can grill an onion in space, right? If it's in the light. Oh, uh, I wonder if it's hot enough because of the coldness of space as well, you know? It, what do they isn't say? It, you can get, like, it burned? hot in the sun, but yeah, it's yeah. cold in the... I think, the... uh... Yeah, it's, it's hot the way you're facing and then really... But also, it's still just really cold in general. I think the video on Leia was like, she should have been frazzled on one side and frozen on the other. So. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> rip a -roo. Well, that's what Star Wars is. Yeah, the thing it's about your lungs, on one side, you know, frozen on the other. Your lung, your lung goes and not in a good. Oh, <laughs> and so begins uh, oh, a round of memes. Names, yay, the memes. I was say some of these may require explaining. Some of them are just funny on their own, like uh, this, for example. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Smell it. Don't go away. Look at it. <laughs> Smell it. Puri. Uh, this was. The, uh, sometimes I see memes. I'm like, why is this submitted to the memes? I guess uh, they want us maybe to comment on it or something. I don't know. But uh, the boys probably isn't as bad as Endgame and Snyder Cut. It's still pretty bad, no, though. I was yeah. waiting for my onion to hurry the fuck up. There's <laughs> a celestial white samari. Oh, rums. This is a pretty cool little handy chart for the more meaningful arcs and character connections for the Snyder Cut. <laughs> that does help. <laughs> just a lot to I consider. I like Cyborg just sitting there on his own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, I think it's the same format I use for the Rise of Skywalker Chat, video. Yeah. <laughs> Your Robocop versus Zack Snyder's Robocop. I think the difference is the subtle imagery. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it's the difference between someone who is like just trying to make a movie casually and someone who has a vision, I would say. Yeah. Look at all the Pure. junk found. No, damn it. There was a dog who was hoarding snow. He said his name was Rag. Check the freezer. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hi. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm amused by this image. What does it mean, Rag? Rugler. <laughs> Is that a... So, like, I guess this is from a movie where the person in the green suit Snyder Cut. makes the per. Makes... Yeah, it's from Snyder Cut. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's <laughs> in case Henry Cavill falls over or something. This isn't from the Snyder Cut. There's not a Jesus anywhere. <laughs> Rugal is kind of a Jesus. It's kind of a clear picture, so it can't be. You had to build a suspension bridge. I know. I think it collapsed <laughs> any minute. Completely unsatisfactory. But can you feel it? The suspense. <laughs> That's a good old reference to my incredible skills with the uh, polybridge, which is now being provided more context. It's causing all the traffic. Oh, I see. Water <laughs> <laughs> builds a bridge. Polybridge is good shit. Yeah, it's fun stuff. Um, there is, I remember there being context for this, but I'm curious if anyone can remember what it is, because <laughs> I don't. This is us uh, dealing with Super Chat catch-up. Hmm. He has a well, Metal's got his well, mic it's obviously nearby, me. so I imagine at one point his background did, got away from him or something. Did Mel sound like he wanted to interview the ocean or something? <laughs> Didn't I have, like, at one point, like, a weird microphone issue? Yeah, Where like, everyone was start yelling at me, the sound weird? Maybe. Maybe that's what this is. I think. I'm pretty sure that happened. I don't know how it sounded because obviously I couldn't hear it. Mm -hmm. It was just on your guys' this. end and yeah, I had to I reconnect my stuff. I guess yeah. that's 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 the <clears throat> the reference. This is a powerful and true meme. <laughs> Take your up your trident. mother's trident. <laughs> Image found under beloved characters in a recent edition of Encyclopedia Isle of Manica. <laughs> oh, look at what he threw that. 
Wimpu's beloved, Joel. Oof, killed everything. <laughs> Oh, that's a ball. That was such a ballsy thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> did we? Like did we every search... top ten list was like number yeah, one, number one, like one, top number ten one, beloved Sony characters, and he was like number one or some shit. <laughs> and every single one, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you'd like you're not a gamer. You're just interloping on our hobby. <laughs> <laughs> your mother's train. No. <laughs> no. So the battle of kings here. Igni or Wiku, who'd win? <laughs> <laughs> the cut off oh. kings. <laughs> <laughs> Find out in the next <laughs> thrilling episode. So I think we'll probably see a meme that has context for this, but someone's like, the daring today art we be with Squidward, but I guess they've Squidwardified my avatar. It's like, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, no, wow. That's pretty cool. Daring today, aren't we? That is, those are some HD subtitles. Yeah. Yeah. The Atlanteans advanced, humans did. And the Amazons just decided, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they open up the box and it's an arrow. That is really amusing to put it in full context. It's like, yeah, the Atlanteans have all this crazy sci fi tech. The humans have got some pretty cool stuff going on. The Amazons are still using bow and arrow. They literally have changed nothing. They're exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Totally That's what happens when you let society. women run society. Well, I was going to say, the, you, you could meme about it, but it's like, why did you do that? You made the all women society yeah, that's just. Because really... <laughs> that's, that's kind of like lame. How yeah. much cool it would be if the Amazons had really cool technology and stuff they developed. I imagine someone will make some kind of... What we know them by, so they're stuck that way, okay? Oh, this is a good one. These jokes that Whedon added to just sick are awful and cringe-inducing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're not no, we're not supposed to talk about that. No! We're not supposed to talk about that. Her face is She's, fantastic. Listen, Zach is very cool and edgy. How could you say such a thing? He's not lame like Joss Whedon is. Oh, this whole Today on Accepted Lies. The snow returns the favor to Rags after protection from snow predators. My oh. soul. <laughs> That's great. Mm. It was a, I swore to protect you, but can you protect me from yourself? <laughs> A <laughs> giant pile of disgusting food. Yeah. <laughs> that that reminds me. <laughs> just imagining just an anthropomorphized pile of shit food. <laughs> There's something funny about how it walks around and speaks. Oh no, you needed the meme of, of uh, Barman, but with with movie Bob just like running after. I wish only for the Ooh. calories to defend my people. <laughs> it I, I, should I be mine. Give it to me. I didn't even think about this because I had I ordered McDonald's today. I just realized it was the first time I had a McDonald's meal since I did the Movie Bob challenge. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the Movie Bob memes get me every fucking time. Dude. They're really good. <laughs> that one, really I good. still remember that one where it's all like family meal, and he says, "You know, I'm a bit of a family myself." <laughs> <laughs> Weedo so Joker. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. Weedo <laughs> 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 Joker. Weedo <laughs> Joker is he is the he is the 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 foot person. <laughs> Such a the th three hundred guy, the little one. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's unreal to me that like there's a movement. Attempted building to get like we need the air cut. It's like guys, it's probably gonna be hyper cringe with more of Leto's Joker. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that really means that Leto's it. Joker has been uh yeah. he's been in the Snyder cut and the Iyer cut. Make him go. He's the worst one. Make him go away. <laughs> Make him stop. Stop it. What I'll you give doing? you a reach around. <laughs> uh, I think we took one of my drawings and they figured out why I'm called Moobla. <laughs> just, just have a little grab. <laughs> That's one of them expressions Man. where you have to figure it out. You're like, there's a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. Man Boobler. Mm hmm. The Moobler is a Batman villain. <laughs> Look at 
that fucking expression, too. Puddin', you got all dressed up for me? You know, I'd do anything for you. By the way, I got some grape soda on ice and a bearskin rug waiting. <laughs> I like the idea that Jerry's got that on TV and Tom's just like reading the newspaper. He looks up. <laughs> fuck? Seriously, w nobody writes good dialogue for that fucking iteration of Joker. It's all cringe. <laughs> no, well, that's just because all the good dialogue, it's in the Iyer cut and the Snyder cut, respectively. Oh. The real, see the versions that those evil movie executives liked? That's that's the bad stuff. They don't have taste. <laughs> oh, I remember extra credits. By making up only 0.5% of EFAP coverage, extra credits is responsible for 50% of the worst videos covered on EFAP. Possibly. There's a lot of bad ones. <laughs> is it bad that I assumed it was HP Lovecraft's cat? It's, it's probably from extra credits. I'm sure <laughs> they would definitely mention that. Um, oh, there you go. See, remember this? Look. Springy. It's it's jelly enemies, right? Yes, it is jelly enemies. <laughs> <laughs> All of them are evil. I'll decide that. Wee. Okay. that Wee. It is really amusing to just have that right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, it's, it's so creepy. By the blob, because you've got those little like things in the in the little, in the friendly little enemies yeah, that when it gets close, so you can see what they are. It's like, oh. <laughs> And, and not pleasant either. That part was so fucking dumb, where it's just like, you know, there are these enemies, they do this, avoid these, kill the slimes, blah blah blah, and you go, kill the slime. I will decide whether the slimes are evil. You're like, okay. <laughs> do that. I'm just trying to help you out, but you go ahead and get eaten, it's fine. <laughs> oh, remember this <laughs> meme format? Yeah. <laughs> Why though? <laughs> <laughs> and this an awesome reference no to good old Batwoman, if you guys remember. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that is. I like it. <clears throat> Looks better here though. Look how long my bed is. <laughs> <laughs> It's mainly your legs that are responsible for that. Yeah. It's all shit. No! Hey, this will make extra credits happy. <laughs> <laughs> Inoffensive blob people. Because <laughs> ultimately, slimes, they're just they're friendly boys. Gooey boys, they did nothing wrong. Yeah, look at them. They do look pretty the friendly. Gooey boys. And that's that's mm. how they lure you in. Yeah. Can't trust a happy face sometimes. I mean, that's how they get you. They have to, like, suck you into themselves. Oof. Oh, and this was, uh, so extra credits, like, you know, you shouldn't, uh, I think it's like paint a race all as one thing, but then the irony of the video, where they're like, these are clearly black people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I'm it a good feel like person. one of those Freudian I'm... moments, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just like De definitely an life. I'm helping moment. <laughs> 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 There's just that image of the orcs are just looking at him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? what are you saying? Happy little extra credits thing. Like, we. <laughs> I'm helping. Away. We're doing and it. I'm and yeah, remember they said Nazis. I'm sorry, and I'm just sitting there in the corner. <laughs> uh, they said Nazis are inherently evil, and you can identify them simply by the, the clothes they wear. That it's like, um. This is Indiana Jones, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> then you got, uh, look at this most evil person in history, which cannot be converted or be good ever, and Hitler. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's uh, no, no nuance whatsoever, but I mean, maybe it's for the best. We just hate Nazis. That's the way we do it. Punch hey. a Nazi. It's very Bugs important we think. let the world know that we don't like Nazis. Frankly, I find the idea of bugs that don't think offensive. Starship <laughs> Troopers. Good stuff. Uh, a simple graph to understand how Rags, you know, sort of approaches decisions. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> that orc does look like he's pretty chill, though, just having yeah. his little cup of cocoa. It's a Filmento video. Hard. We'll have to check this one out. Seed <laughs> <laughs> and Batman v Superman. Film perfection. <laughs> Film perfection. Ah, yeah. Grandma, there it is. 
<laughs> she looks like she's kind of having fun. It feels like a movie, though, where you got the grandma has to take down the big Shiba monster thing. Like, grandma's, uh, grandma's getting out... eaten by rags is an epidemic. But then you find out that the Shiba monster is just misunderstood, and he just wanted to sit down and have scritches. And that he's actually sending the grandmas to a better place. Like, literally, like, grabs them and puts them in a different <laughs> area of Earth that's real nice. Yeah, lower crime, better schools. Grandmas cause a lot of crime, it's true. Suicide squad rags after. Hey, Grandma, it's Christmas. Why don't you ruin me instead? No, no. Oh, dear. never, never. You got one fateful Christmas. I ruined my grandma while the entire family watched, and I ruined a whole generation. <laughs> <laughs> Your little granny Damn, tattoo. Dude. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> It's not as bad as Joel. He killed everyone. It's all True. his fault. Everything is his fault. Animated Disney movies are too cute and wholesome. It's like, yeah, <laughs> about that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, that is that is an interesting it's thing to say stuff. when it's pretty much unanimously agreed that like all of the animated Disney films get really dark. <laughs> like, Dude, that like um, that goat boy trait or that donkey say, boy oh, transformation was fucking horrifying. Yeah, I mean, that was I, terrible. I'll give you one like the uh, Clayton in Tarzan. It's like, oh, that one's gnarly. Well, like sort it's of. like the the donkey transformation. Those all those kids, they're they're just donkeys now. Course, That's their the life. Children, and he's screaming for his mother as he helplessly transforms. Oh, and yeah, uh, he was just sort Rollo, of a naughty kid, and that's his Rollo, fate. When he he get falls down into the fire with the the little lava, thing. he falls into fucking yeah. lava. Um, yeah. Uh, for context, say that? they well, so they were saying it in reference to the stories these were built from, which were much darker. Um, but that okay, so maybe they're more approachable, but they're still, but that's not what that statement says. Oh well, I don't know if no. the quote is one hundred percent accurate because it's a meme, but like okay, right, the, uh, too cute and wholesome. It's wise like, cracks well, suck. Is the point? What what yeah. um you know there was that old film, The Rescuers, not Rescuers Down Under, but it was like the Rescuers from the the one in the swamps. Yeah, the one in the swamp with Madame Medusa. And, like, Madame Medusa is forcing this little girl into this deep, dark cave, and she refuses to let her up until she's got the diamond, whether or not she drowns. And this cave is spooky as shit, and she's about to drown and everything. And it's awesome. just, damn. That one got me as a kid, you know? Um, I forget. Which one is EFAP Movies 22? I'm going to assume it was the Snyder Cut. <laughs> gonna, because it's because this meme is about experiencing horrific pain. <laughs> Could be Ghostbusters 2016, you know. Uh, I'm not sure. So, was the Snyder Cut the most miserable movie we watched? Army of the Dead is the most. Miserable. Army of the Army Dead, the you're Dead right. Was, yeah, yeah, it was Army, Army of the, the Dead, Dead. Was less pleasant. Different Zack Snyder <laughs> creation monstrosity. Well, by, sometimes uh... it's hard to keep them straight, you know. By contrast, uh, so what was the best one you'd ever watched on EFAP movies? Unironically, Van Helsing's uh, up there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it pretty good. <laughs> still fun. Um, hmm. Jingle All the Way was pretty fun. Batman and Robin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all, all Most of them are really on. enjoyable. <laughs> even, even like the bat shit ones, like Wrinkle in Time. Like they're fun to watch when when you're in a group. Mm-hmm. But the best. They were in I mean, we did watch Lord of the Rings. That was pretty good. We did watch Lord of the Rings. That was alright, I guess. All, all okay. once I was absent. <laughs> for. Um, and now, we have the famous quote, That's not true. That's a lie. She's lying to you. <laughs> so we can see here, Deadshot has completed his relatively anodyne sequence of narrative tripling, bolstering the validity of point, and his estranged wife is not, in fact, telling the truth. This is definitely proves Rags incorrect about opinions. <laughs> this is a fucking. This is a, like literally that. a meme from like Fab Nine. Yeah, this is taking it back. Uh. Yeah, boy. Nice impression too. You gotta give it. Oh, I need to work on that one. I haven't heard his voice in so long. But yeah, I remember him saying anodyne. And I was like, the fuck is that? A no company? Knows what that means. Not a toothpaste chemical. <laughs> so this uh. Yeah, this was, I think, the main character in Cyberpunk 2077. I said he sounds like Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, it, hey, it's I'm true. V. 
definitely video game protagonist voice. Oh, that was that was hyper video game protagonist <laughs> voice, yeah. Hey, I'm V. I, I, uh, uh the <laughs> cyber deck. Yeah, the deets. This is also good as well. Is when I was explaining that the police and some criminals are having a shootout. I killed the criminals <laughs> and walked up to the cop like, "Hey, I helped. We did it." He's like, "Get out of my sight." I was like, oh, "How's the guy?" Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. Yeah. laughs> Dude, that, that game, that game came out a year ago. <laughs> that game is a year old. Look how small I am in that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh, look at how sad you are too. I wanted to help. I, I'm so, I think we made this point on the stream, but I was like, this was an opportunity for the game to really show off how detailed it is, for them to be like, you helped us, thanks a lot, you know, here's a fucking uh, credit, or here's a, you know, thank you, whatever. But no, the police reacted to me as though nothing happened, and it's just normal, like, get out of my sight! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now, again, sometimes I struggle to figure out the context of images. <laughs> what is this? Here? Fuck, I, I remember the picture, but I don't remember is the context. That... Oh, I'm just laughing at the funny, fat, short mubes in the <laughs> <laughs> But we're jolly, and that's what matters. Oh, shit. But who is this unfortunate <sighs> fellow here? Oh, <laughs> he seems unhappy, I don't know. You know. <laughs> he's got this spindly eye thing, so I think this is Smiler. Uh, I he's, got, he's got the beard. The red beard. Yeah. I oh, that could be. That could be. Yeah. Was it even from an EFAB or was it just a stream? Of it could have been one of your streams. I don't know. It was put into the selection. I've completely forgotten the context. Maybe Al said he needs to get us out for a walk or something. Maybe. A walk. A Fuck. I remember this picture. I don't remember the context at all. This one was packed with it. I assume. Maybe this helps, maybe it makes it worse, I don't know, because <laughs> you can see <laughs> Is that Cruella's car? No, uh, it looks like the Batmobile. The Devil One. Hmm. It's gotta I be like the Bat- because it, that, that's kind of reminiscent of that angle in the Batman animated series intro, I guess. So it's like, that's kind of what makes hmm. me conclude it's like the Batmobile, sort of. I just like how much no, fun dude. I'm clearly having here. Yeah, dude, mm. those arms are going. <laughs> <laughs> then I've got this. I think this is doesn't require any more context, like in terms of additional images. Uh, see here, got Mel's stream there. Oh, this is when he was he was explaining the the remaining story for Snyder's DC World. No. <laughs> Justice League Two. Uh, the mass is being known as the meme repository descended from the. The something of the the Jimpai plant. Oh, the Gimpy Gimpy plant. I get it. The enlightened yeah. the the Coom brood. A Coom brood. The great oath of the magic lantern. But after that, the treatment will never be. Oh, the treatment just lead to. Yeah, it's it's horrifying. Uh, is what I hear. That's quite the image for meme repository. I don't even know if he knows this exists. Yeah. But, uh, look at that. <laughs> There's a little asterisk on on Coom, Coom Brood. and on the bottom it says Coom Brood, offshot of the toxic brood. They watch metal stream and say Coom a lot. <laughs> well then, what is Jay's called? Jay says Coom a lot too, and Cum. Yeah. I don't know. Oh well, look, we got the 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 meme about the <laughs> trying to hack the thing to prove you're not a robot. <laughs> 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 Poor guy, just can't catch a break. Poor man. Um, so there was a thing on the subreddit, this is like a new one, I just thought it was funny, where uh, they were talking about the best holidays, and they were like, clearly, it's Thanksgiving. You went on Turkey, yay long Turkey, I'm thankful for the link. The fucking arms, dude. She has his long ass arms to compensate. <laughs> It's true. It is a pretty good holiday. No, this requires no context at all. Just admire. Mm. Yes. Splat. King of the eggs. Splat. <laughs> I don't know that I would trust this product. I appreciate that Jay's advocating for it, but still. Maybe that makes it worse. I don't know. <laughs> a rhino milky bar. Mmm. 
defenses for Brian films. A big Wokey bar. 2017. You don't understand the themes, and now it's you just don't understand the vision. I think this is referencing specifically the Snyder Cut stuff. <laughs> the vision. Mm, Look, it's clear he has a vision. Oh, hey, this meme just. I wonder keeps what it will back. be next. Well, it will be exciting for us to find out. Our adventure continues. I guess we will find out whether we want mm. to or not. Remember, Snyder? I promise Justice League is absolutely the inferior film. That's right, Wall, you did. I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I get that it's trendy to hate it right now and go ahead. There's plenty of good reason, but fuck, Joss did the better job. I did eventually say that in the video, yeah. <laughs> And the that was that was deliberate too. I decided I would say it's worse at the beginning, so that you have to get through the video in order to write me off. Because I know people would use that to write me off. Mm. Like, why listen to this guy? He thinks Joss Lily is better. Then people be like, no, he said it's not. And then they'll be like, no, 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 get to the end, idiot. Like, mwahaha. Get to the end. Ugh. What? Of Can't the video. <gasps> Stepmore Farmer, when what? touching Mother Box, warmed up to <laughs> you have a million calories. <laughs> Superman lasers, yep. Well, Superman lasers uh, are just more powerful than that. Which, if yeah. they were, holy fuck, the damage it would do to everything around it, you know? Yeah, he, he just needs dies. to make his armor out of Batman gauntlets and he'll be okay. Isn't there a temperature that can, like, make the moisture in the air explode because it's just so heat, hot, whatever? I think so. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's three and a half a th million Kelvin. <laughs> 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 I don't know, could be wrong. Oh, here you go. This one probably should have come first, but uh, still. Like, your video is very nitpicky. How original. Every issue you have is explained in the movie. It's like, yep. Oh, <laughs> very today, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is horrifying. What's Tatus, precious Hyber? What's Tatus? <laughs> 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 what's Tater's precious hammer? What's Tater's A? That's so cursed. What the fuck? <laughs> it really is horrific. <laughs> the bright yellow on my headphones as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's Tater's precious hammer? <laughs> What happens oh, when no. DC villains grow envious of the Justice League? They form a league of their own. <laughs> so, that's uh, the Zod from the um, the uh, Donna movies, right? And I was just thinking, doesn't he look like Quentin? He does. He does. That, yeah. That brow, I think. It's that. Yeah. It's that. Just this almost Neanderthal-like <laughs> appearance. You mean that in a complimentary way? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I wouldn't. This the pure strength of brat will. Strength of will <laughs> that he has. <laughs> no expiry date. Yay. <laughs> okay, this is just top notch and it's not even it's just real, so that's why it's it's just fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so like, is that a real thing what? he said? Pretty sure, yeah. This is Did just a he? screenshot. I, I believe it. <laughs> it's insane dude's that off, I don't even question. Well, I was gonna say he <laughs> said crazier stuff than this. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, that. Oh, standing man. up for genocide. Said we shouldn't call it genocide or some shit. Eugenics has been. You yeah. know, fouled by the Nazis. <laughs> bad rap. <laughs> bad rap. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's such a character. It's great. He sure is. He fascinates me. I like this without any context. One day we will watch The Rock. It'll be a great little Leaf Out movie. Dun, 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 dun. We had a couple of variants of this, but I don't think we showed this one. Longzilla versus Frog. Oh man. <laughs> a movie we still haven't watched. <laughs> True, <man. laughs> Longzilla. <laughs> Pretty good. I like I don't know who's making this film, but I'm on board. Yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> longest man is longest alone. You ever heard that? I was saying, stop. The longest man is longest alone. 
Coughing Fringy versus Static Rags, Dawn of AIDS. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> fucking Kermit face. <laughs> 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 Look, all right. I'm sorry about the coughing, but that static. My God, it was terrifying. <laughs> There's actually a meme video about that. I'm hoping it's in this selection. Oh, <laughs> Betty's thinking about other women. More just like video is good, but why was in part of the Unbridled series and then DCU had nothing good to ruin in the first place? <laughs> 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 That's not always the requirement, but I understand. Oh yeah, so that when this came out and I pissed off everyone, that's a pretty good meme. first. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Why does it say X Mauler on the uh I don't know. I hmm. do not know. I don't know either. Pretty pretty sus. <laughs> You got Weekend Warrior like to tweet saying the Snyder Cut is actually Kino, but all the desperate, unfunny attention seekers on Twitter, uh, whose only gimmick is talking shit about something popular they haven't even seen, told me it was bad. But then he also liked stupid, stupid American Cube movies like a genre. Stupid American <laughs> Cube movies. If I play both sides, I can never lose. Smart. <laughs> Does Weekend Warrior think it's a good movie? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I, I don't. A lot of people did tell me about the long Halloween, and I was like. Oh. That does sound kind of my thing, I will say. <laughs> I don't even know what... This is just... Oh, I guess it does have a... an actual time stab for this. So, you could go find out. It's, uh... I just... <laughs> it's surrealist art. <laughs> it's time to stop. I miss... Filthy Frank. Yeah, he's a good fella. Zack Snyder is a genius. He has to be. And if he isn't, I've given almost four hours of my life to an idiot. Yeah. And that's unacceptable. <laughs> Therefore, Snyder is a genius. Yeah. And I will die protecting his vision. This is a great reference. Community, man. It's good shit. Yeah. Snyder is a genius. I like how just, just how the, the four hours is just pasted where <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, God. Zack Snyder's Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> into Snyder the Spider-Verse. The multiverse had its chance. <laughs> this little Jesus, can you see him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snyder-Man. No, they're man. <laughs> no, yeah. The multiverse had its chance. Barges into any discussion or argument. It's just my opinion. Refuses to elaborate further. Leaves. <laughs> I like how that's describing basically all of discourse. <laughs> no, that, that's just top tier. What about the Joel attack on the everything? <laughs> <laughs> Joel is responsible for every death post The Last of Us. Um. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Rags, how are you not commenting on this? No, I'm. I'm just. I, I guess in my head, the logistic. I'm imagining the people. You know, <laughs> just, God, you're so close to each other. Too. <laughs> like, like, like this is this isn't a bathroom. Cheek. This is just toilet storage. Toilet storage. I mean, and look at the shape of the urinals. They're so high up. Too. They're very high. This is for people with very high up penises. <laughs> they balls above. No, wait, no, not balls above wang. No, that would be even worse. I guess you just deposit your your genitalia maybe you have, into maybe the, you, the item. Maybe you have to stand or, or, on or, the other uh, people's legs. Yeah, or lob your piss. So you know, wonderful setup. Just wonderful. EFAB audience when EFAB doesn't release Batwoman episodes weekly. We ain't had nothing, but... <laughs> well, it's, it's nothing, yeah. <laughs> we, we ain't had nothing for free stinking three weeks. weeks. <laughs> um, I actually saw, like, Jay Longbone put out a tweet saying she can't wait for us to see another particular thing, and then someone responded to it saying, um, 
Yeah, it's getting ridiculous at this point. I'm just like, oh, what? What, what is it? What? Like, like we're, 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 we're doing all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. e was never solely Batwoman, right? It'll all. Be the funny thing is, it'll all come out. It'll just be Batwoman will probably be cancelled by the time you see all of our coverage of it. And that, in a way, is nice, you know, because it'll be like you get to extend it that little bit longer. Yeah, I kind of have to uh, take a little bit of uh, responsibility on that front because I know I'm supposed to be doing that. It's just that I'm getting fucking killed. I was going to say, the, the agreement was always whenever you, you can and will, and that's, uh, I don't actually give, if it takes you 10 years, I just, I'll happily have them when they I don't done. want to take 10 years of, <laughs> ah, I don't want to take happens. 10 years. I don't, I don't watch these ahead of time, so I don't even know what she's talking about, and I'm kind of looking forward to finding out. Well, the way I see it is, uh, the people who are watching, like, <laughs> um, Az and, and Jay Longbone reacting to them now, it's like, by the time you see us react to it, you'll probably have forgotten the events, so don't worry. Uh, it'll be <laughs> we'll brand new. But, uh, yeah, we, we've got to do, we got to watch more Batwoman, too. We're falling behind that again. We, we did this whole thing of catching up to it, and then we fell behind fully again. <laughs> and we got the holidays coming up, so you're probably going to have to watch some movies, too. True. Oh, cock. Connection has been established. Enhance. I hacked the mainframe. We need the mainframe, the meme frame. Oh, we got a quarter portion up there as well. I think this is when Gundam was on, because uh, that looks like Gundam. We incriminating Markiplier photos to blackmail him with. I don't know about that. <laughs> Evil. Meme force. No one hack the mainframe, I'm in. No wonder you got no pussy you suck at metal throws. Excuse me, what? Is metal <laughs> Bowser crying? What's happening here? I don't understand it. What the f <laughs> Bilbo Brownias yeah. from Game Maker's Toolkit. All I, right. I metal okay. <laughs> these these artworks are often absurd and you have to sort of just <laughs> Go with the flow. Is that a timestamp down there on the bottom right? I'm gonna have to. I'm so. No, that's about. just a. I think that's the, the date. date. Oh, date. No, it's just yeah. a date. Okay. Um, this was apparently uh, someone's son drew this uh, after getting the the plushies and stuff. I'm just like, oh my god. Oh. Um, completely unrelated to the image. EFAP is not suitable for audiences under probably 18. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah. uh -huh. I am Rags Woof Woof. I'm a dog. Woof Woof. Shut up, stinky head. Rages don't have teeth, but my teeth are yellow. Are your teeth yellow? I mean, I, well, but like I said, if you don't answer, that means yes. Um, it's fair enough. Right, sorry. Um, I. I'm I'm just trying to read the it's hard to read. Let's say thanks, Mola. No problem for you. <laughs> ah, that yes. Uh oh, my teeth stink. I'm never going to brush them. <laughs> Fringy had brushed your teeth with No Mom. mom. <laughs> uh Rags, we all know you were a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, God, stop <laughs> making Front of him. I don't know what that says. Uh, and I'm drunk. I like that spelling of drunk as well. And my teeth sure. are yellow. Gosh, has everyone got yellow teeth? Hey, stop. <laughs> stop, Rages. Your teeth are yellow too, so you can stop. And my eyes, by the way, wonderful. <laughs> You're drunk. I was going to say, this is definitely drunk. This is a drawn by someone who was drunk. Um, okay, this, see, this is good that this one comes after me saying this is 18 plus, because what the, what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Steppy, at Steppy, Wolfie, dot, ooh, woo, only fans. Wow. <laughs> I like how, I like how Metal is the one who really, he's really keen. He's jumping into yeah. that suit. He's going to get spiked oh. on it. Yeah. Look out, Metal. I'm not going to survive that encounter. Like he gonna say, yeah, poking goes both ways. <laughs> they made the the weird dude who talks to Steppenwolf like a peen. <laughs> he is though. He's just a peen. He's just a peen. He's just a weird, blackish, metally fiery peen. <laughs> like this on the side. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm telling you, man. 
That's yeah. terrifying. <laughs> the movie pop memes always do it. <laughs> do you think he knows like about all this? <laughs> he has to. There's no way. About Him. the the EFAP memes. He has to. To protect my identity, I'm Spider Man. Mask comes off. What the fuck are you doing, Tom Holland? Tom Holland. Can't say that. Tom Holland. This is irrelevant because No Way Home is coming out and his mask does come off in that film. No Way Home. No more hope. Praise the Home dog. is just a hope. This is the EFAP tank, I assume. Nice. Yep. Praise the dawn. Beautiful. We have very f the smoke coming out of the back. It's uh... the party. It provides it's, us it's, cover as well. You see, it's blimpy. <clears throat> Ooh, we got wizard fringy. Ringle bingle jingle. <laughs> oh, power of boy. the magic symbol. <laughs> Look at how big the the, <laughs> the hood is. My yeah. <laughs> enormous brain. <laughs> it's just misshapen to a degree, I guess. Or let's let's just normal feel species. Wizard fringy. When what you get species? old, is is your does your nose get all floopy when you're um... saggy? Yeah. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> there. Well, to see. This is a very wonderful little image. I'm just it's just my day to day, having a chillax and relaxing. Yeah. Big ideas. Old dragon flag. The big ideas. Oh yeah. Sharing the cheese with the, the rat. Yeah, and that's a good rat right there, just having his meal. Ah, a pleasant day in the whales mm -hmm. uh, A For a, a mouse there. with cheese, a, a rat. Sandwich into and thou. For some reason I thought you were drinking from cheese. <laughs> a little straw in <laughs> the cheese. Yeah, a little, a little straw in the juice. cheese, and you're just drinking cheese. I think I'm uh, it's like a little juice box, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Oh my goodness. We got a character profile. Shad. I think we had a couple of these for us before, but you got you got Shad. Yeah, I those. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about the f like Mahler doesn't use body pillows, he uses massive stone busts of philosophers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Nationality Australian rank Jedi Master. We got built, well built, bit pudgy, special skill, knows how to use most weapons pretty effectively. We got the Conqueror's Blade, his Gambeson. Very knowledgeable with history and combat, believed to be high functioning autistic. <laughs> that should be listed in powers. Bilingual, longish, no, common tongue. Oh. Dad is among the neckbeard kings and has fought many of the beasts of Australia. He is an extremely skilled strategist and very knowledgeable when it comes to historical battle tactics. Shad joined the Emperor. Mola as one of his most powerful allies. My goodness. Ah. Oh. And they said this is the first human they've drawn without a mask or a helmet covering the head. Good stuff. I think there's a fringy one here as well. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's see how much of this is accurate. Let's so, see. are you Australian? Yes. Right, they got that. Are you a healer slash plague mage? Um. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm a plague doctor, so I suppose it makes sense, right? Yeah, you heal and you, you can probably cast some offensive spells, too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with yeah, that. If anybody, yeah, if anybody wants to figure it out, maybe they can uh, finally decipher uh, what your goo is made out of. Bringy was nah. kissed with a stretchy neck that extends when he's angered. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst curse you can yeah. have, I suppose. <laughs> Bring as well read Unless in ways it's of... really um like it's really rubbery and it just you just sort of it just leans down and you have to hold it upright until it it's like um I don't know, a lot like a slinky mm -hmm. <laughs> where it just sort of dangles and you have to calm down and then it'll go back to normal. He's well read in the ways of poison. Having grown up in one of the harshest environments, his magic can be used to neutralize most poisons and minor wounds. He can also use his magic to poison his enemies. How about that? Got the plague tome and the plague amulet. Oh, uh, apparently I'm bilingual in no and longish and froggish, but I'm only <laughs> biliterate in no and longish. You can't read yeah, frongish. I can't. I can. I can speak froggish, but I can't. I can't read it. No. Uh -huh. That's a shame. 
Where he found himself growing up among plague mages, mages who could primarily manipulate poison. He was taught in the way of the plague before the Corona Plague hit. With his magic, he helped protect Shad's kingdom from the plague. When he joined the Emperor Mola when Shad made an alliance, when he quickly climbed the ranks and is the the head healer. Damn. Oh boy. You got a little pet frog down there too. <coughs> that little nice. frog is kind of neat, yeah. Look I originally wanted there. to do a frog to match up with the meme, but I couldn't get the anatomy right, especially the feet. It goes without saying why he's a plague mage, though I am curious where the green magic came from. Uh, I don't green, know I where guess. that came from. Because, yeah, that that's all I can imagine. <laughs> and also because it just seems to be a thing that you see in a lot of games where, like, plague doctors have magic stuff. And they throw potions at people. Yeah, things like that. Magic alchemist. Now adorable art. <laughs> oh, that's neat. <laughs> oh, that's, that looks that's really pretty, cute. That's really fantastic. Like that. That's really cute. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Tis indeed. There's magic everywhere, and also it's super kind of chats. Funny how it's, You're it's, fucking it's everywhere. Funny. It's kind of funny with the reversal because rags is like it's <laughs> the short like, one. Yeah, the short. Yeah, the short Hobbs and the long Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then you know I'll just let you guys see this and comment freely. Oh boy! Oh <laughs> no! Some people just want to. <laughs> draw what they want to draw and they're like how can i channel this how can i somehow how can channel I get this them to into... look at this and then plot yeah forward? yeah like i, I clearly want forward. to draw what i want to draw so how do i make this a thing we've even got a sexy efap chat yeah <laughs> sexy efap chat e schlick or is that too much man nah. another calvin and Hobbes in a row i love the little yeah. wolf i got look at him yeah that's great yeah I was trying to zoom in and just getting close to the ass of the girl next. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. We can, can we petition to rename Fringy Old Camel Feet? <laughs> no. I feel like he's going to no. be against that, yeah. No. no. This is just the isolated Samauri from, um, I think this is Owlet Freddo's work. So. Oh, that's great. That's just neat. He's brewing. He's making a little brew. <laughs> Very peaceful entity. He's a very tiny wood pile. Hmm. Yeah, you know, just Although, for his little wood projects. Oh, and Although check I must, this out. I, I must say, I, I can't unsee the smoke looking like like there's smoke. Oh, yeah, I remember Two this people one. people spooning. <laughs> oh, now that you pointed that out, I oh. can't see that either. <laughs> well said. That is an interesting little bit of smoke there. Um, and yeah, I've seen this one. This one's really cool. I like the uh, I like all of the Plague Doctor uh, emblems and stuff. It's It's neat. Nice. Um, also, I don't know if I wonder if that because uh, I don't I can't. What was the Australian rifle in World War Two? Was it the? Hold on. The World Nord. War Two. Well, I just I can't because um, because you you remember like the ones that other people had because Americans it was like the BAR and the uh the Tom, um Thompson. The bar. You can just call it the bar. Oh, you used you guys had that um. Oh, you talking oh, about light gun, machine right. guns? Well, was it the... The Owen uh, gun yeah, was a I, submachine gun, and it was a good uh, one. Yeah, I'm trying to... Because I, I can't remember, because you don't see it as much. It, um, Yeah, the Owen gun, that's the one. Yeah, the Owen submachine gun. That was a common one. The guy who made it called, it called like Owen, that. or...? Well, it's just... Uh, I don't know, maybe. I'd be tempted to do it, you know? Be like, I was just wondering gun. if this was the Bren, the Bren light machine gun. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you, yeah, you'd probably be using what the Brits used. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Um, you know. Like, you'd be using, let me see, uh, da, 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 da. let me, see. I can actually scroll down and find out. Um, Australia. Well, so there's a nice little helpful thing that I found that just has all of the, uh, the rifles that we used. Lewis guns and Hotchkiss guns. Yeah. You see on his uh, knee, you got, this, I think that's Spot, and then another image uh, is, uh, oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not so sure what's, what that second image is, I'm a little know, bit scared. Uh, I think the middle the one there. might be the Don, because of the motorcycle. Oh, it's a motorcycle, okay, okay, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. I, I saw like something else there. Flag. 
<laughs> Big old <as> well. dingus. <laughs> <laughs> I will never confirm. The long, the long necked fringo on the arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, you're up there. Uh, you're as high as the moon. I am indeed. I think this is, God, again, dude. isolated from one of uh, Outlet Fredo's videos. There's a couple of these. They're very, very cool. No. This is the one where I, I meet Moopa, I assume through a rift in the dimensions. <laughs> Not quite as long, you see. Yeah. And this is just, you know, marveling on the destruction of every industry ever, I guess, as you do. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, some good rats Look in the those floor. Little rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah some good rats. rats. Yeah, they're like, listen, it's like rats can sense these sorts of things. Yep. They're like birds. But on the ground. <laughs> yeah. It was. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of this? It's like, well, it's some kind of. Ancient markings. Perhaps a warning. A warning. <laughs> what is it? A warning. He is coming. Ew. When we had White Light and Theo on the Cyberpunk stream, I was like, you guys like sound the same, just one of you's more cynical. <laughs> just on here, man. Hear <laughs> I'm almost certain on that stream I got confused as to who was speaking sometimes. <laughs> it's interesting. What it takes Very for something ancient. to be a triumphant moment. Like, you, you're the... And I did it, Dad. I'm the, and the... I guess you could say it's like, <laughs> well, they achieved it, right? And you're like, yeah. It was point A, and then we went to point B. Did it. Like, Nothing in between. <laughs> it's like, you can eat that apple, Bobby. And he's like, I'm gonna do it, Dad. And he eats the apple. Good, good job, Bobby. I'm proud of you. Oh, people coomed over that scene so much. I did it, Dad. I'm the... Don't have them explain why, though. Oh, this is a great image. You guys remember Mr. Biggles. Mr. Biggles, I do. Wherever and whenever EFAP spreads their Snyder Derangement Syndrome propaganda, Mr. Biggles will be there, waiting, watching, ready to pounce on their lives. Lies, sorry. <laughs> Damn. Snyder Cut's not that good. <laughs> You'll regret saying that. Oh, this is nice. I'm not sure what game it is, though. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> is that, uh, I think Sea of Thieves? Uh, sea of Thieves, yeah. I think I remember the health bar. I don't know how the water will that's look great. when moving, but I like the look of the water from this. That looks, yeah, that looks really cool. I think it's yeah. great you can have a dog named Rags. I think that's that's great. Yeah. I wonder what they do for you. Maybe they like find cool things for you or they spot enemies. Or like they dig up buried treasure or something. Yeah, or or yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you could wear them on your head like a cool hat. Oh <laughs> keeps you warm in the cold. Put them on your wrist like a watch, and you could be like, "Hey, Rags, what time is it?" And I'll be like, "It's a hair past a freckle." And um, I can't remember if we ever showed this, but I want to make sure it is involved. A little oh, like man. project, I guess someone had for an animation. Um, oh, okay. Ooh, Let's see. Looks oh. neat. Let me click this. Uh, well, I'll have to click it on Twitter. Uh, ball is uh, watch this on oh, look at that! Uh, yeah. It's... This, by the way, will likely inspire what may become an animated uh, avatar someday for this very Discord. Oh, Who boy, knows? Yeah. Nice. oh wow, that's cool. Mm. It is cool. That is really neat. That's a yeah, lot like of a lot. that's a lot of paper. It is a lot. Yeah, it would have taken some time. So, thank you very much. All right, it took me what is it like a year to get to it? But <laughs> here we go. Um, we are now going to move along to video memes. Oh my goodness. Don't be afraid. Oh, oh, I'm no. afraid. We Help got me. I've split them into copyright and non copyright, but I can never be sure. So yeah. we'll see about that. These are supposed to be the non copyright ones. But there are little bits and bobs here and there of different things, so you mm. never know. You never, never know. Never quite know. Uh we got a whole bunch of different things today. Who knows? We'll open, since we were talking about the plushies and stuff, with one called the Terror of the Mola Plushie. How about that? Oh, no. Sounds dangerous. The terror? 
Yeah, the Terra, yeah. Is everyone in? Oh, there we are. No, we should right. be in. Here we go. I'm here. Seriously, the rags one, it just melts any anyone, oh, you know? It's yeah. just like... Eat like, that's something you could actually, chunk. like, a, a fucking kid could actually, like, have that and not be freaked out like they would with Maulers. <laughs> you just give this to you to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Terror of the Mauler plushie. Why did you put your dolly on top of the dresser again? I did it, Ma! <laughs> it moves at night, Ma. How well, did you get it on your windowsill on the outside? I don't understand. I, I asked this thing to tell me a bedtime story. I kept talking for six hours. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Honey, did you put TLJ in the trash again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is Interstellar in there too? Oh my god. That was funny. It was. It's a good meme. Good meme. Yumbus. It is a good meme. I like that meme. This I is uh approve of that meme. Bringing experiences disbelief. <gasps> oh boy. Far from home, I find even less functional than the Winter Soldier soldier. <laughs> 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 I want to do that again. The fucking music's perfect. Home, <laughs> I find even less functional than the Winter Soldier. <laughs> music. <laughs> it is the music that makes no. all no, 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 no. <laughs> the noise. No it's, that's Dark Souls 1, right? I can't remember which. Uh, that is Stiff. Great, ah, great okay. Wolf Stiff. You know, this is funny. I haven't played Dark Souls 1 much at all, and you've played it a lot. I, I don't know. Uh, man, what do you think that being, means? Being, I think it just means I'm paying more attention to the music. <laughs> so it means you should play well, more Dark Souls. That's what yeah, that means. You should it play... means I should play some more Dark Souls. You should play Dark Souls right. too, Fring. You'd love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would I? Dark Souls when Elden Ring is coming out. <laughs> oh, That's, oh, if point. you fucking ever did it, me and Mel would tune into that instantly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I might legit take vacation days for that so I can stay up overnight to watch it. <laughs> <that. laughs> that would be a thing, like, like I would honestly consider funding, like, uh... Also, I'm gonna say this while fixing the screen, apparently the screen capture's gone all boopy, but, um... <laughs> the idea of, like, forcing Rags and Fringy to stream a full playthrough of DS2, it's like, I would legitimately consider paying them. <laughs> really? Oh my well, because God. you'd never, ever agree to complete that game after playing enough of it, and I'd be like, okay, but if you, if I pay you, you have to, okay? <laughs> yeah. Damn That's it. pretty funny. I, you have to take work off, I will pay you the wage you have lost by doing so. Take the money we'll back, play. it's not worth it. I was about it. to say, I feel like Friggy and Rags are smart enough to know that if I offer that, they'd be like, wait a minute. Like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to pull here? What is this horrifying thing? And it's like, just do it, just do it. Um, but yeah. Look, look, the Shrine of Amana is really fun! Oh no. <laughs> uh, Shrine of Amana, uh, that sounds like a pleasant place. Yeah. It looks a real good it's, one. I know, I, now Ooh. I know something you don't, Rags, it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it, well, it, you'll be fine as long as you have friends, that's what H-Bomb guy said, and who the fuck doesn't have friends, so... Uh... <laughs> Man, that's a... Uh, what a so... great endorsement of oh, the boy, level. <laughs> Um, Should they ask me when they're stuck? I just tell them what to do because there's only one way to do it. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, <laughs> oh, we're, we're unsealing old scars here. Anyway, so yeah. uh, <laughs> Play Creations did a compilation of the first thing I say at the beginning of like EFAPs 1 through 100, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I often wonder this. Yeah, everyone does. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god. No, we're alone. Till now. <laughs> Should be weird streaming. Oh yeah, <laughs> connecting. I don't know if that's gonna separate. There we are. What about uh, for about five until? Did you did you hear about by the way? And we're up. Oh yeah, it's, it's totally casual. It's nothing. Uh, how do I? I'll get you guys links to the actual stream in a second. And yes, you're right. Uh, there are probably people out there. I've just gone live, but um, 
receiving your content. Your audience will see it in a moment. Get ready. Welcome this to is the a successful Wait, podcast. This wow. one's not <laughs> featuring Logic because you've now been featured. Boy. Let's do it. This is the professional. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We'll proceed, Michelle. We're gonna <laughs> talk. <laughs> How are you guys finding Twitter fun? You are a bad <laughs> man. Also, I am going live now. I can't imagine, like, a, it's going to be interesting because this is completely out of nowhere. I don't think anybody's actually been told this is even happening. I'm Are sure we've got like, a few seconds. Someone yeah. sent me something on Twitter and I've put it as our temporary cover. I think yeah. you guys will like it. The, the opening of... Around. This is like the earliest EFAP ever. Go. We do normally have really raggers. The, the, uh, is that, is that, is that uh, music copyrighted? Am I in trouble now? Dun, I've forgotten dun, something. Dun. If it does, I'll just tell you you're a bad man. Uh, I already went live, tricked you. You have been saying that. I've. How many have you? How many have you drinking? How many have you? How, how much have you drunk? Oh, exciting! Here we are. Now I'm gonna turn my fan down so it doesn't affect my microphone as badly. This, he's a very bad person, and uh, I hate every <laughs> single thing about him. Life with EFAP number forty-five. <laughs> thing with EFAP yeah. is that we'd like to go live. Most people think. And away we go. How could you say that to your own mother? <laughs> it's good that, I guess, it's good that we're not live yet, so I can explain to you, Mel, that I think you have a drinking problem. And <laughs> Discord is on screen. Everything is running as intended. Pro this time. They don't deserve it. I'm doing it. Drooling mm -hmm. from your mouth, you say. Wait, um, oh yeah, no, I've heard of that. What were you talking about, Eureka? Going live for the very first. Well, no, no. I've got the regular. I, I haven't done any kind of sound checks. So I'm just gonna do that. What are we? Wait, what are we talking about? Whether actually... you like it or not. We need the left wing. We have the right. <laughs> um. So now someone said something in chat, which means this must be working. It's telling me whether or not the broadcast is working. Now oh. I'm gonna... oh, how exciting. When's yeah. the... the fetish is coughing. Like, you're saying this was happening to both of the. Uh... It's always reassuring that before it even says that the broadcast is completed. Let me give you a bad person. When's it gonna be really funny if like, how do you know it's not to do with that? It's been weird. I'm booting back up for portion two. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Talk about your <laughs> fine. It's fine now. Yeah, I'm assuming you've been tweeting about like, oh, I've been watching Toy Story and some people figured it out. Well, there we go Sometimes. then. It has those people. And let's hope that it works. Oh, sure. It should be in the title yeah. anyway. I'm just... For a second, I was like, why would you know Sab and not know Max? <laughs> I'm gonna go live now. I'm hearing so many complaints. Jesus. All right. I guess the <laughs> fucking podcast's off. We're not doing it. Going live. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you I'll give you as many more guesses as you want, and then I'll reveal it when you say, I don't know. Wait, so... <laughs> oh, well, okay then. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, I, I, I asked you... <laughs> well, that, see, whatever. Because if I get a... Especially if I get a thumbnail done, like... That's my go sound. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, it, the mystery you we say. Will be it's, dude, the brick is so consistent as well. Uh, yeah, okay. The brick is so consistent. The <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hello. Okay. Save, save, save. I've been oh, yes. um, chipping okay. away more and more at, at, at my video. Lots, lots of clips, footage. I've done an edit as well. It's just fun. I'm just reminding myself, like, oh man. Stuff for a bit, you Have know. Which Counter Strike? What the fuck? You're making such random noises. Alrighty then. So this is EFAP number 100 and. <laughs> Who knows what number it is, really? <laughs> Welcome to what? EFAP uh, number. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, stop. You, people are gonna think that I force you to do this. Well, they'll know. I mean, they know. Yeah. Hopefully, nobody ever hears <laughs> from the, like, the fact that it's like, you hate so That would be really bad if anyone was to hear that. Don't so you know rushing off. Sweet. Here we fucking go. Good oh, point. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's the first thing, really. Well, <laughs> you'd describe it as fun, right, guys? You'd probably call the movie fun. I... Fluming. That's a way to introduce it. <laughs> oh, when have you started to happen on a Friday? Who knows what will happen? All bets are off. All right. All righty then. Welcome to EFAP one, two, four? Gold? No. Oh my goodness, we could very well be live. Uh, wow, that's, that sounds excellent. Wholesome. Welcome to Jim Markham Faith. It's such a <laughs> sad timeline. Like, boom. Wow, all you do is complain. Ew. <laughs> well, let's, let's say, say from the top. Say. From the <laughs> yeah, Fortnite is probably going to be around for a long time, and that's sad, but whatever. What are you going to do? Speaking. <laughs> what are you going to do? Excellent. <laughs> I showed uh, Rags a couple of Simpsons episodes. Welcome to EFAP 137. Now. Okay. Hello and welcome to EFAP 137. Well, you know what? One of you guys has to do the intro. Um, 
Oh, you gotta wait. Yeah, me... Give him, give him like an hour, and he'll be back to normal because he's, he's sleeping. Oh. <laughs> it was literally, it, it was like a contractually like, I'm dead now. Can I leave? They're like, one more. But you're like, okay. Hey, how can you, <laughs> you, you sent me the orders. Not Jackson. <laughs> Put Link in a sack. Um, or is it? Oh my god. Oh look at that. It's all fucking fucked. God damn it. <laughs> you have to, you have to double click it, and then it comes back. Yeah, I agree. Hello, welcome to part two. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Oh, that was really animation. cool. I, I really like that quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So much that effort really into something that somebody hadn't really thought of before. Yeah, what did Bola say <laughs> in the beginning of every episode? But yeah, thanks so much for making it. It's really amusing to know that is the consistent intro of EFAP, just random shit. Just random yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. You we don't have a to plan, it you know. sense. Um, But yeah, that would have taken fucking ages. It, it is quite the project for like... But why? But then also, yeah. I don't know, it's pretty awesome, so... But also, yeah. Yeah. It, somehow it turns out A-OK -okay when everything's all said and done. It all works yeah. out. People keep coming to listen. It's good schleams. Good schleams. Totally unscripted. Completely and totally unscripted. And he didn't even need to animate a character, but he did. Yes. Just mm. one of those things, you know? Would I... Um, if I had to... This one's quiet. Right. Just a second. Well, it I was gonna say, you guys are gonna need your own volume down. controllers if you, uh... Yeah, yeah I've, I've got my turn oh, mine's on full. Away. Yeah, okay. um, No, I mean, I'm gonna um, have to... extension. Here comes my cranky uh, knob. Yeah, I'm gonna here have to do go. something here. We saw this back in, like, EFAP 20 or something. It's an invaluable fucking little tool. Seriously. Knob is cranked. Yeah, I, I just so... normally don't have to use it. Yeah. We good, or...? Yeah, I, well, I, I, I guess I won't know until it plays. It should be all right. Rags, yes, did you that's fight better. a horse-sized duck. Would I, um, if I had to? Right. If it was, I mean, if the chips were down and we had, if I and I really had to, then mm -hmm. yes. Because I think I could get the horse-sized duck by the throat, and like I, fe I yeah. feel like I have the potential for a kill shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how a horse-sized duck would enable the duck to really be able to get a kill shot on me. But would it actually be able to kill me with what it's equipped with, like a bill and webbed feet and Coleca? Yeah, giant it's, teeth. Yeah. I mean, um, what? Ducks don't. Ducks Adam, may you, nibble you... and lightly bite you as a sign of familiarity. <laughs> if you regularly feed the ducks out of your hand, they may start to nip at you to ask for food a duck that is just being friendly will rarely bite hard but they can bite extremely hard and will often take off a finger or two oh my what God. i do not what? believe that I don't that believe is horse shit <laughs> <laughs> that's so good that's i have the... lived i have lived near ducks my entire my first oh. word was duck that's how familiar I am. That, I, there are ducks everywhere, <laughs> like, right? Lots of lakes and ponds, <laughs> lots of ducks, lots of geese. I have been nibbled by many a duck in my in, really? in my time. Yes, I've been nibbled by Ooh, ducks wait. many What's this? times. Do ducks bite? Learn to tame aggressive ducks today. Wait a minute. I'm signing up. Why do ducks I'm bite? Signing up. During breeding season, ducks usually intimate mating by biting each other. How cute. This one's a bit more surreal. But you know Cerebral. Cerebral, yes. I'm very excited to introduce our special guest today, Mr. Bernie Sanders. I can't say to see you in my office again? You've never made a logical decision in your life. Be that as it may, I presume you're familiar with security? The old refresh should look fine. As it happens, <laughs> fine. as it happens, <laughs> the United States is full of them. What the fuck? <laughs> the boys have already been spoken to about the drug companies, the health care, the health insurance companies, the fossil fuel industry, what? What the fuck? <laughs> it appears this little stunt has, as the kids say, gone viral. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Um, so like, okay, so last year I used to stream like 10 hours per day. <laughs>
quite consistently, that was my average. And then, you know, I went down to like eight hours. There was a time in the day where my mom can't make me nuggies, and I gotta do it myself. <laughs> 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 I'm, just, I'm just so upset. <laughs> How sad for you. Yeah, I'm not that consistent. Idiot. Uh, oh my. Hassan at the end leaving. It's funny, sometimes American journalists talk about how bad a country is because people are lining up for food. That's a good thing. In other countries, people don't line up for food. The rich get the food and the poor starve to death. What'd you bring me? <laughs> oh, what you bring me? He's even included his own what you bring me in the meme. <laughs> what you bring me Pop is a notch. strong fucking meme. Absolutely. The world should be aware of such things. Oh, so you'll need context for this. The audio is 100% sourced from the radio, okay? That's... So nothing has been edited. It's just the imagery, but... This is a meme that uh, Jay, uh, I think, showed Metal and then they showed me. And so they, they've added a little little goompy animation, but uh, all the sound is real. I wonder what this... Oh! <laughs> the Duke of Edinburgh is fast. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. I know this meme. Yes. Right, that, that was real, wasn't it? That no, was no, real. no, no, no. I checked. Unfortunately, it's not completely real. Oh no! There's like a there's like a whole whole tie-in with like royal music and some a little bit other shenanigans. But it's a really funny cutout. Oh, I thought it was real. Because essentially it still stopped the music, they did the announcement, and then the music turned back on. But it was a little bit longer, I think. I see. Well, still so, hilarious. Yeah, wait, wait, wait I, when, when, when Jay showed now, me Jesus this, Christ. I just... fucking hauled. I, it's <laughs> so funny. I watch it like a week. Like every day. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Uh, hey Molly, just wanted to point out... Oh, we. Uh, you made three vids technically made more political videos than Duma. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, sure. That's, that's, I mean, yeah, good for you, Mark, I, 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 I was happy about it, but Free was yeah. way happier about it. Pretty, yeah, right? pretty you hear that, yeah. Duma? I fucking wrecked you. And Free yeah. is real happy yes. about it. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Duma. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Unsaddled praise. <laughs> Happy for years for my sort of. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! That was really funny. Wait, man. what is that Willy Wonka one that just popped up in a What is that one? Fringy tells the cast about his home. Oh, that's going to be for the copyright section. Cause... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Now I'm all excited. <laughs> yeah, so am um, I. <laughs> I think this show's called Roast of London, and they've just created a little thing that relates to our shenanigans. Yes! <laughs> be right back. Well, how long will you be? Three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> He's a massive idiot. <laughs> Wasn't he supposed to be very good? <laughs> I say, when will I be dug up? <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to agree with you about this. That's very true. Very well done. <laughs> so fitting. <laughs> Three and a half hours. <laughs> be right back. How long will you be? Three and a half hours. Uh, it's uh, I forget the actor's name. His fucking delivery is so wonderful and everything that he's in because he just he ha he plays that. He's such a larger than life. Like every single sentence he delivers. <laughs> Because Tom Taylor watched WWE and saw Shinsuke and said, hey, I'll take that surname. And then we'll give him pink hair because he's a gay! 
Why? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh god, they're attacking? Attack of the gaze. <laughs> that's that's the warning symbol, as you don't fuck around with living, that. Attack of the living gaze. Two heterosexuals have got themselves boarded up in a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere, and they're being living besieged gaze. by the gaze. When there's no more room in hell, the gaze will. <laughs> Satan, release the gaze. Release the gaze. Come, watch Queer Eye with me. It'd be fun. <laughs> oh, I say, this is a lovely little farmhouse. I'll put some curtains up here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh, dude, that film would be fucking amazing. <laughs> Attack of the Living Gays. <laughs> so, so this is a, a less, a, a more unconventional one. It's called mm. Mark the Ripper, an un, an EFAP horror story. Oh no. I love games. I love games. Hi, I'm Mark Brown, and oh, no. I want to play a game with you. Already scared. This game is all about Patreon. <laughs> I've got three different boys carefully chained together to a pole. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. Tony <laughs> and Derek. You have to fund the Game Makers Talk with Patreon. You've got a one minute time limit. And if you don't finish that objective within the time limit, I will punish them. <laughs> no. The question is, what's the best way to do this? <laughs> so here, I've got a bunch of different things on a table that make punishing them fun. And there are loads of good ways to punish them by doing all sorts of fun things, like punching the crap out of them. <laughs> when done well, physical force is an unparalleled treat. <laughs> if you ask me, we want to punish them in a way that feels satisfying when you perform it well. I've got a gun. No, Mark, This move no. instantly kills an enemy. <laughs> and easy kills are actually pretty boring. And it gets rid of exciting moments like hitting up and getting a big burst of feedback and being able to slowly grind the knuckles against the tongue. Oh, oh God. God. That's still worth mentioning. Wow. I've oh, got no. a sword. It's easy Ow. to use, but hard to master. <laughs> 12 seconds. Even if you're pretty sloppy, it just feels great. But that's because forcing players to meet your vision and punishing them for playing otherwise is intrinsically satisfying. Oh my god. It's time. And I've been having a lot of fun. Okay, let's start with Tony. First, a chainsaw. Chainsaw. Oh, no. oh stop. Bear with me for a second. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Brown, and I've got two different voice perfectly <laughs> Next up is Derek. No, Derek, run! If you screw up the timing, I'll bash Derek to bits. <laughs> oh, no. Now, it starts. Some players will always react negatively to punishment. But I didn't expect people to have such a strong reaction to the timers. Oh, God. I wanted to force them to make difficult decisions and experience both the satisfaction of choosing correctly and the regret of choosing poorly. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. Please, no. Punishment naturally tests your punishment. <laughs> you in thrilling white knuckle situations, and until you can surpass it, I've got to get up close and personal with Derek. Oh no, no, Derek. When it comes to punishing them, you've got to play it dangerously to win. This table of things gives us an almost infinite number of ways to abuse people <laughs> quickly and slowly. Quickly and slowly. Perhaps what we can do is break in the lingers. <laughs> no. In seconds. Trust me, this one is always a hit. 
Just the, the, impl the horrific implications he's done this many <laughs> times <laughs> before. He's seasoned. Let's start with the first finger. Oh no. <laughs> Derek, okay. no. This is thematically relevant. <laughs> now, the second the, finger. Thematically relevant. <laughs> the first finger. The fourth finger. These things are fun. <laughs> but why? <laughs> but why? A shattered one hand. And we're still not done. Oh shit. Next no. up is in Oh Derek passed out. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Now it's actually pretty boring. <laughs> Hell. By by Derek. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Derek. <laughs> Okay, now I've got an annoyed. Perhaps what we can do is give you some immediate encouragement. Uh. It puts the fund in the Patreon, or <laughs> else Jake gets the cattle prod. <laughs> Jake get the cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> it puts the fund in the Patreon. No. Or else Jake gets the cat out of It puts the. Why? Why would you not you just. The fund in the Patreon. <laughs> it gives the Patreon fund to us. <laughs> me. Or else Jake gets the cat out Same. Heresy. Oh, no. No. Well, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Mark, please. <laughs> okay, Jake. Time to burn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Horrifying. Yeah. So what went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this one interesting. I love seeing all the different ways uh. you could abuse people. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to hide the bodies, delete the camera recordings, and so on. <laughs> oh, oh great. <laughs> Good shit. I was hoping for a verse tall verbs cameo. Oh my god, my face! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Can't trust Mark Brown, man. <laughs> There's something going on there. Oh my god, what the fuck? So spooky. Dark. <laughs> darkest man. It's like the person who like actually dropped their glasses on an empty floor. An empty floor in some modern art museum and people thought it was a fucking display. The, the king yeah. will start the, the, staring I, at it. I was in Venice and they did that on a, on a school trip. There was this whole outhouse of rooms, all different kinds of great works. One room that was connecting two rooms had a fire extinguisher in it, and seven people surrounded it looking at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. It was one of the most hilarious fucking things. Uh, me and the yes. people with me were just um, looking at them because they were the exhibit at that point. Yeah. That's, uh, that's really impressive, the uh, fire extinguisher on the floor. <laughs> it's really there. well mechanized, and it's like it's, it serves a lot of purpose. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's subtle, elegant, haunting, yet restrained. If I walk into an art ga gallery, in my most in most of my commentary is, well, I could do that. It's not much of an <laughs> art gallery. But how did it make you feel? How did it make you feel? Feel. Because that's what matters. Oh boy, this will, this one. Knob.
This is a legendary one. Oh. Here we go. The the conversation. Spike. Really important ones. Good good shit. Put putt's great. Oh, that's a sport. That's a fucking, it, how come there's not a you guys, Yeah. Do you guys call it putt putt instead of. We just call no, it. No, okay, well, the, the losers call it mini golf. Putt no, putt putt's putt amazing. It's completely putt -putt. gay and junk. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I don't even I feel know what like you're talking about. Cut straight to the chase. Like, yeah, it's a way better wrong. name. <laughs> it's, better name. <laughs> it, it's putt putt. It is, it is its own thing. Putt putt's incredible. Putt -putt you know how many like Taiwanese water taxi? Taiwanese water taxi? Yeah, it's putt putt. It's here to pick you up, take you wherever you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> little driver that comes up and is like putt putt. Yeah, putt, -putt, 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 -putt. No, it sounds like what a little kid will say when he needs to go to the toilet. Daddy, I need to go putt putt. And it's like, alright, off you go. <laughs> No, so if you said, Daddy, I need to go putt-putt, he's like, fuck yeah, son, let's go putt-putt. And then they get in the car and they go play putt-putt. The kid's just shot himself <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Dad, that wasn't what That's I wanted. <laughs> Double I, mean, Dad. I, I do like just being reminded of how ridiculous that argument was. That anybody <laughs> would ever entertain the notion that putt-putt is a better name for mini-golf than mini-golf. Don't worry, Rags, you can make it. We'll just get to the next meme, it'll be fine. No, yep. it's fine meme. It's a fine meme, and uh, putt putt's great. Yeah, mini golf is pretty great. I agree. That, that's cool too. But um, it's cool. Oh, it's cool I too think... now, huh? According yeah, to the meme. it's cool too. It's See, fine. You seem to be much more Some engaged people... still once upon a time. No, 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 no. It, it's fine. The midgets can do whatever they want to do. Oh. I don't want to get in the way. They're fun. Oh, sorry. I think uh, non midgets play it too. I think I have to check you, the science on They could. On that. They could. Sure. They could and do in large number, actually. <laughs> you could even say millions. Can you even have yeah. a large number of midgets? Why not? Well, because well, it not depends big. what large so, means. Well, I was, I was just going off for like the whole. I was head laughing, but little... Discord didn't pick it up. I, oh I got no! It. I got it. <laughs> Look what we yeah, got the, here. So what will probably happen a lot in this conversation? Conversation is I will be bringing up Resident Evil Four. Can someone can someone make like a clip compilation of every time we say Resident Evil Four? And... <laughs> <laughs> well, <there you> go. <laughs> Dark oh Souls. boy! Dark Souls. Silent Hill. Resident Evil Four. Killed. Seven. And I really the remake of Seven. All right, Resident Evil Four. Shit. One, two, four, five. Six Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 3 remake, seven, seven, sorry, seven. Was Resident Evil 7. Seven, seven, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 7, seven, Dark Souls, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Dark Souls, Dead Space, Dark Souls, Dead Space, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4. I think what I actually think is really neat about this is to know what most commonly comes up and what games get referenced because it's always like it's like a sphere of games, right? And like the ones we're mentioning yeah. are all uh, floating yeah. around this one. Kind of yeah. interesting. Resident Evil 4. 4 is 4. 2, 3, 1. one two, three, oh, yeah, four. Four. 7. Original. Like 1, 2, 3. One. Very first Resident Evil. Resident, Resident Evil 4. Destroyed. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Four. Yeah. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. 4. Sonic 06. Dead Space. Cool. Resident okay. Evil yeah. 4. Resident Evil 4. Cyberpunk. Resident Evil 4. RE4. RE4. Resident Evil 4. RE4. 4. 4. Doom Eternal. Resident Evil. 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is Resident Evil 4. Well, and Resident 4. Halo Reach. Guitar Hero. Metro. Code Veronica. If yeah. Resident Evil 3, the original. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 3. Oh, original okay. Resident Evil 1. Like Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah. Sex. The original and Resident Evil 1. RE4. RE4. Sorry, I'm like, here comes the. RE4 is the Resident Evil 2 remake. Four. Resident Evil 4. Dark, Dark yeah, Souls. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Fallout 3. And there was Edge. It's Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3. Metro Prime. Metro Prime. Metro Prime. Zelda. Halo. The Lost of Us. Resident Evil 4. Oh my god. Resident Evil 4. RE4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. And Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4. In a lot of ways, the original Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, RE4, 1, 2, 3 games, Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 4, RE4, 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 Silent Hill 4. Holy shit! Resident Evil 4, 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 Resident Evil 4,
Evil 4, Resident Evil 7 first Resident comes 7, to me. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 4. I mean, it's fair, I just think of the Resident Evil 4 with the 4. I'm not a fan of Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, it's in Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 7. Last of Us 2, Rags Loves 4, Boris. 4 is, knows what it is. Dude, 4 is, not even halfway. 4 is, 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 Resident Evil 4 is yeah. Devil May Cry. Yeah. Doom Titanfall 2. Resident Evil 5. From Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 4. Halo. Fear. 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 Halo Titanfall 2. Call of Duty. 4. Are you playing Resident Evil 4? Are you playing Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 2. Are you playing Resident Evil 4? Really do any in Resident Evil 4. Halo game. Bioshock. Doesn't matter what much we're going to open it. Are you playing Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil 4. 4. Resident Evil 4. Are you 5? Dark Souls. Halo. Halo. Monster Hunter World. The Monster Hunter. Mord Hal. Mord Hal. Are you for Titanfall? Apex Legends. Apex Legends. Halo's Evil. Killing Floor. Killing Floor 2. Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock. Fallout 76. <laughs> the new Modern Warfare. The Enter the Gungeon. The Time Crisis games in the arcade. The Time Crisis House of the Dead. Hot no, Love. How Love. Dark, Dark Souls with a banana. And Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5. Definitely an execution issue. Resident Evil 4. The original RE2. RE2 remake. Resident Evil 4. Killing Floor 2. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7's RE4. Dead Space. Dead Space. Yeah, Dead Space 2. Alien Isolation. Dead Space. Super Metroid. Super Metroid. Resident Evil 4. Eternal Darkness. Amnesia. Mirror's Edge. Dead Space. Bioshock. Dead Space. Super Mario. Resident Evil 4. 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 Resident Band eight B and D high fave game resi four is span <laughs> lol whatever uh, I resi four resi evil two resi evil two remake resident evil two remake resident evil four is resi evil four metroid prime two echoes resident I, evil I don't two resident evil two remake daisy daisy seven and the re two remake and re two is re five and re six games even four of course. PT, PT, PT. Resident Evil 4, 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 Amnesia game or whatever. They have like Walt Amnesia. Frank's is a pretentious twit who loves to. Perfect. What? Follows the logic, even though Game 3 is 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, RE4, RE4, Resident Evil 4, RE4, 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 RE4 plus RE7. RE4, RE7. Resident Evil 4. RE7. RE4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5. RE4. 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 Resident Evil 4. RE4. RE4. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5. 4. 4. Resident Evil 4. 1 or 2 or 3 or 6. RE2 remake. 7 and 4 is. RE1 remake. Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 7 is Code Veronica. Four, four, five, six, 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 the RE2 and RE3 remake with RE4 and RE4, the seven of the Amnesia, PT, Silent Hill games, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Four, Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube, Resident Evil 1 remake on GameCube, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 2, 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Soma, 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 Resident Evil 4, Soma, Crash 4, Soma, Spec Ops the Lion, no, okay, Soma, Resident Evil 4, Soma, Hellblade, 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 Resident Evil 4 is RE2 remake, Hit and Run, it's better, Hit <laughs> and Run's better. <laughs>
You know what? Bad meme. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, they ruined the whole meme. Um, I th this is the thing. It's well reasoned. It's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I yeah. totally understand. It is I really guess funny. That EFAP was. That was, was a long, long one. That was, was a long boy. We went into so today. many gaming discussions in that one. We really did. That but was a very, very. Pr that was a very productive EFAP. In terms of just talking about stuff. That was a lot of mentions of Resident Evil 4. I like it when it went Resident Evil 4, 4, 4, Gears of War, 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just these medleys, and then there was a weird Soma. It's like Soma, 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 Soma. I can just imagine the dude who made this. He's like, he's just kind of sitting down. He has a song in the background, and he's got like three physical clickers sitting on his desk. <laughs> and whenever he hears one or the other, he clicks one, clicks the oh, other. Oh, Resident Evil! Oh, Resident, click. Resident Evil 4, yep. He's yep. like, he's just this elaborate setup to make it as efficient as possible. I mean, you'd need to. Look at he that kinda. people, though. God damn, he's so nervous. <laughs> Pressed out. Very stressed. Um, yeah, the, the game itself was uh, marketed to being, like, you know, because the village, like, oh, Resident 4? And, like, there's loads of, like... That was in a village in Europe. Yeah. And there's, there's lo me mechanically, there's loads of comparisons you can make to how empty Resident Evil 7 or 8, sorry, was. By comparison to four, so yeah. it was um, interesting, Nicole. But neat to know. Excellent work. Or took some time. Yep. That was very impressive. Yeah, the, to go through that and to get them all and to count them all. I really, I, I can really appreciate the effort you put into that. Absolutely. And it was interesting to see all of those just squeezed together. How many times they were spread out for the whole thing. And it's also really cool to see like how many games got mentioned, what ones they were, and how they were just dwarfed by. Resident Evil 4 <laughs> mentions. Um, yeah. But again, like Dead Space is probably one of the most commonly mentioned ones, which makes a lot of sense as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. does. Um, Alright, I'm glad this one was made into like a little video, because um, I already know I've already told you guys the story, and Mel has heard it like five times. He might have been there, I can't remember, but this is an old, like 2015 story. Oh for streaming, my goodness. But it will... Old Fringy's going to have difficulty not commenting on this as it, as it progresses. Oh, That's boy. all things... As all things were all of us. For example, this is a story we've told before because it happened on. Uh, oh. this... Whoa. What happened? Wait, What's what? happening? It's just, just stopped for me. Yeah. It did just stop for me. Yeah. It for did. example, this is a story we've told uh, before. There it go. happened on. Uh, on. Uh, it was when I was Twitch streaming. There it was we fucking go. hilarious. Yeah, I, was, I came into my chat. <clears throat> I was playing Resident Evil 4. I was playing Resident Evil 4. And uh, right. and uh, he was not a huge I'm fan of the stream. Channel. He was a, he was a fan of a friend of mine's stream, and he was just there. and He's like me. And because he, he always had controversial opinions, all right? And so we were chilling, they were talking about GTA 5 and how fucking great uh, it was yeah. and did. <laughs> and he said in chat, well, it did flop. What? So, <laughs> well, stra GTA strange. GTA 5. Isn't that strange? It's like, flopped. Like, GTA 5. Like, 90-something million copies. <laughs> I think it's the best-selling video copies. game of all, of all time, after, like, right? Tetris. So... So we asked him what he meant, and he was just like, well, it's just the game as a whole, like, it just it flopped. And, then, and, and I believe Smiler Owl was in the call, and he was, like, citing the sales. And the guy was like, yeah, not the sales, like, the actual, like, the amount, how much people are actually playing it. Not, like, because who cares if it's sold? It's like, how, how many people actually continue to play it? And we checked the player numbers at the time, and it was in the top ten for Steam. Still, at that point, yeah, it was like, it's, yeah, so it's depressing. Yeah, it's it's, it's incredibly popular, <laughs> and we brought that up, and he went, no, not like players playing it. I'm talking about how, like, how many people even completed the actual content. Like, pe sure, people are playing it because it sold so well, but are people actually, you know, going through the campaign, spending time on it? We got the numbers for those too, because you can find all this stuff online. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> and it was like, he loves yep, all people that. are completing it, playing it, loving it, percentage wise, it's. You're wrong. And he was like, no, I'm not talking about stuff like that. I'm talking about, <laughs> have you, and then he went to the, um, the multiplayer. He was like, people really fucking hate the multiplayer. And again, uh, the kind it's of thing. Really they popular, did. And the RP scene has given it a new lease of life. Well, so what we finally got him down to was the, uh, is it shark cards? They're in... Yeah. 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 The microtransaction, yeah. He brought up an issue with those, and he said they were frustrating mm -hmm. to a degree, um, and that not many people share it, but he certainly found it frustrating. And so we figured out that what he meant when he said GTA V has flopped was that he didn't like shark cards. He didn't like shark cards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> like shark cards. You can get there eventually. So if someone tells you Star Wars as a franchise has failed, just ask them what they mean. Because of course it can still make money, but 
if your argument is it's it's you know crippled itself in terms of making money, I think you'd be absolutely right. I think that there's no way you could have done a like better job in the amount of time that they've had to make it like less able to fucking just generate print money basically. Like that they. they the fact that they were beaten out quite significantly by the MCU when they didn't have to be whatsoever. It's just like, wow. Mm. You know, well, Star Wars the Juggernaut has been dethroned quite significantly at this point. Yeah, that really happened. And I remember yeah, wearing Resident Evil 4 I was, and I remember that very just vividly. dealing with this guy who kept changing the argument constantly until he it said shot It just reminds cards. me because you see people make these really dog shit points, like that something flopped or something like that, but then there's, it's just, I don't like it. Like, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, just say that. Yeah, it becomes this fascinating path when you just ask basic questions. I don't understand how somebody, Grand Theft Auto V is like one of the best selling games of all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the shock. Yeah. Has... By, by every definition of the word flopped, it, it, it ain't. <laughs> Not it by his definition. <laughs> it is the opposite of flop. It is the anti-flop. It is the anti-flop yeah. equation. It continues to print money. Oh, uh oh. Uh, oh, it did it again. Stop the game. Yeah, it did it again. It's very odd. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, we're good. It's working now. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just good chilling out. You. Some some friends of mine. Dude, Gary, let's just cell. let them be as awkward. <laughs> Gary, let's in just let them. I'm not saying anything, man. I'm just. Oh yeah, you know what? We can have a, yeah, you know what? We can have a great conversation. What stuff do you like? You give me some. What's what's things you interested in? Uh, I love uh, right now Gundam. Everyone's talking about my love God of Gundam. Damn it. Try something else. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> have you taken anything? Yes, it might have been blue. Like how long have you had this erection? Like for the average length of a Mola video, they're like, oh my god. <laughs> Can I just clarify, sir? Do you mean a mall of video or an EFAP stream? Oh, I mean an EFAP stream. Oh my god, get him into operation quickly. <laughs> Several doctors <laughs> run in the room. In the emergency room now! <laughs> Some weird- I don't know if we should reset this room, because it's been a bit- It's been a bit Yeah, it's, been, it, it's kind of- It's been a bit flumpy. Yeah, it's, it's been odd. Give it it's the been old kind reset. of odd. Let's give it the old reset. Someone's oh, trying to oh, stop us from ingesting all the memes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this will not stand. Blood stream. Train. Because that one like resell me five times and it was like, hey, oh. this is screwing up the comedic element. You cannot do that. Yeah, that yeah. would be bad. Asshole. Yes, this it it's ruining oh, the, our timing. The, the same one. <laughs> oh yeah, just uh, jump in the new one, lads. All right, here oh, we yeah. go. Hopefully this is non flumpy but yes, this one uh, you sent me recently, Mel. Fascinating. It's a cut scene from the uh, the the game Bioshock. Was a good game. I love Bioshock. We had a mm -hmm. good time. I am Metal Commander and I have one question for you. Is a man not entitled to the coom of his own peen? <laughs> no, it belongs to the thoughts. <laughs> no, it belongs to the sock. The sock. <laughs> no, it belongs to the doggo. <laughs> I rejected those answers. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys remember the weird fucking thing that happened with the uh, promotion for that Amazon Cinderella movie with James Corden? Do you, do you remember the one I'm talking about? So they're like in the middle of a fucking oh, cross section yeah, yeah. and they're just dancing. Well, someone yeah. took the audio for that and made something a little different, EFAP related. Oh no. Oh 
fuck is this? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yoda death sound. Right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so, is, do you know what? I don't even know if that's weirder or the original where James Corden's just walking around in like a mouse onesie go and yeah. singing to people in the street. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so fucking strange. But that's, that's where we are, yeah. So this pumps, yeah. It's called the Chronicles of Noom. EFAT meme. <laughs> oh no. This video is brought to you by Noom. Spy Mate, Mission Impossible, Bond film, Mission Impossible, Super Spy, the world's greatest spy, in Noom, Noom, Noom. Oh, it's worth mentioning for people with no context. <laughs> this is like a 10 minute video about how good Black Widow is, and then just know that and then listen to this compilation. All right. Noom, Noom, sign up for Noom, Noom, Noom. Thank you so much to Noom. I love Black Widow. Kick ass spy thriller, Catman, espionage assignment, spy cinema, Bond hiatuses, Mission Impossible, spy cinema, globe trotting espionage adventure, James Bond, Beyond Espionage, her Bond film. Casino Royale, right out of Bond. <laughs> Die another day, just Bond. Super Agent, let's go back to James Bond one more time. James Bond, <laughs> License to Kill, and Quantum of Solace, Bond as a spy. There's been a lack of genuine, harder edge spy films in the last few years. Bond spy content, spy opus. The Bourne trilogy does this with Jason Bourne. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. And the best Bond films do this with <laughs> it's James Bond. Such a meme. Spy Daniel Craig's <laughs> era of Bond. We've got to acknowledge Lara Croft, Bond women like Anya Emisova and Wei Lin, the equivalent to Bond. Occasional spy reasons, she's the spy for today's world. Wait, a Black Widow film inspired by Moonraker? What the f? But I need more than that to satisfy my appetite. You know me. You know what James Bond needs to me, right? He likes Bond. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I, I, I'm not quite sure of that just yet. Might need more. It's such a bizarre video because that's what we concluded, right? We're like, talk about Black Widow, fuck. Because <laughs> it's all about James Bond <laughs> and how much you like it, which is great. That's fine, but God damn. it it gave vibes of oh, I gotta make a video about this. Uh, how do I talk about this? Talk about Bond. <laughs> More just talk social. about, yeah. Just talk about James Bond if you want to. You just to shoehorn it into a Black Widow thing. It's got to be topical. Or maybe it was trendy, yeah, and you wanted to. Who knows? You just have to wait a little longer. No time to die will come out. There you go. Well, he's probably got seven yeah. videos on that. So. No time to doom. I love Muller and hope Muller loves me. I want to wrap my arms. <laughs> How is it again? again? Oh, fuck, why is he I doing love this? We'll just reload, Mauler yeah. Loves me. I want to wrap my arms around him and feel him inside me. <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> I'm here. What? But you're all my real friends. This meme doesn't make sense. Belch. Oh my god. I'm a kidney a shot, make a blue go away. Yeah, because that's Rick and Morty <laughs> where everybody's like mm -hmm. bloomed into being obsessed with Morty. And they're saying, yeah, yeah. it doesn't make sense because they are my friends. It's just like, ugh. <laughs> Memes are hard, okay? Ooh, this is the EFAP grocery store in Minecraft. Ooh. Wonder what's on sale. Minecraft. And stop. Okay. Oh, is it? Is it? No. No, it's no. gone. I was just expecting it to. Oh, yeah, there we go. No ruining oh, grandma. music is so oh. relaxing. Freudian. Hello, all my Ewoks. Oh, that's nice. My favorite rat. What we got? Rags of snow. Nice. That's like Fringy's goo right there. Yeah. That is the goo. Yeah. Metal yeah, tears. Yeah. Metal tears. Adelb. Wait, Adelb. who's collecting Adelb. that? That's fucked up. Crispy apples. Was it? Cooked carrots, yeah. naturally. Cooked carrots. Columbuses. Yum. Oh, oh nice. nice. Melons. <clears throat> Berry tomato. I remember that. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Sharting so onion. Sharting onion zoo. <laughs> Weird, Weird grapes. grapes. What would Kratos eat? Oh, nice. Just yeah, the, the tonal episodes. These are like 100% meat cabbage. 100% meat cabbage. <laughs> Bigot sandwich, nice. Oh, zebra there. meat. <laughs> oh, zebra meat. <laughs> Good rat. Cosmic chicken. Sun nuggies. Damn, delicacy. Oh. <laughs> Garfish. <laughs> Gatty bolognese. Oh, are they rhinos? Nice. Oh. 
<laughs> Just don't feed the rhinos. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's milk. I it's rhino it's... milk. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Delicious. <laughs> Butter steaks. Cheese cream. cream. <laughs> Fromage. Fromage. Nice. Bone ice cream. You don't eat it, you Squeezed eat it. cougars. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Butterfly milk. Lunch. Spider milk. It's a big store. This yeah. is a big store. It's lots of food. Uh, Bolognese. Cosmic eggs, damn. Ooh, gotta be wow, expensive. there's a lot. Ooh, yeah. those must be very pricey. Those should be locked up. Pineapple on pizza. Disgusting, it's I mean, correct. it's locked uh, away. It's not accessible. It's just there as a sort of no a door. warning. No, it's a display it to, to make everything else look appealing. Oops, pizza. Hot dog look costume. <laughs> Welsh dragon. Christmas, Halloween. <laughs> Instant water. Dry water. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wet. <laughs> Tap water and bath water. Yeah, you need, you know... Gotta get all your waters in there. Ocean man. Elevator music. Cherry cookies. Russian mechanic Chernobyl. We sell Chernobyl? Okay. <laughs> Gay donuts? <laughs> oh. Cheesecake. Cake. Cheesecake. Lost yeah. by Theo. <laughs> Theo. Stats by Aiden. Geo. Skittles. Gun lube. Skittles. Gun lube. All right. <laughs> Donate to orphans. Cylinder gun. Seven Secrets cylinder to Mario's guns. jump. That's it. It's in there. Open it up. No, Open no, no. Go up. back. No, no. Oh, waiting for it's years. Cool. Oh, what's this? Gay robot butler. <laughs> Noke soup. Loud soup. Nice. Oh, we got some empty <laughs> shelves in case. Yeah. For things Flag to come. Yeah. yeah. We're expanding over Questions here. Questions considered. Missing Medea. <laughs> Vote twice. Yeah. Seventy percent of the population. One fairly small meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hot take. The sequels of Battle of the Prequels, Atlas, Star Wars, Night Before Christmas, Spaceballs, boring. <laughs> yeah. Winter Soldier's Battle of the or worst of Afro. They gotta keep kept in the spicy section. Yep. No, no pooping, pooping with the door, with the door open. open. No human intercourse. Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Does it hurt? Subscribe to the Toxic Brood. There's nothing in the mystery yeah. box. <laughs> Matriculations. Goodbye, all my N words. How did it make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how. That's all the comment cards. How did it make you feel? <laughs> so it's fantastic. Yeah, good nice. It, wow, we talk about food a lot. We yeah. Oh, I, to be fair, we we've, we've talked. We're just hungry. We've people. talked for a lot too. So <laughs> we have. Yeah, we've probably. Fair. I mean, look at how much we talked about RE4. If Some there was like more than others, an EFAP <laughs> menagerie, we'd probably have a shit ton of references, and they would be like, "Oh yeah." There'd be like a little, you know, lion versus uh, bear, like fucking simulation in there or something. Because we wouldn't actually have them fight. That would be fucked up. Silence is agreement. Yeah. <clears throat> Dan Slot from Marvel was saying Spider Man's jokes about fat jokes towards Dr. Octopus were like unacceptable. Mm. Oh. And they're bad and they like age horribly. Cause my sweaty balls, you fat fuck. And I'm like, Dr. Octopus <laughs> killed people. <laughs> yeah, but he's. he's... <laughs> You can't say he's fat. If, if Spider Man, if Spider Man was trying to get into his head, get him annoyed, it's make him make a mistake so he could defeat him. So what? That's an Austin Powers right there, isn't it? Like. You fat piece of shit. You know what? I, I don't even want to do this whole world domination thing anymore. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm going to go home. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I might murder yeah. people, but I'm not a monster like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs>
it is pretty fucked up. Even if you're trying to take over the world, you shouldn't be making fat jokes. That's the worst thing you can do. You really shouldn't. Yeah. Dude, listen, we're... I mean, come on. <clears throat> have some standards. Just appalling. Just don't call him fat. Just name yourself a fucking organization. Organization. Every oh, you missed this out. This thing. Well, call yourself something fucking normal then. Call Hold yourself on. Rainbow Flag. I don't care. Just call yourself something instead of fucking letters and numbers and fucking plus size. It's like somebody fucking jerked off on a keyboard. <laughs> everything I'm watching at the minute. Everything. I'm just want. I'm just want to fucking kill people. <laughs> I, just, oh I just want to fucking go to Hollywood and start fucking going on a huge murder spree. I just want them out. <laughs> I want them all fucking gone. I want the whole fucking. I'm gonna plant a fucking row of fucking explosives going from fucking the border of Canada all the way down the San Andreas Fault, and I'm gonna just fucking go boom. Fucking let that piece of the world just fuck off into the fucking Pacific and go. I love the idea that you shout, I just want to kill people. Someone outside is delivering a hot toy, like, oh my god. 911, what's your emergency? I just want to kill everyone. <laughs> I just want to kill people. Look, I'm a simple man. I just, I think it's totally fair. I just want to kill everyone. He's just being honest, and I think that is what we're missing in society. Society. Oh, this one's kind of it's quick but funny. Hassan Piker works really, really hard. And through his talent and his drive and his passion, he has become extremely successful and made a lot of money. True. To him, he's like, I know. <laughs> 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 True. Uh, I think Tim just assumes that surely he worked hard. Yeah, I can see why he would have thought that's what happened, but uh. Do you see this? Do you see the thumbnail at the end? Oh, this will be. Yeah. Yeah. My noggies, sure what else am I supposed Tim? to do? Die, Tism cast. Tism <laughs> cast. <laughs> um. Oh. So yeah, uh, if you didn't see, there's someone made a compilation of the amount of times. Uh, Cinematic Venom said something happened for no reason in in the in the video we covered. So now, Ring, you get to oh. enjoy this. He part oh, of his complaints boy. about Lord of the Rings is that things happen for no reason. So let now you can see in all of its glory all of the things he thought happened for no reason. Okay. Tag along on the journey and all for no reason whatsoever. And even Sauron has no reason to turn evil. None. There's literally no need for these to be three hours long. Here, she turns into a demon and then goes right back to normal. For no reason. The movie is just constant <laughs> padding and constant filler for no reason. For instance, Gandalf gets a ridiculous amount of extreme close-ups for no reason. And what's with the Holy fuck. again? It serves no purpose. Why do that shit when you can put two characters together for no reason? And I hate to repeat myself, but again, everything comes to a complete halt and unnecessarily drags out everything really drags out everything for as long as possible for no goddamn reason. Why does Frodo leave anyway? Uh. Why? There's no goddamn reason whatsoever. <laughs> and another friend admitted that he is a generic hero, but so was Harry Potter. Harry Potter was the chosen one, but he had struggles and hardships. He was a pretty poor wizard at times amongst his significantly superior bestie. Harry Potter felt like a real person. Frodo is just a paint by numbers hero. You know, I'm gonna keep comparing to Harry Potter, but when Dumbledore, Sirius Black, Snape, or even Dobby died, I cared. It's not that I have anything against the fantasy genre. I love Harry Potter, I love Legend of Zelda. I think the film's problem is this. I love the Harry Potter universe because we're pretty much lumped in at the very start of the series. So that was the other thing, you just kept talking about how much you love Potter, Harry man. Potter. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Saga. All of these backstories could have been made interesting. More interesting than the books, at least. However, in J.K. Rowling's universe, Potter's adventure meant something. And it was the biggest financial success for Time Warner until Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out. Gandalf, I think, is just so boring. He seems to just wander around and occasionally do something for the sake of the plot, but ultimately himself <laughs> isn't needed. At least Dumbledore was interesting. When Harry killed the Basilisk in Chamber of Secrets, I cared. Oh, the gay oh, no. 
So, <coughs> oh no. Oh, Elijah go. Wood is so bad in this one. Nothing he says sounds genuine, and everything he says sounds feminine. A beer will come. They got the ding sound too loud. <laughs> Why? And then we'll all do our hair and our nails, Sam. And he also comes across as a little creepy sometimes. I've thought of a better use for you. <laughs> Did he just want Sam to bone Frodo right in front of him? Gandalf. Yes. I'm here. Okay. Ew. Creepy old man. What happened, Gandalf? What the fuck? I fingered your butthole while you slept. What? For the first <laughs> film, he has a blank sheet of paper. Sam is that blank sheet of paper's boyfriend. I think Peter Jackson secretly has an Ian McKellen fetish or something. Mr. Frodo! I need my dick sucked! Frodo! <laughs> Where are you? I need to sit on your penis? What? Come on, are you telling me what? that Sam. <laughs> It circled oh, back around to being funny. <laughs> <laughs> it really kind of did. <laughs> That's that slow burn humor. <laughs> does not look like Frodo's obsessive stalker. Oh, for God's sake, Sam, leave me alone. This is why I got the restraining order. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. Oh, come on. How can people deny this? I'm glad you're with me. And it would only get worse. So we have one half of the story being Sam and Frodo being led to Mordor by Gollum, despite Sam not wanting to share his hot piece of ass Elijah Wood with anybody else. And during their journey, Gollum grows to love Frodo. Just as a friend. Again, an openly gay couple would have been awesome, but the fact that they deny it, it's cringy to watch some of this stuff. It's cringy to be friends <laughs> with people. <laughs> Come on! Just the way they look at each other. I appreciate other, he went to the woods to the, for this. He, you put, know? he puts effort. There's lots of effort. It's just his arguments are garbage. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a nostalgia critic. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of effort goes into this. Uh, well, You're nostalgia right. critic is one of his biggest influences, so it makes some sense. Mm, didn't want to say it. Didn't want to say it. This and the worst is right at the end. You shouldn't make fun. I was being serious. So was I. I feel really uncomfortable right now. Frodo! No! I'll have no one to lick my butthole later! He's <laughs> <laughs> not boyfriend alone, he's fucked his mind! Seriously, there's a huge difference between being a protective friend and a bona fide stalker! <laughs> so random and such a pussy outburst! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot he doesn't like pussy. Hey, I wanna fuck your brains out, Mr. Frodo. This shot kinda looks like he's got fucking Pippin. No? Climbed a tree for this. The spider's gonna rape Frodo? They actually just said that. The spider's gonna rape Frodo. Nice. Wait, like that's a gay counter. She love raping Frodo. It's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Having sex with Frodo is very gay. I mean, come on. Oh. That's Mr. Frodo. Yep, they're uh, just as gay here, so I'm not going to miss out any jokes. Here we go. I could help a bit. I could care for you. I could suck your balls for a while. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> To their credit, the acting is incredible. You know the song in the background, is that copyrighted? Um, it, uh, the, I the don't recording know. Probably is. No, the recording probably is. The, um... I don't... I forget so, what, um... So, the song itself is public domain, but the recording probably isn't. Right. Well, this good thing we're not that live. Is copyrighted. Yeah. Uh, but it's not this one. I should have saved this for the... I think this is more close to... I, I didn't know this song was in here. You ah. never know. But hopefully, because it would be annoying if the only thing stopping this from going out will be this song, but we'll see. Usually song ones just monetize it, they don't block it. Except for here when Sam clearly rapes an orc. God, if I stick you he clearly just put his penis up the orc's butt. What is this problem? <laughs> what is <that>? what? <laughs> How does he operate in the normal a, world? You know? It was a strange video. It was a... Like, what's the problem here? Why are you so concerned with whether he's gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? I'm really defensive of this because at the end, Sam really fucking quickly rushes to marry this woman he barely knows and was barely ever mentioned just for closure to let everybody know that he's not gay and he's led Frodo on this entire time. Fine, whatever. <laughs> what? He was just trying to finally so get away from Sam. There was like this other movie he was watching the whole time yeah <laughs> it's like the the parallel dimensions we talk about he somehow got trapped in ours but didn't watch our version of the movie yeah mm -hmm. yeah i'm no, curious to see his supposed to kiss my dick oh no what? <laughs> i'm 
glad you're with me. And it would only get worse. The first fantasy film with an openly gay couple? That'd be great! You shouldn't make fun. I was being serious. So was I. I feel really uncomfortable. I think they're highlighting that he simultaneously advocates they should be gay, but then whenever... There's but a... then shits on it. <laughs> well, yeah, like, <laughs> he, he, it makes him uncomfortable. That they might be gay. Yeah. Right <laughs> it's weird. The first fantasy film with an openly gay couple? That'd be great! I feel really uncomfortable yeah. right now. Again, an openly gay couple would have been awesome. I feel really uncomfortable right now. Again, an openly gay couple would have been awesome. And it would only get worse. Getting mixed messages yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quite an adventure, that video. Incredible that we survived, to be fair. <laughs> That was that was an that was its own that was an adventure about an adventure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like to close out our meme videos. We've got two songs. Ooh. Okay, here be the Good first. God. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's over. well, next one. Screw you. Watch together. Of Treading the scripts of the lazy men. It's the music of a fandom who won't take this shit again. When the writings of the plot reduce the franchises to crumbs, we'll make the writers fear our wrath when the long writers fear <laughs> and come. will be long and fat with me. Long and fat with me will save our screenplays from the horrors of the industry. So join with the crew that will rate them objectively. Do you hear the massive sing, treading the scripts of lazy men? It is the music of a phantom who won't take this shit again. When the writings of the plot reduce the franchises to crumbs, who we'll make the writers fear our wrath when the long man comes. All our stories have been raped and they have bastardized the lore, leaving only us the themes they make, watching them such a chore. But we've had enough and won't take it subjective no more. Do you hear the massive sing, treading the scripts of lazy men? It is the music of a fandom who won't take this shit again. When the writings of the plot reduce the franchises to crumbs, we'll make the writers hear our breath when the long men come. Quite rousing. What'd you say? <laughs> That's All around right, the same Miz, right? I do not Is know. It? I am. I, yeah, I, I don't know either. Right. I do not know about Les Miz, except I I know the meme with the window, but that's that's really about it. <laughs> like I, don't, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I simultaneously feel like I know a decent amount and nothing at all. I know the the uh, the, the movie they sing uh, on the set. It is a like, musical. They yeah. sing. Well, yeah, no, but the the movie that they sing, um, and it wasn't like ADR. They they used the takes where they were singing like on the set. Um, okay. While they were acting, I remember um, watching the Sideways like, video on that. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Um, that one was interesting, but I remember uh, that's the that's the channel that makes the music stuff, right? Like Duh. music videos. I watched the video that he did on Tarzan, and I really didn't like it. Um, I don't agree with everything he says, for sure. Well, well, I think the thing the, with the Tarzan one, it, it, like one of the things he said is like, who rem who cares about Tarzan? Like, when do you hear people talk about Tarzan? It's like people, Tarzan is like considered part of that era when like it was all hits. I like um, Tarzan. He's it cool. made a sh it, it made a shit ton of money. It, I'd, I'd hang it, out. It was with like him. the last one that made money. Yeah, he's he's a cool dude. He he's helping out. You know, he's he's swinging around and. Going down all those vines and stuff. He's he's mm -hmm. he's big chat chocolates. Um and yes, the final meme video for this night. Oh, okay. uh, of spies and sponsors. EFAP Noom remix from DJM Voices. He's made a oh couple songs goodness. for us. <laughs> Um, just for 
Black Widow is one of the best MCU movies. Video essay. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. This video is brought to you by New. Believe. Believe. Believe in Ding, 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 ding. Believe in Doom. Believe, believe. Believe in Doom. Ding, 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 ding. Why do you do that? What good is that? If it doesn't work, it's just that you didn't believe hard enough. There is no depression. There is no. I need all the new. Scientology does not believe in the medical model of mental illness. Can't wait for Xenu to say this whole. <laughs> what the fuck is a noob? <laughs> <laughs> what is a noob? Yeah. Noob is everything. Noob is everything. Noob is everything. It is such a versatile <laughs> meme. <laughs> yeah, just Oh, fucking... do you see? That's what the record is. Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Zack Snyder's vision metal is a chat, right? <laughs> Boom, oh god, yes, I see! Ah, that's fucking great stuff. All of it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys! Fantabulous. It's just doing so, you put in so much effort to make these memes. Oh yeah. We got games, we got websites, we've got Noom. Yeah. We got Noom. Believe in Noom. Got I like Noom. that one a what, lot. What does, uh, what does Noom do, by the way? I've forgotten. <laughs> Like, Makes you lose right, weight, I think. What is, is noob? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's nutrition. <laughs> and it's like, I've had people be like, in fairness, you know, I know someone who lost a lot of weight with noob. It's like it's probably them, <laughs> not noob. <laughs> I, like, I like that. Just like, well, no, I mean, to be fair, like, I, you know, noob, noob has had good results. It's like, yeah, I'm sure it has. It's just really funny. Noob is not. I want. Is it short for something? I have no I idea. Do not know. 
what is new <coughs> is like what what's a good example um oh we're ta- jello is short for gelatin like it comes from gelatin sort of Jelly so what is, is short noom? for gelatin you're right so like so like noom i wonder it's noom- yeah what is it short for nutritional uh let me look it up let me go to the let me go to the noom site um the noom nutritional order of magnitude of uh massive do they have an about page like about noom a healthier you were no i don't want to take the fucking shit just tell me i don't just let me just go to noom.com means right now um, cause I just want to, cause you go to Noom and it instantly is trying to make you do this, like, do this. The, uh, what is your goal? Get fit for good. What's your height and weight? What's your ideal weight? Sex and hormones impact how our bodies metabolize food. Da 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 da. And I'm like, I could just, could you just tell me about Noom? <laughs> it feels <laughs> culty, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> I just want to learn about just. Noom. Let me type in Noom.com. Here we go company about us hi we're noom trust us um, we are noom <laughs> what is maybe we could email them and find out what noom <laughs> is short for send them the song reveal to us your secrets noom what is noom because n- normally at the top they'll say that's one of the first things they'll say like, hi, we're Noom. Noom means a da-da-da-da-da. And we employ that sort of philosophy uh, in our da 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 I found it on another website from an interview, I think it is. How Noom got its name. The name itself doesn't have a definition. And since it's not an acronym, the letters don't stand for anything. Also, it shouldn't be confused with the obscure Thai boy name Noom or Noomi. Here's what so Noom actually means. means. Nothing? <laughs> the name Noom was chosen because Noom is moon spelled backwards. Whoa. What? Okay. I thought That's there was it? more to it than that, but all right then. Noom president and co-founder Artem Pet- Petakov adds that the moon is calm, wise, and always there for the whole world. Plus the name works in many languages. It's always there. <laughs> That, that was just a passing thought in my mind. So that was it? Somebody just had a passing thought in their mind and then just came up with a name? There it is. Right? <laughs> Jesus. Fucking new, Noom bro. Noom hopes that their wellness program <laughs> continues to have a positive Odyssey. lunar effect on people's health and wellness and turns the tide on obesity. Positive lunar effect on people? I'm yeah. sorry. I think Noom- we just we just went right back. We just blew right over that one. Yeah. <laughs> lunar yeah. and... and- <laughs> Quotations, by the way. Special meaning. I'm told that's what matters. Yeah, that's apparently it. <clears throat> well, believe in Noom. Believe in Noom. Believe in Noom. Believe in Noom. Ding, ding, ding. It's Moon spelled backwards. Poom Moon. It is indeed. Um, so that's a g- good. I think three hours is around about the time we try to aim for for uh, looking at memes because I don't want to exhaust, but we got plenty left. In yeah. both the form of video and imagery. Uh, well, goddamn. And more shall arrive. For now, though, I think what we'll try to do is uh, Streamlab Super Chats and the ones from the last catch-up we did that we spent all doing Squid Game ones, if you remember. Uh. Um, so, yeah. May as well just start them up. Is that, is that alright with everyone? Well, no, I guess I'll that's okay. A, no, I'll go for a P. Oh. Yeah. Well, all right. Oh dear, go ahead. <laughs> Long ago, I had a friend who was VP of technology at Hulu. I suggested there is uh, a feature that lets people watch the same thing at the same time. He thought it was dumb. We stopped being friends when he donated money to the war criminal Hillary Clinton. Oh my god. Uh, well, I... You would think that that sort of thing would take off in a very... You, I guess, you'd think that Watch Together would be, it's fine. Watch Together is fine, but you think it would be really good? Um, I don't understand how the fuck YouTube haven't made use of that as a feature yet. Yeah, watch YouTube videos with your friends or watch exactly. da 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 yeah. Because uh, Discord is sorting it out, right? Um, I remember someone telling me about that. Discord's going to try and set up a Watch Together feature in the way that if I post a YouTube video into our little chat, I think there's going to be like a feature where... If I press a particular button and you've, like, accepted, then it plays it for all of us and pauses for all of us, whoever chooses. I think that's something they're trying to set up. 
Yeah, I know for now people use it to like stream a movie with their friends. Yeah, yeah, you got that already. Well, I guess that's what I'm saying. Like Discord, if you guys remember when it started, Discord was um, had a lot of features for community building, but it was missing a lot of key stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but it's already trying to account for that now because Discord's just becoming an all-encompassing sort of social media platform. Yeah, for um, sure. And YouTube is kind of like not even bothering to catch up. It's like there's so many features that YouTube lacks. There's the like there's the moderation controls aren't great. Uh, yeah. You can't gift memberships to people. Use like this watch together thing. That's a gold mine right there. Why is I don't know. I mean, sometimes I have to assume like oh maybe it's uh it, they are trying. It's really difficult or something because of all like spaghetti code. But I don't know. After don't a while, know. when you see so many other companies do it and the vast resources that have gone into YouTube, why they're not just doing that? And I think they just don't care because they operate at a loss. And do you think they're okay with Watch Together existing? Uh, probably not. Because, uh, man, a shit ton of streams just like ours are using Watch Together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I think, like, in terms of, I think there's unofficial integration uh, between YouTube and Watch Together in the sense that the stuff you watch together, uh, uh, the stuff you watch together on Watch Together, I was, uh, sorry, I paused i confused myself there for a moment <laughs> but the stuff you watch together on watch together it will it treats it as if you're watching it on youtube so even your youtube recommendeds and stuff will be affected by what you watch on watch together mm -hmm. so my um my recommend i don't know if youtube technically loses a lot from it you know the videos that show up once you finish a video they're always really weird on watch together compared to uh my normal sometimes only three yeah. show up and there's sometimes videos i'm just like huh but yeah i don't know I don't know what's going on with them, but we'll figure something out. Hey lads, wanted to recommend two great films that I feel are overlooked, both of which are on Netflix. The Professor and The Madman. Uh, I think, is that the name of the first film? Uh, is Mel Gibson and Sean Penn at their best? Fair enough. Secondly, an indie film called Paddleton is a fantastic, heart-wrenching drama. Well, alright. Might see him at some point, Paddleton. who knows? Is that the bear? That would be Paddington, but... You know, maybe. Oh. Maybe this is his, like, brother, Paddleton. He's like... Paddleton. Things, things ain't working out for Paddleton. I like, just picture him in the rain already, like... My brother's famous, I'm nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hmm. uh, the dumbest moment in Angel is in season... Oh. Uh, when uh, he tries to <laughs> convince... All part of that, y yes, completely agreed with your criticism. I hate it. It makes me very upset. That upset Fringy quite a bit, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, pure yes, cringe, yes. Whatever that yes. was definitely did that I can, yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they have a very neat little reference to the comment there. Good stuff. I, person who wrote that, you know what you said. Good stuff. Agreed. Yes, you did. But unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's too, too close to the potential of showing them, so no more. No more references at all to these precious, innocent, little Buffy virgins, okay? Mm. Uh, if Gedelbable was in the dictionary, what would the description say? They'd say something fucking nonsensical, probably? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Naturally. Statement that literally makes no fucking sense. Um, the little nose on Rag's plushie looks like a little skull. Oh my. I mean... Hmm. <laughs> just giving you a bit of thought there, like, hmm. wait up, wait up. Um, who'd win in a fight, me or you? Hmm. <laughs> me. <laughs> there you go, we answered it. <laughs> yeah. Even, uh, it was a good question, it's it. very specific and uh, detailed. Get a strong answer going straight away. Uh, I recommend Lake Mungo, a creepy movie that takes place in the fictional land of Australia. It's free on Prime right now. Lake Mungo? Mungo. Lake Mungo. No, that sounds that like a sounds Wombo like movie. Language. Yeah, exactly. Like Wombo. <laughs> it is a horror thriller. That's Wombo language. <laughs> Lake Mungo. <laughs> I just want the front cover to just be battle. <laughs> just waving. Um, oh. It is... Uh, da, 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 da. It is a 2008 Australian psychological horror film. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
So Fringy and Metal got together to make it. Yeah. I I've never heard of it before. The little, there see, are more okay, people. I guess we're not committing to the joke at then. Okay, fine. No, I didn't make it. I'm not. I'm not taking it. No, I was doing like a of. joke here, but then you said no, and then everything yeah. broke. So just gonna. I'm just saying. I'm. No, just, just, just it's fine. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. Just move along. Metal's life. Yeah. No, I'm I'm happy to move along. That's fine. No, no, oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, Sorry about that, Mel. I won't let it happen again. No, it's okay. It's... <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> no, just. I could have been referring to anything, Ring. You don't know. <laughs> um, when you guys watching Paul W S Anderson's Three Musketeers, Orlando Bloom hamming it up and not acting like a wooden board. Uh, also, much better fight choreography. Also, I come not in peace. By rags. <gasps> oh my goodness. So, yeah. this heretic. Uh, I mean, I don't consider it a spoiler in any way, most people know, but we have seen The Three Musketeers. It's been recorded for the, the quote-unquote war movie arc, which I really want to rename yeah. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, yeah, but the, the cast was stacked, and we had lots of fun. That might even be one of our, like, favorites out of the lot we've done. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Paul Probably W.S. No. Anderson makes some dumbass movies that are fun. Can't deny that. I would, uh, I would fund, give him money to to create anything at this point. Maybe a Star Wars movie. Fuck it. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that. Can't Let's be worse it. than what we've got so far. Let's go. Bring. <laughs> I don't even care if you're bringing Mila Jovovich. Just, just go ahead. Well, I mean, she's gonna be there. Do. She's yeah. in every movie that yeah. he makes. Just, just do what you gotta do, man. Uh. Um, yeah, you guys. I almost crashed who's in it for a moment. Yeah, she yeah, was in it, yeah. Yeah, she was indeed. <laughs> she absolutely was. She was a Batman character who did she things. She will return oh. in Four Musketeers. She will play Evil Lady. She will play Mila Jovovich. I love the idea that she's like, it was refreshing because I play a hero in the Resident Evil franchise, and so now I could just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh... Anyone who says Persona 3 is better than 4 or 5 are objectively wrong and should go sit in the corner. Why? Oh boy. I, I have no idea. Do any of us know anything about Persona here? I don't think I so. Know I know the it, name. It, that's that's it. it. Is, that is like <laughs> our super blind spot. I've yeah. only played Persona 5. I own Persona 4, but I haven't started and I have no intention of playing 3, so I don't know. I see. I see. 5 is okay. That's all I gotta say. Uh, have you guys heard of the Streamlabs controversy? Uh, I think yes, we have, yeah. Yeah, I, know, yeah, I, I have, yeah. Refresh my memory? Go, Mel. Uh, Streamlabs has been uh, exposed uh, that they basically just used a lot of stuff from OBS, and they even went to OBS and asked if they could use OBS in their name, and the original OBS people were like, we would, you'd rather not. And then he did it anyways and filed a trademark. Ooh. Uh, oh. Now they got all this backlash. They got rid of the OBS part. Uh, there's some pictures flying around where you, they uh, show... Uh, what was it? Lightstream? The Lightstream website where you basically just can stream from, from a website without a, an extra app or something. And apparently the, the websites look almost identical, just with a little bit different wording here and there. Hmm. So it's basically, can I copy your homework meme, uh, but with the websites. And yeah, they've been getting a lot of shit for that. And with, which is annoying for me because I just bought Streamlabs Premium to make it easier on myself. And <laughs> then comes out that they're absolute scum. And I finally have all my settings like I like them. And now I, I, I do want to change in the future. But right now I just, it's almost too lazy, to be honest. Because everything works nice. <laughs> I have to figure out how to do it in OBS, the, the stuff I use right now. But yeah, basically, they, they've been they're, they're scum. That's, that's basically it. Because OBS is like the whole uh, uh, open source thingy. And apparently, uh, from what I've heard, they, they consider the... I think they call it bad branches of... Uh, of open source, or like a toxic branch or whatever. I'm not sure about the actual terminology, but yeah. It's uh, quite quite shitty. The whole thing. Yeah. 
Um, Epox Vox has a good video on it if you don't know. Fair enough. Uh, Molo, was the Mega Man game Mega Man Unlimited? That sounds familiar. I was trying to remember which is the fan game I played that was like possibly the best Mega Man game I've played. But um, Unlimited sounds like it could be it. I thought it was very good. Infinite? Unlimited. Mega Man Infinite. Oh. Mega, Mega Man Infinite. Is that funny? <laughs> no, it's like the other <laughs> game that's like unlimited. Mm hmm. Uh, Kiwi Bird is the best pick for Fringy Fursonas. I, you know what? That's probably. It's interesting because it's kind of. I kind of agree, but it's a New Zealand bird, so. Got you there. And that will not but stand. But I guess you don't need to be bound by it, because I mean, Shibas, they're Japanese. Ragas isn't Japanese. I, I have my it, it courses through my blood. The Weebery courses through my veins. Ah, oh gosh, right, there's a season okay. finale reveal right there. I guess, that I guess is it all just that is. I guess it all just kind of depends on how much you really care to have your identity be the Australian. You know, do you even really um, care? Well, I mean, I guess the question would be: Does it really matter? Is, is New Zealand close enough that it doesn't even? You know, like it's it's like oh, what, you know, whatever. Like if like if an American <laughs> their bird was up. I don't know, like a fucking a blue jay or something from Canada. Look, I mean, look at him. Jay's that's, white. Yes. That's uh. Well, I'll just you know I'll just hang out with my dragon. It's, it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Nah, ki kiwi birds are they're nifty. They're little. They're nifty little critters. I can already and see that. They kind of look like plague on. doctors. And yeah, like you kind of look like plague doctors. I guess yeah, you yeah. could say that. Yes. Yeah, okay. They definitely do. I I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, your obelisk plague doctors. Yeah. Yeah, your obelisk <laughs> little tiny, like, one foot tall plague doctor. The beady black eyes. The dinosaur feet. Dinosaur yeah, feet. I mean, it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is dinosaur feet, yeah, really. Yeah, as they do. Kiwis are, are wonderful little birds. You have one? I. No, you don't. Own yeah, as a friend, Ringy. <laughs> yeah, do Jesus. I have one as a friend? Like, a, what do you mean? Yeah, Jesus. Do you have one in reference to an animal? Typically refers to the ownership of animals. Just meant as a friend, like Rag said. He okay. got it. You well, just you we, went. You went to a yes, horrible you've place. Now, you've now clarified it, <laughs> and I don't know why you're getting so defensive. I just, I, I made an assumption. You correct. I just, I really hope that you can that. learn from this. That's all. Yeah, I hope you can learn to speak clearly. That's, you know. Nothing oh, I wow. said was unclear. You simply misinterpreted it d directly because that, of your is, experiences is, in life, which is just That's interesting horrific. that you would say that, as opposed to your experiences in life made you say it in a way that was unclear. Well, I think Fringy needs to check his Kiwi privilege. Oh, no. The first, the I didn't want to say it, but step. yeah, Rags has put it out there now. That's, that's offensive. No, that, no, you're defensive. No, that's, de that's offensive. Alright, I'm sorry. That's... Shouldn't say such things. It's clown fencing. Clown fencing. <laughs> clown fencing, the new Olympic sport. No. Uh, hello everyone. I've been loving Halo Infinite's multiplayer lately. My only big issue is the battle pass progression, which 343 is apparently fixing. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, you, you gotta wonder how... So the problem, my concern is, <laughs> I don't know that we're going to see any substantial change to the amount of content that you still have to buy through the store. I could see revisions in the pricing, but I, I don't see a lot of that becoming accessible. Um, because they probably made the decisions about the model very clear, like, knowing what the reaction would be like. Or Absolutely. At the very least absolutely yeah. they knew I, you know what mm -hmm. yeah actually it, now I'm, I'm starting to convince myself it's like yeah i think they knew that there were there was going to be a bad reaction and then you can like revise it down and maybe it doesn't see i don't know if i want to get that conspiratorial but like based they on the reaction known. they can change it depending on how big the reaction is to it yeah because yeah, i uh, again i don't see i man they need to fix the uh the the xp system though god damn yeah. That, that's gotta change. They have to. They have to. They can't keep the challenge system. Or, like, you keep the challenges, but have it with XP. They can't keep doing it this way. 
Yeah, um, as I as I just figured out like yesterday, you run out of weekly challenges at some point. Yes, you do. And so then you only get point... the 50 XP after every match. I currently have only one challenge left. If I do this, I, it's all I, I get for the week. Is yeah, there your a name for that method? To a... hmm? Oh, no, I was asking if there was a name for that method where they like say, oh, here's this thing that's absolute fucking bullshit. And then they come down the line. They like they do that on purpose. And later on down the line, it's, it's, okay. it's, uh, it's new Coke. It's the new Coke, old new uh, classic Coke. <laughs> I feel like that's the best way to describe yeah. it. You bring out something new that sucks and everybody hates it, and then you give them what they would have expected normally, but they're really happy with it. Yeah, it's or, better or than it's, what was before. Or it still sucks, but it's better than the first attempt, so exactly. therefore it's okay now, and then they just say, Relatively. Oh, now it's fine. So mm -hmm. there, there's got to be a name for that method. Maybe we should just call it the new Coke method. It, feel, it feels apt. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess I just and and you know everybody talks about the progression, but it, it's also worth noting like there is not enough there are not enough modes there are not enough maps and the custom game modes there is just lacking functionality. Could use more guns too. Um, yeah, it I needs think... more guns I think as well. Yeah, I uh, I think at first I was really impressed by how many new weapons there were, but when you realize just how many weapons aren't in the game, no Spartan laser, no carbine, no brute shot, no SMG, no. Uh, DMR. I, I yeah, guess I'm okay no plasma with those. rifle, just, like, no, no, no yeah. spawn laser blows my mind. No carbine either. What the fuck? I'm just I'm blown away by this is a game about brutes and there's no spiker, no brute yeah, shot, no, brute shot. no mauler. The, yeah, these new banished oh, yeah. weapons, which <laughs> I was about to say. And, you know, some of the banished weapon stuff, like the disruptor, is one that uh, has surprised me with how cool that weapon can be in terms of its usefulness. But um, yeah, I'm not. I still feel like it, I'm too heavily incentivized to use human weapons. Um, yeah. Because they're just so easy to understand and really powerful a lot of the time. Um, and, and, yeah. Some of the non-human weapons are just plain useless. Like, the Ravager so, is absolute dog shit. Like, this no... Well, I, no I, yeah, I don't like the Ravager. I don't like the, um, the, the current, like, default Covenant uh, rifle. Um, like pulse, pulse rifle? rifle thing. Yeah, yes. I'm not a fan. Um, Even if you get I a mean, perfect position with that one, it's still super hard to kill anyone. Well, yeah, why would I use that rather than the BR where I know exactly the AR, what it's yeah. going to do? Or the AR, yeah. Um, I it guess seems like, yeah, it seems like the AR pistol game. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, yeah. Those, those weapons are really good on their own. Um, there, there is a lot of work that needs to be done, and my concern is that I don't know that those changes can come quickly enough to keep the audience. I get Especially really now, I mean, we talk about this on our streams, like, they, they're barely taking a break now. For yeah, they're taking a break stuff. because they've, yeah, because they've launched, they've, and, and of course that makes sense, right? Like, human yeah, beings yeah, yeah. need breaks, they've worked really hard. But the in terms only of concern base, would be, it's gonna be rough. Well, I, I think it's just an issue of, um... I don't know that you have the time to not get onto these things very yeah, quickly. Exactly. Not you need to cut this off now. You need to you need to head this one off and you need to you need to especially by the time campaigns out and you have your big whatever the fuck you do for that. Mhm. Mm yeah. I think I think it's just an issue of um you have worked I mean obviously, you know, making games is really hard. You've worked really hard. You probably should be taking a break. Um it's just worth remembering that if there is an audience that is here that drops off now, it's going to be hard to recapture yeah, getting that back. audience. That's, that would be my concern, is that um, there will be a lot of people who are playing it now who won't stick around. Because I'll stick around. Like, I, you know, I can, I'm can, i happy to wait uh, fixes well, to Well, I'll, I'll probably take a break it. soon because I'm, I'm already feeling fatigued by all the maps and modes. After, right, after which playing is, it yeah. this whole week, I actually yeah. haven't played it since uh, the hours I put in for the EFAP. Um, just been playing mm. other stuff. Don't really feel like I have much of a desire to play more Infinite. I feel more desire to play the MCC than Infinite. Um, I think it's just Not, sort of once yeah. you once you get to the lack of content and the lack of kind of just sort of a lot of the stuff in there that you kind of expect. It's, it's bare um, bones, I think. That's yeah. that's the way to describe mm -hmm. it. There there is a there is a distinct feeling that there is the bare minimum amount of content that could get in there. 
Um, and, and all that leads me to believe is that something happened half, like, during development. There was, there was something that restarted or a significant tapering down of the scope of the game, um, to deliver this. And, yeah, I don't know, um, six years to have no forge and, like, no campaign co-op and, yeah, it's, it's concerning. Yeah. It'd be interesting to, to check back another... into the game once the campaign's out, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I mean, man, three months, four months until they do the forge thingy, and then six months for the multiplayer. It's like, what, what, why? Oh no, for forges are forges. It is campaign co-op, May at the earliest, and forges yeah. later than that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's oh, insane. Man. Like I don't know That's why you wouldn't just put this all out at once. Ah, uh, well, it already got delayed by a whole year. You know, yeah. you delay it again. And people Makes you wonder like, how they ever made a Halo game that just, like, released. Yeah. You know, well, with the I stuff. Mean, the thing that is worth it, because it's, it's always the thing that needs to... Games are harder to make now than they were before. It takes more people longer to make the same amount of content. Um, but ultimately, people are receptive to the content itself. Like, I don't, I don't know that the average person is really thinking about how the graphics are going to factor into how long it takes to develop the content. They'll just be like, well, I remember when I played Halo 3 and it had like 11 maps and Forge and campaign co-op. And I remember Reach and how, yeah, it had less maps, but it also had Firefight and this fully fledged campaign and Forge World. Um, mm -hmm. I think I think that's what people remember more so than the graphics. Um, or, or just any any number of things that make games more difficult to make now than they used to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah but I mean, like it's I'm, I'm unfortunate reality, I guess. That yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know. You gotta account for that. Your players are gonna get upset. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we all know, like, surely somebody could have been working on Firefight for the six years, right? You f well, yeah, I, ge I guess that's the thing. You just sit there, it's like, I don't know what happened. So, uh, all I can assume is something went wrong, and that you had to restart mm. or scrap a significant amount of content. And I know they keep saying like, oh, this is a base, you know, we'll build it, it's gonna be more from here, it's like, fuck. That, like, whenever I hear that now, it's like, shit, so what does that mean I'm getting, <laughs> like, at the beginning? Yeah. yeah Shame, because the game is really better. fun, and I the want more. The game is really more. fun. And yeah. I'm already being t getting tired of it, which is a shame because I thought I'm going to be playing it for like two or three weeks. But I've been playing playing it quite quite extensively on my streams, so yeah. I play it on autopilot for the most part right now, which means it'll get replaced at any moment. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing and complaining about it like a whole week now. So <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna have more complaining to do when that campaign comes out. Well, I'm, I'm, maybe you'll love it. Who, who knows maybe, what's gonna yeah. happen? Yeah, who, we'll see. I'm gonna make a friend of mine really sad because we wanted to play the campaign together for the yeah. first time. But uh, I was like, well, I'm gonna have to play it on my own first, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Can't wait another six months. Really, another just fucking weird element of all of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we just get complete games, like, at release? Is that a thing? Well, I think, we we, I think we've left that era. It's done. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're gone. It's, we're it's past over. that. That's, it's over. Yep. <sighs> uh, I saw Toby and Andrew and I clapped. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's the thing. We've, we've said when we see this movie that, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to keep those emotions in check with this one. This, it's, this is almost unprecedented, I would go as far as saying. Like, this level of you know, combination of IPs and nostalgia, and like, I'm even like really happy to see Andrew Garfield's Spider Man. I think the Tasman films are yeah. garbage. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Um, and, and who knows what this will mean for the future when they find out that they can unlock bonus viewing from just getting actors from past stuff. Wow. I mean, we already know Doctor Strange, like, it's pretty much all that. But... Accepted at this point that uh, X Men, Patrick Stewart, uh, yeah, Professor X is gonna be in there. I, I feel like he is like, I saw him in the Picard show and I was like, man, he just needs to have a sit down. Like, well, I mean, yeah, he's uh, he's getting up there, you know. 
like a million years old. It's like, it's, he's just getting squeezed for his Picard and his Professor X. <laughs> yes. Poor guy. I am an actor. I am capable of... No. Say the line. No. <laughs> Shut the... up, Picard. Say, say the engage. line, say, Charles. Say, say the Earl line, Grey, you fuck. I... You know, it's like... <laughs> Ruin Star Wars! Yay! <laughs> he said the line! He said it! Boys, seen Ridley Scott's based take on Hero Flex? Um, is, uh, um, well, so, like, I can agree with what he's saying when it regards particular MCU movies, especially people's yeah. fucking appreciation of them. It's so superficial. Yeah. However, what he said about them, I apply to his movies sometimes. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> pretty fucking awkward. It feels a bit like an old man yells a cloud. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, when he's just shitting on an entire generation. Well, like, oh, you're so attached to your phone, so you can't watch, like, my movies. I'm assuming, because <laughs> the, 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 they're talking about the Marvel take, because this was sent a little bit while. That was a newer one, right? The the thing about the last duel's marketing, and he's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that I'm take just was just like, stupid as fuck. Yeah. Um, hey, Rags, how, much, how many ads have you seen for the last duel? None. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I've seen, I've seen more ads for Duel. Which one is that? <laughs> Duel. The from 1971. Oh. Oh right, right, right. Well, so what I'm he talking about is just that he complained that it, was it wasn't a marketing problem because Disney were marketing Disney it did really a great well. Job marketing. And yeah, it's like the last Duel. Yes, this film. I have, that I've fucking... never heard of the last. <laughs> exactly, duel. nobody yeah, has. Exactly, most people haven't. What's it even about? It's a, about a uh, medieval feud a bit, uh, to do with a uh, lady and and some knights or lords or something. What's the first and thing I've like, about it's it? It's got a. Uh, I think it's got um. Uh, oh my god, I can't. Jason Bourne. Um, it's Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. Matt and, uh, yeah. I think Ben Affleck's in it too. Oh my Adam god. Adam Driver. Yeah. Drivey boy. The, the first thing I see popping up when I Google it is The Last Duel, hashtag Me Too in the Middle Ages. Oh what? god. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. It doesn't mean anything. It just. Does anything mean anything point. anymore? As soon as you actually ask questions, like, it just completely <laughs> falls apart. Um. But yeah, uh, those comments were a little bit silly, but his whole, like, you know, Marvel movies just have no stories, and they're just, like, visual blah blah. I'm just like, yeah, I feel that way about a couple of them. Yeah. Because I mean, they, they don't even made, like, with storytelling as a craft in mind. It's just scenes. It's product. It's, uh, get it out there. We gotta have four Marvel movies this year, five TV shows to promote the platform. Um, yep, let's make it happen. We announce the projects before we, we- We know what the projects are before we even have the stories for them. I feel like that's the thing where it's yeah, like- Yeah, they probably have we are. mandated sets of action scenes that are filmed before the script oh, even is. I- Dude, I- I am convinced that, like, that is the mandate for the Marvel show. Which at this like, point, there was a certain amount of that ain't storytelling, that's just this gross, weird slime that's sludge factory. Checklist. So, yeah, uh... Yeah, next up, uh, yeah. I know I'm bending LDS MTC rules, but I've loved EFAP since 17. I miss not watching y'all for the next two years. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know what L L LDS MTC is. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, we'll s if you, does that mean they're coming back in two years? In which case, we'll see you then. Uh, yeah. Hope that goes well. Uh, hi, Rags. I might Hello. take my plushie with me. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Get Rags' opinion on all of it. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Like. Um, ever watched Pixar's N-Word with Holland and Pratt? <laughs> N-Word? Pixar's N-Word? That's a movie onward, right? <laughs> N-Word? They, they do very <laughs> deliberately. Oh, I see. I see. That's, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, no, I've not seen I, it. No. Yeah, that one. No, I haven't either. I would love to see Pixar's N-Word. Same, dude. Uh, Y'all better EFAP SK's homecoming video. Uh, I, I, I don't want nah. to. <laughs> nah. I think outside of TLJ, Homecoming is one of the films that got the most coverage, and it just doesn't stop. There's always more, you know. Yeah. Like, have you considered this argument? Have you considered that 
This even happens for Civil War, by the way. Like, um... Peter's too stupid in Civil War. He should be smarter. He should defeat everybody. He's well, the yeah, most strongest and like smartest. The conversation, the conversation is done, but then it's not done. It's always and not it continues done, yeah. again, And it's just like, yeah, fuck it. You don't see this level of defense for fucking mana sti- No, we did. We did. Ah, uh, yeah, we sure. Did. <laughs> Which ones don't we see it for? It's like, I don't know... Black Widow. <laughs> nobody no, yeah, gives a shit about that. But you can, I guess is my point. Like, it's the same shit, where you go, if someone just said like, have you seen EFAP's take on Black Widow? Apparently the third act is stupid just because it's an action scene. <laughs> You'd be like, um, cool. okay. And then if we were like, well no, it's just an absurd action scene, no one should be surviving. He's like, yes, because no one can fall through space and survive, or no, th like, fall through a significant area. Because no one's ever done that before. And you just sit there like, yeah, you can do this with everything. We so we just... Like, <laughs> how stupid that you think uh, her sitting her head on the desk was, was dumb when she specifically does it to free herself from the mind control. Yes, like, I know what the film told me I'm meant to think. I, I know what it thinks I'm meant to think. I got it. You have didn't even notice that she did that for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> That just feels so stupid. <laughs> it's like... And then, you know, we can have people in person, and then we ask one question, and they're like, Oh, hmm, yeah, okay, I, I guess I fully understand your position now. And it's like, oh, do you? And then, like, a week later, <laughs> they're like, actually... <laughs> yeah. I thought about this a little bit harder, and I, I, I realized now that you were actually incredibly stupid. And like, okay. Uh, Fringy, finish your endgame video. Yeah, get off my back. <laughs> I got things going on, god damn it. I do. Just do it. Uh, Make your dreams come true. <laughs> Mola finished TFA part four. Someday. Someday. Oh jeez, now they're also telling you. Yeah. What was the other one for rags? Civil War praise, please, by November 2023. Why? Civil War praise? Why November 2023? <laughs> <laughs> November 2023. That's two years. I guess they just want me to commit to a date. <laughs> I'll be happy. All right, yeah. Uh, Morley Mootle, you gonna try DS3 Bloodborne mod? DS3 Bloodborne mod? What? Which I one is that? I don't even know so that I exists. you played Dark Souls 3 with a you have Bloodborne Delta character or something? DS3... I didn't even know that was a thing. Bloodborne. I, I didn't either. You have my interest, chatter. Super Ch chatter. Have interest, chatter. <laughs> you have my interest, chatter. Yeah. Oh, fine. He who chats. Uh, Bloodborne HUD and menus. Bloodborne mod. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I'll. I'll if it's good, I'll check it out, I guess. But I don't know. You'll be unlikely on I my end. I haven't heard of it. But... Depending on what Mel says about it, maybe. I don't know. Because I know Cinder's mod has Bloodborne weapons in it. And mm. Bloodborne stuff. Uh, uh, wait, Dark Souls 3 PC overhaul mod Call of the Abyss. That sounds Bloodborne-ish. <laughs> That's Bloodborne enemies, weapons, and more. Ah, that might be it. Interesting. Dark Souls 3 Call of the Abyss. Let me have a have. Let me have a quick gander. Call of the Abyss mod. We do some speed run googling right now. Call of the Abyss n not found on next. Oh, uh, oh, deleted. Why? <laughs> no, rip. Uh, uh, adds new weapon spells, items, armors, and more. Going into more detail, because of new weapons, belts, goods, items, armors, areas, and even bosses. Oh, okay. This mod aims to have a more darker gothic atmosphere to it. As the duo noted, the entire game is the entire game is undergoing a complete lighting change as well. Some maps will be dark and foggy with noises or creatures shrieking in the dark, and some maps will have golden lights. Neat. All right. I'll I'll I'll, I'll write that down. I'll. I'll See if I can find a download for that. Because apparently it's not on Nexus mods anymore for reasons. Hmm. 
uh, all of the abyss. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a look see, and maybe you will see a stream in the future. Maybe. November 2023. <laughs> Yay. Dude, so much <laughs> stuff is happening in November 2023, you have no idea. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, I saw Tasm 2 and 1 in Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2016 in the theaters, but now because of the jab pass, I cannot see new Ghostbusters or Spider-Man in theaters. Feel bad, man. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, there's, uh, I think that's in all over Wales now, the, you have to have a, a vaccine passport to get into theaters. It's annoying, but, um, I want to see Spooderman, so, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get one. I want, I want to see to to Raimi Man and and, Raimi Man and, and Webman and Web Boy, <laughs> Web right. Boy, and Watts, uh, Spider. Yes. An alien device that made it easier to develop technology advancements like the wheel and plow is just as bad as being handed to humans. I Fringy. Uh, hi, I don't understand that at all. <laughs> An alien device made it easy to develop technology advancements like the wheel and plow is just as bad as being handed to humans. I'm not entirely oh, sure. Oh, Eternals. Eternals. No, I know it's Eternals, they, but I don't know what the yeah. question is asking exactly. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, mm. Uh. I don't know. Um. Well, funnily enough, um, Fring, I was actually thinking. I don't know why we didn't talk about it. You know the we were watching the Weeping Angel stuff in Doctor Who? Yeah. Surely sending people back fucks up everything for their knowledge. Um, I mean, you would think so, yes. Uh, because what if, you know, reference something that doesn't exist yet. Yeah, or, or just standard, just... Or just an awareness of the world, yeah. Oh, I, I was just gonna say 9-11, just be like... And changing that changes everything, so... Yeah. Exactly. I don't really... And maybe because that was the first episode the Weeping Angels were in, so I was like, did they account for that? I don't know that they did. Because uh, if you remember, the the black dude is like the doctor told me not to talk to you because it would fuck up time and space. Yeah, it's like but, what about everybody else? Yeah, you didn't get to tell certain people, and they naturally just like I would. If I was sent back sixty years, I'd be like, I'd all right, there's a lot of good I can do, to. yeah, and I better get to oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that too, yeah. Like, first thing is convincing large powers that you're from the future. And I don't- I probably yeah. have to take a few days to think about exactly how I can avoid looking like a fucking crazy person. <laughs> yep. How would you guys do that? Hmm. Hmm, man. Because you can predict on. certain events, but beyond that, your understanding of things- I'm trying to think of how you would prove that. Uh, what about- Newer technology that you have on you, like a smartphone. No, phone. we're excluding that. Oh uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> so know. being able to prove that so you're from another time without just, bringing anything with you. Yeah, like if I sent you sixty years back, Rags, how do you convince someone you're from the future without them thinking you're just nuts? Sixty years would be so that would be nineteen sixty. Um, so I I think I'd just be like. Hey, just, uh, keep an eye- Well, you'll know who's gonna win the presidency every time. Yeah, exactly. Well, if it's 1960... Well, that doesn't that means, prove... Uh, that I'd be able to say, like, Oh, JFK's gonna win this one, don't you worry. But something else and is gonna happen. Close. It'll be real close. Um, yeah, he's, and he's gonna win it. But that doesn't prove shit, right? Because you could do that now, and I'd be like, yeah, you got oh, lucky. Well, I'll, I'll do one. So Martin Luther King got arrested, and, uh, JFK, uh basically pulled a bunch of strings to, to to sort that out and because of that he basically received the endorsement of Martin Luther King. It's like that's pretty specific information. Do you think that's that, enough uh, though? Uh what that specifically he'd get arrested and despite the fact that uh Martin Luther King actually knew uh uh, uh, uh the uh, that guy, Nixon, mm -hmm. that even though he knew him, uh he he still endorsed the other guy. Well, like, like just that's, that's pretty, pretty specific. You know how this would work. Like I assume even you back then would be like, that was a pretty lucky inference you could probably make uh, from knowing I guess everyone. Need, I guess I would need more. Yeah. I feel like I guess yeah. Um. Uh. I guess yeah. You'd want to do more specific ones then. You just have to keep or, pointing or out events that haven't happened up. yet. I think. Exactly. Just stack them up. 
I'm trying to think of, like, your basic understanding of society. Could it be proven with just that, not, like, particular events? Just your... Um, you know, knowing how things work. Uh... Hmm. I guess the problem is, if I could do prep work ahead of time, then I'd be able to come back with uh, information that is much more specific, but right now I'm I'm blanking. Yeah, I'm blanking too. It's gotta yeah, be... Yeah, if I could prep... I could. I think I, I could, could absolutely do easy. it if I could prep. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, I think it'd be effortless, actually. Well, do you think would that tie into predicting the future events? Or well, I mean, like if I had prep time to get much more specific examples uh, in my head of like even fluctuations in the stock price on a given day. Well, yeah, because as much as it's kind of funny to say, I would be like, I'm going to tell you every Nintendo console is going to come out from now until 2020, and I n I'll name them yeah. all. I'll name like, them all, I'll give you the exact date that they come out. What games will be on them, like, yeah. I can give you a lot of specific- and movies, of course. And you- well, yeah, you could literally tell someone the entire plot to, like, Spider-Man 1, like, ten years yeah. before it's made- well, many years before it's made. And so when you'll exactly. get to a point, I think, where your friends would be convinced. They'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're from yeah. the future at this yeah, point. Yeah, the, <laughs> the idea is you want to come up with a bunch of stuff that will convince people that won't take too long for that to come to pass. So, like, the stock yeah. market thing would be a really good idea, because that could take, you know, you do that for a week. A week, And, yeah. like, whoa, that's exactly. how did you do that, actually. And if you get, like, hyper-precise information. Yeah, and, and you know what else? You know, if you got into the, like, the government actually were trying to work with you and test it out, you'd be like, you guys come up with questions that you know I have the answers to that prove stuff. Well, cause... classified information that I presumably shouldn't have access to. Have things been um, things have been declassified since what that wouldn't have been, been then, right? Declassified yeah. since, yes. So like, well, so you gotta be careful with that because they might think you're a spy or something. Um, um, I guess the problem is if you had a whole bunch of broad, very specific information that uh, you know, it's like, how did you get access to all of it, right? That would be the thing that would be. Yeah, surprising. I guess what I'm saying is, it's like you'd be able, you'd just keep talking, and I think eventually they'd have to be convinced because you talk about Google, Apple, Amazon, and yeah, how they're all gonna yeah, exactly. rise. And the mobile phone is going to make a huge impact on life. Yeah. Mm. Um, and just like, hey, by the way, guys, Apple stock. You know what uh, sucks? Stock, Amazon, get on it. If they do believe you and they're on board and then they're like, all right, first things first, tell us about every tragedy. And you're like, I can't remember a lot of them. Like, I mean, I know. <laughs> and they're like, you know that they happen, but you don't know when and where and stuff. And, and you're just oh, like. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You're like. You, you start to struggle with the so here's the yeah so there's like so here's what happens if this tragedy doesn't happen yeah oh it, that, yeah ooh, imagine yeah if the, if the like ooh hmm hmm okay yeah we'll get on that yeah Dude, imagine you told them about the Titanic and they all just went silent and it still happens and you're like what <laughs> like they're just like it's fine don't talk about it you're just like okay. <laughs> uh... That's scary. Yeah, like, if the Holocaust doesn't happen, the Jews don't get a state, and all these sorts of things, so it's like, that is it. Well, and mm -hmm. if, it, there's just so many big world events that I think as soon as you change one, it might fuck up all the other ones, right? That's the concern, what is the, it's the Your, your predictive effect. powers yeah, will be done, though, effect. as soon as you yeah, change. I know, I know where, if I don't do anything, I'm guaranteed this outcome. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> uh, that's how the floompy quantum Because, yeah, stuff. you change one thing, you're yeah. going to be changing a lot of things, so you need to start making decisions. Well, again, about, like, hmm, I feel like once you stop 9-11, your predictions are all going to be fucking useless I, after I that to a degree. I would say that they're useless. I would say that they're absolutely and utterly useless. It just changes yeah. everything. And, yeah, the influence that event has on, like, every aspect of society is unreal, so... Yeah, it, you know... That's a decision, I guess. I wonder if they would ask you, like, how good was society after it? You're like, I mean, I, it's hard to say that it's... It depends like, where you're from as well, you know? Like, yeah. I suppose maybe you have the logic of just, let's do a brave new world. Of not having that happen. Um... But yeah, that's the whole, like, giving humans stuff like that early on. It just fucking... Changes everything hugely. Yeah. Which Eternals totally did. And, uh, the Eternals and Unbridled Bridge is needed. I haven't even seen the film. But you guys are going to have to deal without that one, alright? Yeah. Don't worry, you'll forget about that movie 
in just a few more days. I think it's probably already forgotten. Do you think forgotten. you could bullshit yourself one? Without having seen it? <laughs> well, I mean, like, Fringy, you've seen it. Yeah. Do you think that you could just, like, just BS a praise of Eternals? I think you absolutely could, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think uh, if you... If, if, as long as you bloat it out with a lot of things like, man, you know, it's it's got some neat shots and, um, you know, and it's, oh, the it's such a big, working. ambitious, bold movie and these characters, they're so compelling. And, and then you just take those core points and then basically balloon it out as much as you can. Yeah, I, I feel like you can do that for a lot of movies, though. Um, like, you can do that for movies that are good just because you don't know how to praise that film. Wow, another cash grab super chat stream, just like JJ. Oh, JJ. <laughs> Dang it. I. Oh. That's what. That's. We got our playbook from JJ. Oh, yeah. Learned a lot from him. The jet plane. Anyways, high ranks. Oh, hi there. Bringy, it's thoughts no on the Industrial Revolution and its consequences? Man, how much time you got? <laughs> well. Well, this oh, is yeah. EFAP, so... Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> so, yeah, I just mean, go. That is an interesting one to think about, because the Industrial Revolution was just, like, arguably the most important thing to happen since agriculture. Uh, maybe bar the Renaissance, and even then... God damn, like, could you imagine the world without it? It would just be the way that everything was for, like, like a thousand years beforehand. Because, like, the Industrial Revolution was essentially one of the key things that brought about, like, a substantial change in just society in general and the way that it was organized. How long it took people to make things, how people could specialize in certain industries, just, like, broad, wide-scale production of things. Yeah. I'm sure there's a book that's... I'm sure there are many books about it that you can read that would be much more valuable in providing insight than I. Oh. So humble. Yeah, I, don't, I couldn't... Yeah. All I know is it was important. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't. <laughs> I would need to read into it more to give you more valuable information on it. Very well. Uh, do, do, do. Mola, please argue against him in a boba voice. Metal, oh yeah. <laughs> boba voice? Oh yeah. The well, boba fat well, voice, me? I guess, but I don't know. What are we debating movie? about? No, I think I, they wanted me to argue book. against Fringy, but he recommended a book, oh. so I should be like, fuck books. Well, Sorry, a, a, a some kind of book somewhere is what I've recommended. <laughs> I don't like some kind of book somewhere. There you go. I win. Nailed it. Uh, Rip Blue Jamie Foxx, also high rags. Hi there. Yeah, we got yellow Jamie Foxx now. Well. That's right. <laughs> I hope the CGI is better than the finished thing, though. Yeah. His face looks a bit gloon. I'm pleased to say I now have a mini rags on my shelf. No mini long man to tell me all of the movies I like are bad, though. At least not yet. Well, rags can do that. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I guess I'll give it my best. I know I would. Mm -hmm. It's like they're, they're picking movies and they can just hear in the background going, Ooh. <laughs> 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 really? You know, it's just... <laughs> You sure about that? You got a whole shelf there <laughs> with other things. I don't know. Uh, Rags, you call Disney a crocodile, but they're apex predators. How can you survive anywhere it's really a dodo? Too stupid to survive if it wasn't for the lack of predators slash competition. Yeah, sorry for my spelling. I got Wait, through it, I think. Disney is, the, Disney is a crocodile in that sense. Like they aren't a dodo. Yeah, well... I think you made it clear that they've never had to change anything now because the competition isn't powerful enough in any way and the environment doesn't necessarily require them to do so. The dodo... Well, so I guess it would be the dodo if they actually went bankrupt. Which I don't think is ever going to happen. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, I think they are very much in the too big I'm to fail. Isn't uh, Endgame yeah, still yeah. paying for like any failures? Uh, well, well, it, it gets complicated because Disney, another aspect of Disney is the resorts and parks and stuff. And I think... Endgame can pay that off, right? <laughs> um, 
Endgame made a lot of money, but, like, I'm pretty sure there were some substantial costs involved in, like, that side of the business. And, of course, it's sure. worth remembering that, like, a lot of... A lot of what becomes relevant at this point for a company that big is not, are you making money? It's how much money are you making? Because shareholders have expectations in terms of growth and earnings, and I think that's the part where they're... It's kind of issues at the moment, but, um, yeah... Like I, I I don't see a, I don't see a world where like Disney is strapped for cash. It's it's just more are they delivering the results that are expected of them, and if not, what will be the consequences of that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Perhaps we shall see. Um, I think I've watched Arcane, the LOL show on Netflix at least five times. I highly recommend it. Would love to see you guys cover it. No need to play LOL. Seem nothing but high praise for that show. Yeah, I've yeah. heard. Uh, I've heard it's good. I don't know anything about that stuff, but I I have consistently heard that it's good. So yeah, it might just be. I don't know that I've seen something more praised than it in a long time. I just hear yeah. my voice. Hmm. Huh? Sorry. Ready? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. No, it's yeah. fine. All's well. All's well. Rags, are you getting the Alzheimer's again? I think you forgot what I said. <laughs> what? Who's talking? What? What's that? What? What? Uh, here's five dollars. Yeah. Please make Metal Watch Eternals thrice and write up a review. Please guilt him by telling him this was a lot of money for a person of color. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Uh, that's a quote, man. <laughs> what a fucking quote. Yeah. Uh, Antlers is a movie, but if that movie was a band, it would have been a, a great equipment, stage presentation, and talented players, but no, nobody bothered to write any original songs. What a waste of effort. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people give uh, down down thumbs, thumb downs to Antlers. Thumbers. Like I said, Arcane, though, getting the big thumbs up, so. Yeah. Like, I know <laughs> what I'll be watching. Because that's how I decide by what everyone else is saying. You're I lying. Am a victim of my influences. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, greetings, my fellow mentally challenged folk. Also, what up, Rags? Hey there. I like that. That separation means that we're all mentally challenged, but Rags is alright. I am mentally unchallenged. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Psychological dominance. Whoa. Uh, get Aiden on for another EFAP, please. She was last year for EFAP 100, and I think she fits well to the show. Also, shoe on head for EFAP would be great. Uh, well, I mean, I ain't saying nothing about anything for who, maybe, where, what, where, why, when. But yes, you'll see more and more people popping up again. Once, uh, the only problem I ever have is just making sure we find the right topics and stuff instead of just having them on. Because I worry that, you know... It might be like, the fuck are we talking about? It's like, you know, the new space suit flim flam lasers. And they're like, hmm. Oh, I like those. Yeah, all right. But, uh, yes. More to come in regards to such guest -aroonies. Hey, boys. Been playing some Halo Infinite. Pretty fun so far. Although, much like 2042, it does not have map rotation or all chat. Oh well. Oh, does it, does I don't know what the it. deal is with no map rotation. What the yeah. heck? What? By the way, here's a little know. tidbit. If you want all chat, you have to set it up in the settings or unlock it or whatever it is. Or turn it on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why they did it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I certainly didn't know that. Someone told me in chat at some point. I was like, eh, that's dumb. Like John's story, where he was like, I'm gonna say, I'll fuck your mum. And then he was like, Wait, will I get banned for this? <laughs> I'll fuck your mum. I'll put oh, my the mum sausage in here. Jokes on you. My mum is the CEO of Microsoft. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. She'll beat you. She'll, she'll ban your account. You'll break probably, your you, Xbox. You're probably offending someone, right? You gotta stop. Oh, okay. Do it again. Well, they're probably white, so it's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Spooky Ween is over and there was no Bly coverage, <gasps> which means I'm sad. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I can't promise when that'll happen. Uh, could be years from now. I mean, that's the genuine answer for a lot of stuff with EFAP. But, stuff will happen. 
Nah, it's promise. Oh hey, I just got these. Someone just sent me these. Let me post them. Let me post them. Post Alrighty, them, you go ahead and post them. Jesus Christ, he's, he's sent me these big fucking images. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna send the ones they're too fucking big. I appreciate the clarity, but fucking calm down, people. All right, this is a good one. <laughs> nice. One moment. <laughs> That's great. Whichever one you think is best. I think they're both pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I like those. those are great. <laughs> that is awesome. Everything's made better with doggo. Yes. <laughs> And cat o as well. cat -o. Available. Kitty. Florida man charged with 1,200 counts of sexual assault and incest with minor. What the fuck? Mm. Damn. So, oh, man, the, the water in Florida is different. It is. 1,200 counts of sexual yeah. assault and incest with minor. Damn, that's a lot of... Isn't that just jail you know? for all of eternity at that point? <laughs> I would that's just jail forever. So. I feel like it's just put bullet in head. I don't know. Well, yeah. Uh, does Florida have the death penalty? I don't know. <laughs> I mean... I don't remember. Incest involving a minor, he's probably not going to survive jail very long, let's be honest. Yeah, they're not fans of that uh, in jail, yeah. from what I understand. I wonder what they are fans of in general. Like, if they said what you in for and you said, I fucking killed a guy who was. Uh. Super evil villain. And then they're all like, yay! I clearly understand how prison works. <laughs> yeah, could tell. Uh, Fringy, do you have a favorite reveal trailer for Smash DLC? Mine are Sephiroth, Sora, and Steve. Uh, I really like the Steve one, yeah. Steve one was yeah, good. Yeah, Steve one was cool. Uh, I uh, I always enjoyed the uh, um, Ridley's series. was really cool. Oh yeah, Ridley's. Yeah. Ridley's King K. Rule was a great one. Oh yeah, King K. Rules. That was that was uh, that was really. Cool. Because I am biased of Tekken, I enjoyed the Kazuya reveal. That's fine. I, I that's yeah, fine. I, I, oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, I, I don't I don't even remember that one actually. Um, He's yeah. tossing characters into a volcano. Oh god. And then he th and then he drops Kirby in the volcano, and Kirby just flies away. Naturally, it's fucked up. They just drop people in the volcano, but all right. <laughs> it's what he does, man. He's an evil man. Oh, so evil all evil men drop people in volcanoes? Wow. Yeah, yeah I, so. I didn't say that. I didn't say you said that. Okay, you, you just play this all day, it. buddy. So anyway, how you doing? <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, possible civil war floor. It's unlikely Zemo got the EMP in and out of his hotel without anyone noticing. I would imagine that he would have just hired handymen, and they would have been boarded up in a big box. So it's literally just hire people to move a thing that's heavy. That's it. Uh, also, does Metal think in German or English? Uh, the answer is yes. Oh. That's not even the joke. That just trick question. Ran, it's completely it's random. It's completely random. Is it ever like half and half? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> no shit. It's, uh, it's, it's really weird. The brain works really weird when you talk to languages. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop it when Almost. you talk. Brain work weird right. when you talk. Yeah, <laughs> just when you talk. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I mentioned or even tweeted up before that my grocery list is like half German, half English sometimes. Just because I that is write, because I write stuff down at different times and it's like sausage, uh, something in German. I can't think of anything fun. When it comes to thoughts, you don't even really think in language, though, do you? Uh, I think in language. Absolutely, I think in like English and sentences and words. Yeah. Um, I think I do both. I'll think very deliberately and clearly, and then I'll be, like, realizing that I've been thinking about a thing without necessarily it all being oh, in my head. Yeah. But... 
<clears throat> Sometimes I think about thinking about thoughts. I like thinking yeah. about thoughts. Belch. Nice. But yeah, it's a, it's, it, it is a funny one. It is a funny one. Um, thoughts on SK's homecoming video. Also, hi, Rax. Hi. Not very um, good. It's <laughs> really bad. Props uh, to him for trying, though. Yeah, I think he, he's he's still put lots of effort into the videos, and uh, yeah, I see how he came to make a lot of the arguments. I just don't know that he um, he leaves much room for character <clears throat> motivations to explain actions. That seems to be the the major thing that comes up a lot in the video. That I was like, oh, but this happened because this though. Um, cursive teal lettering spelling out yum. I'm assuming it looks like cum or something like that. Mm. You can't trick me. Mm. Uh, long man, last time when I told you you missed your, my super chat, I provided a timestamp. Was that not enough? Anyway, here's the missed chat. Uh, timestamp doesn't do much of anything for me because uh, they get ordered later into like... Well, not with timestamps, if that makes sense. Um, theoretically, I guess I could go back to the stream to go and have a look at it. But you understand, like... It, 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 I don't mean this to sound mean, it's just that if you're sending a super chat to remind me that I've missed a super chat, there's something else you could do with that super chat, you know? Like, just say the thing. And again, I try to avoid missing absolutely any of them, but human error, you know how it be. Um, the context is garlic foam, by the way. Gartic foam, by the way. Um... You know how they say an image is so vivid you can hear it? I could never hear anything meme ever drew. <laughs> oh. Meme is a, you can taste. He's the kind of artist that wouldn't win any awards, but he would be known. Meme blender. Hello, men of the faps of E. Hello. Mm. My plush rags arrived last week and was immediately a great comfort to my young offspring who had a terrible day at school. Aww. Aww, that was great. Yeah, rags could be a good little cuddly Fred. For your bad days at school, there's always a rags at home. Mm-hmm. Rags at home. Hey. Yeah, I am cuddly. Thus, a very well-deserved high rags to you. Oh, hello. There you go. <laughs> That's uh, up. Fringy, have you seen all of Narcos? If so, how did you react when you saw Pablo Escobar pooping with the door open? Oh my god. I think he said he's seen the first two seasons and there's a third one coming out or something like that. Um, he might be no clue. He might be coffeeing right now, but let's just assume he would have been offended by that. <laughs> no. Uh, late Halloween question: What do you think of analog horror vids like Local Fifty Eight and Mandela Catalog? If so, do you think it has uh, a mainstream future? What 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 kind of analog? I'm not sure what that refers to, analog horror vids. I'm assuming we're not talking about found footage. I'm, I'm not familiar with the, the label, I'm afraid. What is analog horror? Is a web original subgenre of found footage. Ah, okay. Okay. In terms of various channels creating EAS, emergency alert system scenarios, which mainly rely on audio as opposed to visuals. Hmm. I have absolutely no idea how that sounds that like it would be a tad niche-ish like. to be able to get yeah. to mainstream. Because, like, Paranormal Activity is a little bit too niche, I would have thought, but it worked really well. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta try and see how it works, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they put out another Paranormal Activity, by the way, recent-ishly. I saw someone mentioning it on Twitter, and I was like, that's still going? Die! <laughs> Never even watched any of them. Not my fault, Mel, okay. Well, you told me not to watch them, otherwise you've hurt me very much, so I didn't do it. I don't see what that has to do with me. Yeah, I don't know. I just blame you in general. Damn. Um... Hi Rags, hi Mutually, hi Raggleton, hi Frongo, hi Sp Spundu. Spundu. Oh. Spundu. 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 I've been training my family to say hi, Rags, anytime they see a plush. Peace is certain now. 
Oh, <laughs> peace is certain. We will have peace in our time, or at least in our household. Peace shall be achieved. There will be peace in this slayer. Uh, oh, speaking of plush rags, hi, Rag. Hello. May I inquire, how do you groom your rag's hair, upward or downward? How do I groom mine? Presumably your plushie? I don't know. I don't really groom him. He takes care of himself. You know, you know how Shibas are. They really, they're very clean. They like to really look nice in their fluffage. He, 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 it, you, you, don't, you want to let him do his own thing. Keep an eye on him. Make sure all's going well, but I think he knows what he's doing, I bet. Well, is the hair on it up or down right now? It's down. Down. Sort of. Yeah, it's sort of, it's mostly down a little bit little of it's up though. There we go. Hi Rags. Hi. Have you ever heard of Hell Let Loose? It seems like it would be right up your alley with Battlefield in the state that it is. I have heard of it. I haven't played it, but I've got some friends who play it here and there. Um, though our, uh, I got some peeps, and we've been playing a lot of Battlefield Five recently. Really enjoying that. So oh we're, boy. Uh, yeah, we're, we're really between that Deep Rock Galactic, um, some other stuff. We're really, I mean, we got our plates full. There's always stuff to play, really. Yay. I recently played Hell Let Loose. I bought it and played with a friendo. It's very team oriented. So it's like the whole nine yard. You have squads, you talk to the leaders, leaders talk to the upper commanding officers and stuff. It's almost role play like. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, you need to come in. A lot of servers basically say you have to have a microphone or you just get kicked. Which had a problem for us because we, we just started so we didn't really know what the fuck was happening. And immediately we got thrown on a squad and were squad leaders and stuff. And it was like, we don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> so, to, so basically... Not a lot of fun for me yet. I'll probably go back to it with the, with the friend who I played with at some point, but it was kind of like, hey, give us commands, Metal. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know anything. I just bought this game. Help me. <laughs> Damn. You just said you don't yeah, know anything? It... Be that brutally honest with them. First up lane. Oh, yeah. I, I've just seen a meme. It's funny. Tarzan is coming up for the third time on this, <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> Squeeze him, man. Squeeze him inside. That's some strong cheeks. That's some Georgia the Jungle shit. I mean, that is really funny, but that uh, that lush dude, that uh, that film's animation is incredible. God damn, it's that's. It's, it's, <laughs> it's amazing that these like long shots that they managed to do and then treasure planet had a bunch of them as well um treasure planet's a really cool movie too it is very cool um like that whole world and solar surfing you know and like those was, that was, uh what ah uh, such a shame because that was that was like one of the last ones that they did uh 2d animation for Uh, Tism. 90% of what EFAP says is disingenuous. Me. Wow, you must have some examples, right? Tism. Examples? So now I have to know every second of EFAP? Um, <laughs> well, you know, one yep. example would be nice. The, the crazy thing is, you're gonna need a hell of a lot more than one, you know? Well, you will need more than one if you want to make the point, yes. But an example would be a great place to start. <laughs> yeah. Just one. Well, I mean... You know, the third act of Black Widow. Apparently, we can't have action scenes anymore because that's too formulaic, according to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, right. We're the disingenuous ones. All right, yeah. Just making sure. All um, aboard the good faith train. Whoop whoop. Yeah. I think people say Rags comes off as rude. Oh, that's it. There's a full stop after that. Uh, so. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, there's, well, there's a thought, sort of. Uh, is they are casually listing while doing something else, then a comment makes Rags stand out and they associate it to always happening. Also, hi, Rags. 
Oh, hey there. Um, What's the topic here? <laughs> I don't... Well, this was the catch-up we were doing for Squid right. Game, so I'm not entirely sure how this has come up, but... You know, Rags, be nice, all right? Jesus. Like Jesus. <laughs> be nice to be, Jesus. That would be a cool guess, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, Jesus, what up? Like, what Jesus, what do you boy? think of uh, Eternals? He's like, wasn't very good, honestly. Let me, Jesus, let me be frank. Is there a labor crisis in America today? <laughs> well, that depends on what you mean by crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simpsons. That was classic, classic crusty. <laughs> Uh, I love how criticisms of EFAP are always accusing of them of sexism and racism and other BS, but when somebody asks for examples, they always go, nobody has time to watch 11 hours of that. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody has time to do that before defaming somebody's character. You've got, you yeah, know? you've got time to lie about us, but you don't have time to be familiar with what it is that you are lying about us. I feel like the internet, maybe okay. it is an internet thing that just makes people more comfortable with writing somebody off based on, like, very loose information that you don't even know where it came from. Downright seems yeah. like, the, like the goal, like everyone's racing to write people off. Yeah, well, yeah, because it's easier to it's easier to uh, not have to engage with a conversation if you just write somebody off. Jay was yeah, showing and me, even um, if they, and then even if they made people. a genuine mistake, it's like they're unredeemable now. They're yeah, I think forever. that's. I, it's, you can't it, make it mistakes. It does really ever. feel we are we are not in an era of compassion and empathy right now. Yeah. No, we really are not. Jay was showing me a comment because this is the thing. It's not even just about uh, how they'll. Like, look for the stuff like that to write you off, but they'll also just crazy invent shit. Uh, there's a thread about, mm. obviously, the politics of EFAP and how we're hyper right wing. And then someone oh, mentioned that Jay, <laughs> Jay was, of course, someone who came on, and then they were like, to be fair, I remember listening to a conversation live where Jay said he'd appreciate more lefty streamers to come on, but Mauler said, you give one example of a good lefty streamer, and Jay said, there are a few, and Mauler said, maybe one day you'll convince me. I was like, that, when the fuck did this so that, happen? That just sounds like <laughs> fantasy right there. Like, that's that is just not a conversation that has ever happened, is it? Like, the, the comment was, like, so specific. Like, they were so confident. I was like, this is something I, that never happened. I, <laughs> like, and I guess also, like, I'm not sure how much they know about our engagement. Like, we kind of think most political commentators are cringe. Yeah. Like, regardless <laughs> of where they fall on the political spectrum. Yeah, we're not. How many uh, times I shit on Dave Rubin? Like, you know. Hey, he's a classical liberal, okay. He is a. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means at this stage. I don't know what any of the labels mean. That's what heads why we avoid no, the I labels. No, I know. I wish we just moved past the labels. The labels are just a quick way to write people off. I've been trying to catch that in my own thinking as well. Like, yeah. I don't want. I, you know, it's just, it's just not. It's not healthy. I want to be an unlabeler. That's what I want. Uh, yeah, I, I want to transcend labels. There's a, no, there's I specifically a team in... want to be a non-labeler. There's a team in... We are a new race, we will prevail. In Game of Thrones called the Brotherhood Without Banners, alright? That's basically what we are. Is that, like, isn't that, like, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker? Isn't that, like, the whole point of that game or something? An army without a nation? Yeah. And then yeah. that was, I think, in Metal Gear Solid Five as well, kind of, except I don't... I still don't understand what that game was about. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, four or five. Duma Politics is a very overtly a lefty streamer. Uh, what does he? I don't know if he streams. Whatever. Um, like, <laughs> well, but but yeah, he he because he, he's like socked him, right? Uh, as far as I know, yeah, oh, that counts yeah. though, right? <laughs> Uh, well, so I, if Sock Dem doesn't count as left wing, then I feel like at this point we're just, <laughs> we, we're just like not, I don't know what's going on in terms of the spectrum at this point. And we managed to not really talk about politics much at all. How about it? Well, try, yeah. It's, movies is fun, but occasionally it's going to come up naturally. Just, yeah. you know. Art imitates life. Comes up. True. But, uh,. But yeah, uh, it was just amazing to see this whole conversation like transcripted, and I was like, I don't recognize any of this. <laughs> it's like, man, it's like I'm reading fiction, like written in real time. <laughs> but like, you no. know, they say it with enough confidence, and those people who never ever watch the stuff who hate me would read it and be like, yeah, that's yeah, that definitely happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Out of context quote from the Fellowship of the Ring book. Beautiful in their shapely nakedness. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I like it. Naked. I, I like it too, actually. Good. Yeah. Well, if, uh, yeah, was, was it talking about Ents? I don't know. Yeah. It's probably yeah. talking about probably talking about Sam. Frodo's POV. I mean, I, yeah, I'm just, I saw I'm just that going, with the meme. I'm going with video. the video. Uh, hey guys, hope you're all well. I'm s I'm still so disappointed with Battlefield 2042 and the money I wasted just to pounce punch my prostate like that has left me bitter. Oh my. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to punch. To <laughs> how, is, how is that happening? I, you should probably <laughs> stop that last part. And I think you'll be okay. You should sue them if that's what the game did. <laughs> that's not in the rule book, you know. Yeah, better than loot boxes. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, hi frog, hi dog, hi long, and hi crying man. Oh, hi. I'm hi. a dog. Hi. I'm a dog. The green man is muted. I'm sorry. Hey guys. Oh wait, no, I oh. got that one. Uh, however, oh, cool. I picked up the Halo Infinite beta and have been thoroughly enjoying it. Was just curious about your thoughts, if you guys have tried it out, and maybe as Fringy has mentioned, this may be the time that John Halo wins. Uh, Wait, what we, was the question? Sorry, I just missed it. Well, it's just thoughts on Halo, but we've got... This was before we did the stream, so... There's oh, a whole... Well, you've got a whole four, four hours, hours or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. The, the very, very uh, quick version, I guess, is... I like it, there's nowhere near enough stuff in it, the microtransactions are gay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Microtransactions be not good, and and I guess the new piece of information is this new event has kind of highlighted how fucked the system is. Um, there are a lot of the advertised samurai skins are not available through playing just the game. You have to buy them. Yeah, you have to buy them. Yeah. And also, you can only unlock seven in a week, and then you have to wait until the next week, which will be in January, to unlock the next seven. And then you need to wait again until, like, February to, to get the yeah. other ones. I don't get it. I don't <clears> understand. <throat> so stupid. I just want my samurai skins, but I'm I not going to get any of I want to pay for the game, get my multiplayer, and then have all these yeah. things be unlockable. Yeah, I don't want all this nice. free-to-play bullshit combined with a million dollars to get a color. Well, yeah, because it's just if you if you're like, hey, sixty bucks to get all of this, yeah, I'll happily, happily, I will gladly just pay sixty bucks to just like, have it and be able to unlock all everything. Yeah, I don't want to have to pay fifteen bucks to get the samurai sword. I want that sword, but I can't get it. Unless I, pay I can't for earn it. anything. Yeah, I want to remember in Halo, you you earned you your skins earn things, through yeah. meritorious actions, mm -hmm. displays of skill, or dedication, or something. Like, oh, he yeah. has that. Therefore, ooh. yeah, how impressive. I, 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 would, I would like to have red and black armor f uh, color for my samurai, but I can't get it unless I buy it. Lame. Um, Bringy's goo is sounding a lot like Alexander's inner sanctum. A little bit, a little bit. Only me and Metal and Rags would know what that is, and also Das, probably. <laughs> Wait, what? I was distracted, sorry. <laughs> as, as you can see, a reference that barely anyone would get. Uh, yeah, I was sitting there wondering, am well, I, am I supposed to know what this is? You wouldn't know, but that's because you don't play video games ever. Yeah, I do. I'm playing one right now. It's not like you wanted to say Halo and then you cut yourself off. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Halo. You embarrassed right now. to play Halo, Bringy? Um, I guess a little bit at the moment, yeah. Aww. Because I just want my goddamn samurai and I'm never gonna get it. Samari. Samari. <laughs> Mari. Halo Infinite is samurai at home. <laughs> Except you don't have it. I was gonna say, it's yeah, just guess, not having yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the real Disney trilogy were the massives we made along the way. Oh. Yay. Been a little bit since I last donated, so here's some Ching Chong Mola. Oh, that's probably not allowed. That's, um, have you and the boys like, seen the new Dune? It. And if so, what was your thoughts? Once Fringy sees have. it, 
Uh, we will chat about if we're going to do an episode for it. I'd be willing. Next week. Um, I'm looking forward to watching it. I, uh, I, I think it's going to be a fun time. So then, yeah, if Ring and Rags are on board, maybe we'll do a, a breakdown. A yeah, we can do a chat. Have a chat about Dune. Dunny. Let me actually... You've just reminded me. Let me see. Dune. Tickets are on sale now. Spider-Man tickets will be on sale soon, right? I think. Uh, oh, they're yeah. at on sale on Monday, yeah. So oh we need God. to keep an eye out for yeah. that. Because, uh, yeah. Spider-Man. No Spundobro. Spundobro. Spider-Man. Spundo does whatever a spunder spuns. That's the song. Yes, it is. Hmm. So far, how's the Halo Infinite multiplayer for you dudes and rags? I'm loving it. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I think I'm just sort of already done with it. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it's a okay. I'm having fun. I played 40 mm -hmm. hours. I want more content because I'm getting bored. Makes sense. Oh, sorry. I guess I didn't mean to skip over the last one if because they said, "What is your thoughts on Dune?" So like. Oh, I guess. Sorry. Well, no, it's not your fault. It's my fault. I, I I should have said like. Well, so the idea is we're probably going to cover it in future. So right now, I still need to. Me and Rags both need to not say anything because Fringy is yet to see it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's why there's been no Dune coverage. You know, I'm gonna, gonna leave it clean and sober. Uh, thankfully, managed to avoid a lot of the discourse. So I'm going in mostly blind. There you nice. Go. And then as for, yeah, the, the multiplayer, I feel like we've answered that a couple of times now, so you'll be alright. And then there's a big old four-hour discussion if you want to know our in-depth thoughts. And we I like random the part streams with the of Fringy and me, where we randomly complain about more stuff we found along That's the way. That's true, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Any of those. I'm pretty sure you, you uh, named one of your streams playing Halo Infinite while complaining incessantly or something. That's right, yeah, because that's all I did. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how innocent is Kyle Rittenhouse? Why in the... <laughs> well, with 10 being as innocent as you could be, he's a 10. Isn't it a binary? Yeah, it's not even a 1 to 10. It's binary, yeah. <laughs> Either you are guilty or you are not guilty to the standard that we have for... You know uh, what? I'll just... Justice. I'll appeal to the, the courts. Well, to be fair, courts don't determine whether or not you're innocent. They determine whether you're guilty or not. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I said. I said you're either guilty or not guilty <laughs> by the standard yeah. that we've defined. And Mr. Kyle Morality. is indeed not guilty as fuck. But he's not guilty. He didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's, yeah, that's the, the conclusion. Justice. That's the conclusion, and it is a correct conclusion. With how poorly Marvel tries to copy Whedon's tone-juggling style these days, it feels more like they're copying Shane Black for many reasons. Um, yeah, Shane Black tries mm. to do it as well. I've always found he's pretty inept at juggling, uh... Drama and comedy. There's sometimes I think he makes it work, but like the Predator is supposed to be an example of that. It's like it's almost a fucking. It's supposed to be like a horror comedy, and it's like, sorry, did you see the fucking Predator as an IP as a horror comedy? Ha ha ha! And then you'd be ha. like, well, maybe we can experiment, right? And you're like, okay, and then he did it horribly anyway. So it's like, well, but should we? But should we? But should we? Should we use our powers for this? The science gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Um, seeing Kyle's prosecution, I get legal eagle more. I get- oh, you mean you understand legal eagle more, I see. Well, he's apparently got a video all about the, the case, and I just find it an interesting prospect because of what he said about the Captain Marvel self-defense. Well, I guess yeah, it's the, that's what it's worries the... me about watching anything he does now, it's just the well, weirdest thing. So I think all that I would say is that it's worth remembering that, like, law is broad as fuck, mm -hmm. and people tend to specialize into certain parts of it. Yeah. Specialize um, in superhero crime. <laughs> well, I, I guess, you know, hey, look, in the, in the Marvel Universe, they probably should- They probably they should probably be, yeah. should be. Well, I think that's, uh, from what I've heard, that's, like, what the She-Hulk show is meant to be about, that she specializes in, like, superhero cases. It's like, yeah, Shocked. that'd be interesting. Think about, like, things that legislation kind of hasn't taken into account and new interpretations of think, the law and things like that. Do you think they'll start doing, like, she's doing lower-level cases and then they'll just have these different superheroes 
that we've never heard of before, like, you know... Probably. This... Yeah, like the, the the more obscure ones that you haven't heard of, yeah. Just as Harvey sort of... Birdman. And, well, it could literally oh, even I mean, be... it's funny, right? Yeah, that show exists. And <laughs> it's like, yeah. It could be people dressed up, like, who have no powers. They're just vigilante people as well. That, that could probably happen well, in this world, I think. I think it would happen. Um... Oh, wow, a wraith! This is, like, the first wraith I've seen in the whole fucking <gasps> game. I still haven't seen one. 20 hours, and, and the first wraith. Oh, my God. And it's already blown up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. and it's gone. Well, dude, like... Someone fired a grenade and it's probably a fiesta. skin for it. Oh, just it is fiesta. The, the skewer fiesta. as well just annihilates vehicles. The skewer yeah, is uh, real good. Um, Again, mm. I still wish the Spartan laser was here. Yeah. Don't know where it is. I would take the Spartan laser over the Hydro. I like the Hydra, but the Spartan laser, it's a good rat. Um, well, uh, but yeah, like, it, it seems like it would be an, a, an idea to explore, uh, you know, superhero lore, and potentially even cases it would have to go up to, you know, like, the Supreme Court, because there'd be new interpretations of, uh, of, like, how, how does, uh, how do you interpret the Constitution when it was written at a time when there were absolutely zero, like, super-powered individuals from different planets? Oh, give it time and, and they will be. be written? They will retcon oh. that all the Founding Fathers were villains and the superheroes had to stop them or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna say. They're all evil and terrible, and they're all awful. I, you... it feels weird, man, because, like, goddamn, like, they had a lot of... They they did a lot of things that were like pretty impressive for the time in terms of thinking about ways of uh, crafting um, fundamental laws and things like that. What no, they that? didn't. They were Did traitors. Did you guys see that that nerd Roddick tweet about the comic with the turtle? Comic with a turtle. I, the turtle. The office clerk. Uh, no. Man, I. Where did I see that? Um, <laughs> Nerd Roddick had tweeted out some. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it was. Just a second. Fuck. Take a deep, take a deep scroll and scroll. I will hit you in your bowl. Cruel dead Ponder biatch. the orb. Punch him in the face. A low bleeding human race. These are looking familiar, so. This just might be. Oh, yeah, some of these articles, these. Halo Infinite store leak pricing isn't absurd, but the response sure is. Ugh, some of these oh. fucking. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Here. Who who wrote that? Here, let me let me link it to you. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun to cover in a video. Uh, let me find it. But the pricing sure is real. Man, you know, guys, like some of us don't have a billion dollars to spend on video <laughs> games. I mean, it does feel like that kind of shit, right? Where it's like. I don't know if you guys remember, um, but like when I was a kid, I didn't get just like every game ever. <laughs> that was yeah. not that was not yeah. like the option that was available to me. And especially I when I became a teenager and I started fuck. buying myself, I had to make those decisions about what I was gonna buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I bought some shit fuck games back in the day. <laughs> yeah, and and it taught me a valuable lesson basically. And I still like, played them because I had them and I couldn't exactly, buy them. Exactly. <laughs> but it teaches you the lesson, right? Of like you need to think carefully about yeah. what it is that you're buying. But I guess it's just like, damn. Wait, hold on. Uh, let's. Do we have someone so who's responsible would... for this? Someone wrote this. I don't understand. <laughs> Give me their name. I like. Oh man, the, the the article starts with "Why you mad?" Question mark in a little. Because it's really. Oh fuck! Get it. I, yeah, because like, store leak pricing isn't absurd, but the response sure is. And then right below, fun isn't free. <laughs> yeah, Man. but you know what was free? The color white. <laughs> yeah, that's called yeah. fun, Rex. I, oh, I do, yeah. I do like that. Fun isn't free. It's like God, man, what? I feel you, like you, you have are. Completely this is the this point. is obtuseness, like infinite. You God, we thought in Shawshank Redemption that the warden was obtuse. Oh my God, what an obtuse statement! So obtuse. You just trying to call him fat, Fringy? We just went over how that's not. I'm allowed. just saying. I'm saying that no. I'm saying. I'm saying that he or she or whoever wrote it is being obtuse. Fat people deserve uh, respect. That's all I got to say on that. You, you can they... be obtuse and skinny. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Obtuse is a way of life. Like, 
uh, what is it? Like, I was, I was trying, to, I was thinking of reference to something, but it was already lost. Oh well. Oh, uh, wait, 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 was it? <laughs> Do we want to read that out, or are we, are we, uh, what are we doing? I, nah, nah. It's horrible. Oh, unless someone else wants to. I, it's just, oh wow, a scorpion, oh my god. Everything's happening today for you, huh? Yeah, I know, Fiesta, man, it's crazy. Oh, oh my god, if you put the, you, the grenade doesn't immediately blow it up. Um, ah. Okay. So That sounded like disappointment. Next yeah, because I'm so used to that, but yeah, continue. Next one says, in an interview, Snyder said that he made Justice League 4x3 because if you can handle black bars on the top and bottom, you can handle them on the sides. He didn't make it 4x3, uh, though. He shot it in that aspect ratio because that's the aspect ratio that you shoot in for film and then you crop it later. IMAX. And you can see that because there are so many shots where there's a lot of headroom and it's clear that the only reason that it's there is because it was shot to be in... And yet, and yet, when you look at the ones that were reshot, it's like, man, they, like, actually suit the aspect ratio. That's crazy. It's almost like they were shot this way. Yeah, all of his little CGI additions, they're all uh, framed yeah, properly. they're all framed well. What, what a yeah. coincidence. And, yeah, so it's it's done for IMAX, and then he realized he needs to separate his movie from Joss's as much as possible. And so, yeah, the 4x3 and then the black and white Justice is Grey edition. <laughs> Me. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck me dead. And the it's amount just... <laughs> of bullshit padding in that film. And how many people just refuse to agree on that when it's like, are you kidding me? The amount of walking in that film, come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. And it's not, and don't even give me the bullshit of, oh, well, it's world building. No, it's a staircase. <laughs> I know what those are. World building. You're not world building. The, the one I got from a lot of people who were very angry at me was, uh, it's tension building and you don't understand that. It's like, all right. <laughs> the obvious question being, like, if I had it go for an hour, can I just say it's tension building and you don't understand it? Like, they're gonna maybe fail to walk up the stairs? Well, you remember the stupid fucking opening with the guy who we see him take every single goddamn step to the room, and it's like, why do you think Joss yeah. cut this down? It's just a waste of time. We know sorry, that he can walk. Is. Well, yeah, you're showing me information that is entirely unnecessary. But my god, does it stretch that time fucking code? And it, may, it just made people say the thing. Of course they're completely different movies. One of them is twice the fucking size. Uh, do you think the new Spider-Man trailer confirms Spider-Man made Doc Strange tism a spell causing multiverse tism to happen? No. We gotta wait. No, it doesn't confirm anything. Gotta wait. We just gotta wait. I ain't saying Persona 3 is bad, but it just doesn't compare to 4 and 5 superior character story and mechanics. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, is, yeah, is, maybe, is this I don't the, know. Is this the same guy from before? I don't know if he's arguing with someone else or if... I, <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, it's chance. okay. <laughs> um, people keep saying hi, Rax, but nobody says hi to the crying man or the Australian green bird. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I, I, was, I thought the question sometimes was going to be, do. everybody says hi, Rags, but nobody says how, Rags. <laughs> I think rags, we've had that one yes. before, but... When yeah, like, but people say hi to hi to it. Yeah, like, nice. everyone gets yeah. And I'm not a bird. Wow. <laughs> you got a beak. Yeah. I I uh, no, I that's a mask. It's not a beak. But <laughs> it but, is a beak on a mask, but just because there's a beak oh and we lost cool. I love how I love how literal Friggy could be sometimes. <laughs> I mean it's a fair, a fair point to make from Rags, and so it's a fair counter to I make from I do like Fringy. birds, though, I will say. Birds, birds are, are cool. Uh, they're they're nifty little critters. Ooh, do you like birds of prey? No. Well, I like falcons like religious, and religious stuff. birds? Yeah. I like hawks and birds <laughs> no, of prey. I was talking about the, <laughs> I was, I was talking about the smash prey. hit blockbuster movie. The smash hit film, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous right. Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. The, Honestly, it's some of the greatest content I think I've ever seen. I, I do like the idea of now birds of prey in like that that feels like a story you got birds of prey <laughs> praying in a, in a church and you know just there's a story going on there did uh birds of prey like lose to the sonic the hedgehog movie yes yeah <laughs> i don't know if that surprises me uh, well I, it satisfies well, me yes holly yeah. quinn, it does. Holly quinn is it. like popular 
Sure. Uh, Sonic's popular. But evidently. <laughs> Sonic's so, pretty well, popular. Yeah. He has well, wings and rings and I guess things. that's what I'm saying is, uh, and, and also I guess Sonic got a lot of a boost from that positive press from all of the, uh, oh, the, the reworking. Did. Absolutely. Yeah. Taking the Lovecraftian yeah, yeah. creature so. and turning it into like Sonic, yeah. yeah, yeah Something yeah. that was and, actually, and yeah. Props to them. I'm sure it's much comfort after they shut this uh, studio down regardless. Yeah, of, I was about to say. So, that's I mean, That, that really does suck. The people stings. who did it get fired. <sighs> um, My first playthrough of P4 was a riveting 98 hours. For P5, it was a riveting 167 hours. I'm currently 10 hours into P3, and I'm already disappointed as fuck. Well, I'm here I don't know why P, Persona don't keeps know. coming up. Uh, yeah. How does that keep what happening? Happened? We don't Did know. We even talk do you think? Do you think they were on a different stream and there was super chat in the wrong chat? Like, <laughs> I, I can see that happening. I've, That's our new business model. Spoken, yeah, I've accidentally spoken in a wrong chat before. It could happen. Super chat Imagine the someone people. was able to do that. Like they sub they diverted all super chat sent for just one day of streams all to their account, all over YouTube. I wonder how much that would be. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, I, I think the top channels for Super Chats are VTubers. Ah. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to say about that. I'll just leave it there. But I'm pretty sure they occupy, like, the top 15 or something. They're all the, uh... It's like a whole huge industry. I wonder if there's going to be some attempt to use them for marketing for something, you know? Well, I think the interesting part will be when we just have, like, corporate-created digital personas, essentially. You know, like, uh... Like, if, if you just have a YouTuber, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, the Apple, Apple girl or something. I don't know, like, Abby, the Apple girl, and then she does streams on her, like, iMac and talks about how great Apple products are. And she never confirms that she has a boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. And so her existence <laughs> is basically just there to, like, promote Apple products. Um, like, that's, that to me feels very likely as a, as a thing that will be happening. Um... Or, or just, you know, like, you'd, you'd have it, and it, maybe it's more subtle, right? You just have a streamer who is a digital personality, and people, sponsors can pay for her to, you know, basically very subtly speak positively about certain products mm -hmm. and things like that. I, I could totally see that happen. Could happen. Get ready for dystopia, lads. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like we're, we're, we're heading believing into an interesting in new era. You're in Careful one. We're heading into an interesting new one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like uh, the Twilight Zone, right? This is the other place. <laughs> you try to, I don't know, turn off your computer and it doesn't turn off. And then the VTuber girl just starts oh, no. laughing maniacally. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're not real people anymore. It's only us. We all look the same. Oh, look how big our eyes are. <laughs> Listen to my creepy ass annoying giggle. That sounds like a... Like the really shitty version of trying to do a some kind of interesting reveal, but done by like an inept person. And so they're like, "This VTuber, she's not a real girl." And they reveal it all, and then the person like looks at their own hands and they're like, "Am I real?" And you're like, "Yes." <laughs> 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 Fucking idiot. <laughs> Slap them across <laughs> the face. If high Ooh. rags is a peace offering, will buy rags be a declaration of war? Oh, interesting mm. observation. Well, we had one earlier. Yeah, yeah, we did have maybe. a buy rags earlier. Things seem yeah. to be okay, but in fairness, there's been a lot of high rags to counter it, so. Yeah. Can't say for sure just yet. Um, also, I hope you're doing your Dankula K film homework and watch I Saw the Devil with the boys later on. Also, high rags. Hello! I may perhaps watch more things that are recommended here and there. Who knows? Um, oh my god, this is pretty funny. By the way, I don't think y'all would care much for the Persona games due to the <laughs> intense <laughs> weakness. But I highly recommend the OSTs. Y'all would love them. Oh yeah, uh, Persona 5 has a really cool soundtrack. Yeah, it's pretty killer. And I think that's kind of yeah. why Persona 5 gets as like as much praise as it does. I don't I don't ever hear people talk about the game itself. It's it's always just a soundtrack. And there's a reason for that. The game itself it is, is really just good. okay. Hmm. Uh, for a great for a great boss theme, check out Persona Five track "River in a Desert." Stop. There you go. Set Fringy off. So. Got Frongo well, that, that's 
That's uh, that's music from Persona Five. And By then the there's way, that uh, uh, that. What's that? Sorry, sorry, Chatter River in a desert sucks. I'm Oof. just gonna say it right here. Damn. Das just ripping that guy's dreams in half. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I like the overall track, but I don't. I, I, no, no, I like the overall soundtrack, but that track's weak in comparison to everything else it has on offer. All right. They're gonna send sorry, several buddy. super chats about Persona now. You know that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Next, sorry. Next time, yeah, guys. like when, when we we start checking them next time around. <laughs> we don't care about Persona, <laughs> but we'll take your money. I mean, I don't even. I'm not even. I'm, what is 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 that the lawyer game? Which is the what am I? <laughs> which one's Persona? Phoenix Wright is the lawyer Phoenix game. Right. So, Phoenix Wright and Phoenix Wright is neat. I I like Phoenix Wright. You say that like Persona isn't. Oh, uh, no, well, I'm just saying I've played Phoenix Riot, so I can actually say something about it, and it's Ooh. it's a neat game. All right. Which um, one's Persona, then? Persona Persona's... is you, like, in high school, and then at night you oh, fight monsters sake. and stuff. Is that right? <laughs> oh, wait, is this an anime? <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, Persona, Persona is an anime game. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love the moment he says high school, you, like, you didn't need to say it's an anime game after <laughs> saying it's set in high school. It's like, right. <laughs> Like 90%. <laughs> that's what, honestly, um, that threw me out of uh, Code Geass a budge. It's, they, they try to do these grand political schemes and wars. Also, all the main characters are in high school. It's like, well, then you, uh, you, you might like Phoenix Wright, cat. because in Phoenix Wright, you play as a Chad adult man uh, in court doing court cases. But by day, uh, he goes and, to high school. And... Yeah, I was going to say, are you sure that's an and, uh, anime game then? Is it, I'm assuming it's not at that point. It's, well, you know, um, and then of course, as well, the judge is an Alderman, and oh uh, God. and Mile, God, I'm forgetting his name, it's it's Edgeworth, he, uh... <laughs> is, that, is that Shadow's father? <laughs> So he he is uh he is the evil man, but what but level it of are you? Edgeworth is the evil. Man. Well, Miles, but, but, Miles but Edgeworth, no, what a name! He is, Doctor he is, Edgeworth, no, but, but, Professor but Edgeworth. Edgeworth. He's uh he is he is only antagonistic, but he is actually a good man at heart. He is uh he is a good man at heart. Um, and he eventually, but they've got they've got a bit of banter him and and Phoenix Wright. And they, you know, they they go on their adventures. Oh, his name is funny. Phoenix Wright. Yes, his name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. First name Ace is Attorney Phoenix. Ace Attorney is not his name. At night, name, does he yes, turn into a blind superhero who fights crime <laughs> with sticks? Hey, you mix them up. Also goes to right? high school. That's... Does he go no, to high school? Ma no, is he no. Teacher? Chad Chad Matt Murdock has has long since finished law school as well, and he's he's going to he's going to court. He's going to, to court to do the law. Does he stuff. have an honorary degree, but he's still in high school because he's a super genius protagonist? I hope so. No, he, he's just normal smart. He's not like super oh, duper okay. crazy. He's just normal smart. He's, you, know? he's, you can believe that a person I can of believe his that intelligence he exists. can yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. So you're saying right. he's not I'm Shuri not like, smart. I'm not some just child uh, prodigy no, who's but, insane at everything. But God damn, does Matt know his way around uh, the English language? All right. I will. I will always stand for Matt Murdock and Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Even Ben Affleck's Matt Murdock. Um. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just nah. <laughs> I thought Charlie about it. Nah. Daredevil. Oh yeah. Can't wait to see him in Spooderman Far From Hope. Mm-hmm. And She-Hulk and Kingpin in um, Hawkeye. Herman in, in other properties, I would imagine. Because you gotta no more hope. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey Mubes, Raggleton, Greenbird, and Metal. They're calling wow. Bird again. Oh, but hello. Greenbird. <laughs> oh wow! I finally unlocked a coding that I can fucking use on my Mark V armor. Awesome! Wait, it only bro. took twenty hours. Sweet. Uh, continue. Just watched your malignant EFAP movies, and I thought you might be interested to know it was a Mormon who invented the TV. They might still be afraid of them, I suppose. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that. Neat. Is that true? <laughs> okay. Uh, that hi. Hi, y'all. Thoughts on Elden Ring? I got none, I'm afraid. I'm going as <laughs> blind as I- I'm gonna buy that and going blind. Real blind. I'm, I'm basically blind, too. Yeah. 
I'm upset with all the coverage of the big Dark Souls streamers because they got... <laughs> Sorry, they got access to it. Oh, you know, right. Like oh. Videos they deserve week. it like, because they have lots of Look videos. at all the cool things we found. It's like, why are you... Stop. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I imagine Matul will check it out. As will oh, Dasu. Yeah, I'll be the, Dasu boot. Stream the fuck out of it. Dasu, Dasu. Dasu. Plan, assuming that the PC port uh, works. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna Dasu. wait like until I know it works. So, but I'll, you know, I'll probably be playing it. The initial One. launch troubles of Dark Souls Three still leaves me yeah. just a little on edge. Dasu. I'm tired of initial launch trouble. Man. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. But yeah, but I'll be getting on that ASAP. Mm. I, it, it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty fucking neat. The network test looks awesome to me, but trying to keep hopes in check after Cyberpunk. Thanks for great content. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, always just a good approach. Keep it in mind. You need everyone needs yep. that one time where they go. You know Remember. what? Never again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, mine was Destiny. Mine that was. was uh... Mine's probably I'm, Mortal I'm Kombat actually... X. <laughs> that was I'm, fucking I'm... embarrassing. <laughs> that might be the worst launch of a game right. ever. Um, the menu isn't quite working. PC, yeah. Um, and I, I guess it's just it's it's the standard meme, right? If your expectations are low, you'll never be disappointed, and often you'll be pleasantly surprised. I don't want to live in a world where we expect everything to go to shit, but <laughs> like, mm, well, yeah. Here we are. Uh, Save thing. Yep. Things Is it, imagine right Elden Ring has a horrific fucking mm -hmm. launch, and we just add, you know, another one to the list, and we're just like, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hooray. No, I'm still going to pre-order, guys. You. This company, they'll be different. No, that, that would, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're the good guys. All right. Yeah. It's not like we've seen pre-launch codes given to people before, and they were given glowing reviews, and then backtracked later when they couldn't lie anymore. You know what's funny? <laughs> yeah, that. In my head, I was thinking, like, well, what games did... There's some games that launched just fine. Like, Amnesia Rebirth. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. Uh, that did launch fully <laughs> functional, quote-unquote. I do find super interesting now, Dash. You brought up with because Cyberpunk. It's like I'm yep. not sure how many people remember. Oh, you can't disable vehicles with plasma, right? Okay. Um, with Cyberpunk, the initial thing was the reviews were only on PC. Mm -hmm. Um, there was no console right. uh, reviews. You weren't allowed to, and you weren't allowed to use footage that you captured. You had to use yeah. the footage that was publicly available, which is slimy um, as all hell. Well, yeah. and and of course, like, the big thing is. You agreed to do that, but then, you know, like, surely you can't just do that. Um, like, agree to those terms and then make the review and then later on be like, ah, yeah, that was pretty lame. It's like, I don't know, man. Like, oh, you saying it's, it's on life. them to refuse, do you mean? <clears throat> yeah. Or, or, or just be like, nah, I'll review it when it comes out, actually, so that I don't have to abide by these conditions. It would conditions. be sus as fuck if they said to us, which is the equivalent, I suppose, we're going to be showing you scenes from the new Spider-Man, and you can talk about yeah. them. We'd be like, okay. Yeah, we want, you to re is like <laughs> we want you to review the film as though those scenes are the film. It's like, I don't... Yeah, but I need uh, context. But no, no, you just make it up. Because there's not really, you can't make an equivalent, really, but it's like, I'm trying to think, that's probably the closest you'll get to. It's just really yeah. weird. Where it's just, you don't get access to the whole thing, and it's like, man, if you were really confident, you think you would. Yeah. It was just upsetting to me, because there were some reviewers that I had followed for a while, and they had said, like, wow, dude, Cyberpunk is, like, the coolest fucking thing ever, there's so much to do, and the world's so alive. No! <laughs> that was a lie! All of that was a lie! Yeah. It's like people who say that Battlefield is, you know, 2042 is good. Like, those are liars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those people well, it, lied I, to you. I, I, yeah, I guess that's, that's what I'm saying is it's it's really frustrating. Like, it bugs me to basically give a review of, like, a game based on terms that are really restrictive in terms of what you can or cannot say or show. Mm -hmm. And then to, after the fact, be like, oh, yeah, that was pretty shitty, though. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like... I don't know. You were part of it. Like I don't. I don't, I don't know what to good. say to that. Yeah, yeah. Like the company made a lot of sales based on you. Yeah, they're, they're really glad with the result. <laughs> like, yeah. Now that it's released in the well, and it makes you no think like there. they 
They knew. They totally knew. <laughs> they knew. They absolutely. They had to have known. How the fuck couldn't they have known? 100 They knew. absolutely knew. There's no way that you didn't know. Yeah. What does it even look like to it. not know that your game doesn't work? The game that you made and play tested. You so I can take a step in Cyberpunk before something broke down. It was insane. It could be understood that um, when you launch a game, something happens to it where it was unforeseen and there's some <coughs> error. Like I'm pretty sure we talked yeah, before, but Colonial Marines, Colonial Marines worked better than it actually did because they had put like one fucking thing in one piece of code somewhere that yeah. fucked the aliens' ability to uh, bind to walls. Yeah, something. Oh, okay. Somebody like added a semicolon somewhere, yeah. and all of a sudden the AI worked again. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was literally just that the aliens' ability like a, to move like... around walls, and without that, they well, became incredibly stupid. Like, right? That's but, funny. But that's, I can totally that's... understand that happening, though. Like, just just doing the IT work and just. Oh, I'm just saying we have. That's more an observation, though, of an yeah. error that slips through the cracks. But when they played that game and they released it, they would have known that there was that issue with the AI. Like, that wouldn't yeah, have surprised yeah, yeah. them, you know what I mean? True. They, um, they wouldn't well, have been like, oh shit, the AI doesn't work. How do we not miss that? It would be like, oh, we missed a flaw and the AI doesn't work. In that's this assuming game. Oh, their shit. versions have the same problem as the ones that are going out. If the code was I, copied and then right, something but, was added. In process, then oh, they wouldn't be able to catch but I mean, it. Is that does that is that possible? Is that how it works? Or I have no clue if that's what happened. I'm just saying that that could theoretically happen. Maybe, it, yeah, maybe. Like once again to harp on Cyberpunk, didn't they say something along the lines of, "Oh, the the game that we released was like an older version that we didn't have, or something"? <sighs> was that Cyberpunk, yeah. or was that another well, so game? I guess that's kind of what I'm getting at, with the fact that they restricted all this coverage and they made it that way, it's like, you knew your game was a fucking catastrophe, didn't you? Well, yeah, why yeah, would I not be allowed to show my own footage? Yeah, and the reviewers um, went along with it. Well, well, I, I, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm saying. We all know why. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because it's because you got to get those videos out early. Cyberpunk 2077 uh, yeah. was one of the, would have been the, like one of the biggest games of all time had it had a great launch. But it just yeah. disappeared. And now, look at it. Nobody talks about it. It's yeah, and, like Game of Thrones. And all the work that's going to go into fixing it, presumably they do that, uh, it's going to have so much less appreciation than it would have had. If it was ready to go. And I mean, look at City Project Red stock value. It's gone down. It hasn't come back up. Yeah, and I don't think anybody will it? forget this. It's going to happen. No, they won't. This was f well, this infamously bad. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, permanent reputation uh, damage uh, for that. It was especially bad because they were a trusted uh, well, it doesn't matter. developer. Yeah, doesn't matter Witcher. how much people like Witcher Three at this point. <laughs> it's like yeah, no, yeah. no. If, I, I, that was them that before. That's not them anymore. They, yeah. Well, it's yeah. They trusted them, and they exactly. always seemed to be pretty pretty cool about everything. And uh, but they they, they, they own uh, GOG, right? That, that was them. They created GOG. Yeah. Yeah. I like think, oh look, they look, look, DRM, look how cool we are. Customers <laughs> first, and then they just. Get, get rid of the loop and just bum rush you with the dicks out. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to, no. <laughs> Here's our dicks. No. It's not, it's not what I was supposed to. Put it right, right in there. Me. <laughs> Here's our dicks. <laughs> why, do you, why do you rush me like naked bums? <laughs> Please, no. No. Not like this. Um... This is probably Trollface Daisy Ridley's me. Sorry, Trollface Daisy Ridley's last super chat tonight. Love all of you and wish you guys a great week. Okay. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh. Um. No, Mr. Dark. Send more money as a peace offering. I think these two are talking to each other. I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, Fringy. What do you think about the current geopolitical situation in northern Uganda? <laughs> I, I don't know what the current geopolitical situation is in northern Uganda. Mm. If you vote for me, you will get a free copy of Space Cop. Mm. Great. Those are rare. Uh, also, High Rags and Mola, and even you, Metal. Well, oh, thank you. See? So a nice. big round of hellos for everyone. Um, started Simpsons on Disney Plus. It feels so genuine and good at the start. Bart episodes are my favorite ones so far. Yeah, they. They usually yeah, strong. The ones and the early ones are pretty great. Yeah, it's. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, I, you know how like we've often complained about the videos that like presume when the Simpsons you know got bad, and they usually start around like season nine or ten. Yeah. Um, I don't like that sort of conclusion in general, but 
you do definitely notice that something changes in terms of the overall tone of the simpsons around that time um like i think i think one of the most notable ones is that homer becomes much more just overtly stupid um and, and a little bit more selfish too that's something that i notice around that era um like it's it's the era where they're starting to slip into caricature territory was... and of course they all they always were you know to a certain extent caricatures but still there was uh complexities there when you rewatch the show i remember even as a kid doing this and just being like whoa when you first start simpsons like season one and two and stuff homer is like a much more generic dad character yes he is mm -hmm. he's not like just the whole joke is how fucking dumb he is it's like no actually well, he's it, quite normal a lot of the time too yeah he's uh he's he's oafish for sure but he's not like a complete idiot and of course, the the big thing, it's, it's one of the things that I often complain about with, like, Family Guy. One of Family Guy's biggest issues, which it didn't even used to have, like, it, it kind of had the same problem of, um... Peter is just, like, a really bad person. Oh, um... And so it's it's very hard to, uh, to, to engage with that, whereas, like, Homer, for all of his faults, is a good guy who cares about his family. Um... I remember when Stewie was supposed to be an evil baby. Whatever happened to that? Yeah. Wow. So he's gay yeah. now, the main thing. <laughs> now he's just super gay. All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, because uh, I, I guess the thing is, I my mind immediately goes to a lot of do it for her. That that feels like the most obvious one of like, nah, Homer is uh, he's uh, he's a really good guy. Uh, deep down. But I feel like a lot of that is lost now in the newer Simpsons. It's just caricature. It's flanderization of the whole series. Yeah. Huh. Uh, thoughts... Hurricane Eddie, that was a... Sorry. Hurricane Eddie's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on Control Go versus on. Destroy endings in ME3. Still annoyed by those who say Destroy is the right choice. No argument against Control holds up. Um, I would say Destroy is still better than the alternatives. The, prob the problem is that Destroy also kills, like, the Geth, who we, we figure out a basically like victims of the uh the quarians and depending on if you save them to then just kill them as well it's like hmm uh i guess i guess the big concern is that maybe it's worthwhile to just kill the reapers to make sure that this will never be an issue again um as opposed to controlling them and taking that risk that they might you know breach that uh that control and and um you know screw everything up again All right. what, about, what do you think rags now I have to remember, going back, I think controlling is where you just basically become the Reaper Overlord, right? Or so them. Of, yeah. I think that's what I chose, because it would make sure that I couldn't, because I, I don't think I could kill the Geth. Can't do that. Yeah. Uh, so I think I picked control, but it seemed like it was the only, like, the only option. Well, oh, really? the, the third, the third one was, uh, the third one was to syn synergize, was it? Where you just synthesis. basically somehow, yeah. yeah, synthesis where, like, organics and artificial beings essentially can, like, coexist. Um, and then there was the fourth ending they added in the, the director's cut where you can actually just refuse to capitulate and then mm -hmm. everything ends. It all, it all sucks. The, it, like, these are not the right choices. Yeah, they stink. To us. Um, it's kind of like... Well, I would, to a lesser degree, it's sort of... Well, maybe... I don't know. Maybe it's... Uh, maybe it's just subjective, but it, it reminds me of the Amnesia Rebirth ending options, where yeah. there's just one correct decision, Yeah. and it's mm -hmm. very clear which one it is. Like, the, well, there's an obvious yeah. correct choice and only one. Mm -hmm. Speaking I mean, of which, this, this... yeah, bring play Oh, yeah, okay. It. Um, what I was <laughs> yeah. gonna say is, uh, this is one of the things I find interesting about. Uh, I know that some people don't like the ending of Human Revolution because ultimately the outcome of the decision you make is like not told to you at all. Um, but that's kind of the reason why I like it so much. Um. Well, isn't in the Tolkien ending of just that, like a, they tell you it in like a slideshow presentation. Well, you well, so that, right? what they tell you is basically the decision that you made, and 
a lot a lot of the ending is basically Adam will try to justify very hard whatever decision you make and present the positives for each uh, position and and potentially the negatives. But that's what I like about it is it's it's there to just basically give you the big think of like hmm hmm there's actually like an argument to be made for every single one of these endings because the four endings you get shows uh is basically reveal the whole truth of basically this incident which is probably going to make people turn against the idea of like doing any sort of tampering with like human evolution um maybe that's a good idea because we can't trust ourselves with that technology and i think the second choice was basically tailor it so that people become much more in favor of that and then the mm -hmm. argument in favor of that is well that's what humans do humans basically try to better ourselves why should we stop just because we had a shitty incident here I think the third one was pro-regulation, just like tailor it so that uh, there's more of a willingness to basically hand over control to government and corporations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the fourth ending was let people make whatever decision they want without any influence, which is maybe like the most, that one might be the most naive because there will be other influences. They just won't be the people who were there. But but yeah, I, I like it. I like it to forgive me the, the big old thing. It's options. Like, those seem like a, a, a variety because it's been ages since I finished that game. But um, I really liked it too. But Whoa, the um, yeah, it's a great game. but it was like those were like actual options. Well, yeah, there so, were options. So, like, I guess they just didn't like how they were presented. I think that's the a crit. Big part yeah, of it. the crit. The criticism is that no matter which ending you choose, it is presented basically in a slideshow with uh, Adam explaining that. But I think that's totally fine. Um, I, I don't know what the problem would be with that strictly. You know. I guess it just kind of comes down to like, have any of my choices along this way mattered at all? Like, I think uh, they feel yeah, like... which is a fair. That's a fair thing to say. Yeah, I, th I think that's a, what a lot of people were talking about. But um, I guess getting back to uh, the question at hand, whether it's uh, you know with Mass Effect, um, I guess Destroy works. Like, I guess I just favored Destroy because of the fact that um, you are ridding the world of the Reapers, which is basically the central problem going on right now. So you, the Reapers mm -hmm. are gone, and yeah, the Geth go, but the kid also said that they could easily just be, you know, brought back. The, the kid said it himself, so it's like, okay, well, yeah, it'll suck to lose the uh, Geth for a little while, but we could bring them back, no biggie. And then the Reapers will be completely mm -hmm. gone, and now they are no longer the overarching threat, but in both the blue and green ending, the, the Reapers are still there, you know? It's just that, oh, now we control them, which is what the, the elusive man wanted, or Synthesis, which is what Saren wanted. And so it's right. like... Ah, oh, so now it's all like we're fucking with free will with the blue and the green ending, but the red one allows you to essentially fuck the Reapers up, which were the which were the threat, and now we can get on with our lives. We just get to bring the Geth back a little along the way. We can. Do that it. is a thought, actually. Um, the idea of does does Shepard have the right to essentially make the decision to fundamentally alter the biology of every single living being, <laughs> exactly. like in the universe. Exactly. That's and that's a big decision to make, you know. Yeah, and it keeps the reapers, which were it's all like, did we forget that they're the problem? <laughs> well, like... yeah, I I think I think it's a fair concern to be like, man, is this is this like a surefire thing, or uh, might might this backfire on us in the future? Yeah, you know. Yeah, something like that. And plus, uh, another thing too is if you have a high uh, if you have a high rating for your readiness, uh, Shepard lives in the uh, destroy ending. Yes, he does. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He or she, but uh, yeah, that, uh, that's my take on it. There you go. I hope that answers the chatter's question. I'm sure. It yeah, did. hope you like it. Mola, please yell, Swolpool, you good. I think they were trying to go for a particular <laughs> word there. Uh, <laughs> get off your lazy fish ass and start swimming. I know you can do it, not because you're good, but because every human can fucking do it. Um. I don't know what's going on with that, but all right. Train to New York in a monologue. Pain. Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The of the day of pain. We are all... Pain zombies, man. We're we all at the point of zombies. knowing it's going to be shit. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. we just know. What was that? Okay, I'm sorry. I know you guys talked about it at one point. It was Train to Busan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Train to yeah, Busan. Lost Train to New York oh. is the, uh, that's the... The American remake. It's gonna yeah, be. I still haven't actually watched Train to Busan, so I'm it would take a zombie point. apocalypse for me to take a train to New York. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'd visit. I'd visit. I'd visit. That's I would absolutely way. visit New York. Hell yeah! I don't know about that. I definitely so. want to visit New York. 
All right then. Morley, you missed my Streamlabs super chat. You said two or three words and started talking about something else and moved on to the next one. Also high rags. Hey I there. have no clue which one that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. You gotta just repost the message. Yeah, you gotta repost. I apologize that I would have done that. I try not to. It's just that without more specific information, I'm afraid I can't do a lot about it. Um, my bad. I apologize. Also, high rank. The question Hi there. may have just been that simple, too. Bringy for next Halloween should be a pterodactyl. I really like that idea. I think uh, somebody else suggested it to in the super chat. That's mm. a it's a cool idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the <laughs> one uh, right I, there. I'm I I uh, I'm excited about it. Rags. You're gonna do well. You have to yes. do a kaka. If after that. Kaka. yeah, you were sent manga, would you give them mini reviews? Think you would ever uh, enjoy it over anime? I feel like you would like which hat a. Atila? Atelia? Atelia? Which hat Atelia? I think so. Or Golden Kamu. Or Kamui. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I don't know. I feel um, like you've you, you, I mean, you got some manga, right? I have. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't have any. I've got some anime, but this back in the good stuff in like the 90s and things, but. I I don't I I read some that a friend had when I was young, but I mean I don't know I my my issue is someone sending me something and me just not getting to it, you know, yeah, having it just sit around because I yeah, do appreciate it, but I just I worried that it might be that I just wouldn't get to it. It would just sit around and, and then I don't want to feel bad. Then I'd feel bad, and anime already makes me fucking feel bad, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I, I I do appreciate it, but I don't I just don't know I just don't know. Uh, seen the newest vid, newest V vid covering EFAP? I have not. No. I know that he, <laughs> he he said that our standards no. mean we can't have films like Fast and the Furious. Um, he says a lot oh, of no. things. What? Anyway. I don't These understand. Various, what, what, what like, that so mean? because Brain we would things. say it shouldn't be possible they can do all the crazy shit in them that those films shouldn't exist, and thus we wouldn't get the, those fun films. Um, the, f the um, fact, like, <laughs> funny thing is, like, we love a lot of films like that, and who, uh, um, who, it can be really it? funny to laugh at those types of movies. Yeah. But I mean, but like by our standard, yeah, ideally, it's, sh it's yeah, shitty storytelling. Like a lot of great, exactly. But the yeah. thing is. When you're trying to appeal to someone's emotional state, there's plenty of things you can do that have nothing to do with good storytelling. Yeah. I'm sorry, when but, it comes to V, who are we referring to? Romanian TV or somebody else? Yeah, that's him. Sargon's guy. That's him? Okay. Sargon. Okay. <laughs> Sargon, Sargon, what are you doing? <laughs> what Sargon. are you doing, Sargon? What are you doing, Sargon? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> It's okay, uh, we, we will you never hear this. That? Is it because it's a, uh, well, no, that's, it's a, it's a European one, so you're, it's, he is, you're allowed he to is white, right? right? We're fine. He is white, so he can do whatever the Thank fuck, fuck we want. And it doesn't seem to matter whether or not you're Eastern European or not. Like, that's irrelevant, apparently. <laughs> oh, Too late, you're white. Again? Are you kidding me? Uh, I just want the my The wind was stolen point. from you. Like the gypsies steal from all around. Them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! You can't say these things. Cancelled, oh, banned, no. and put oh my god. in the jail. A friend told me that he has to use effort to read subtitles and it's distracting. Some people's brains can't read as well. I don't think that's just laziness. I have if you can't read, that's an entirely different thing. Jesus. Yeah, at that point you've got much bigger problems than You need to learn to read at that point, but if if you've got a brain thing that makes it so that you can't read subtitles well, then, like, I don't know why you would even be involved in the conversation about it. You'd just be like, yeah, I have a yeah. thing that... It would be like if I said, we need more accessibility for bicycles because I can't even ride them to begin with. You're like, oh, well, I'll but just, I mean, I'll that's just, just a better. different thing. We need more accessibility for films. I'm blind. <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. It, let's say, for example, yeah, some films are released, and there are, there are points where it just goes quiet, and someone says, the character now walks into the room. The character is now... And, well, that's what I'm saying. If someone said, like, well, I need that because I'm blind, I'd be like, that's not at all what we're talking about. We're talking about people who are specifically like, I don't want to read. Yeah. 
My issue is that, that's, like, whenever yes. I see a subtitle, my eyes lock onto it, and even though I'm done reading it, like, I can't take my eyes off it. I don't know why that is. It's just, it's really distracting to me. I, I find I just, it uh, so immersive I that I don't even realize yeah. I'm reading the subtitle sometimes. Yep. And a lot of the time, it just forces me to pay high, like, I can't look away from the screen because I need to be paying attention all the time to, uh, to see them subtitles. Mm hmm Fringy doesn't like to have choice. <laughs> Fringy likes to feel like he's compelled to do things. Um, I mean, sometimes it's it's good to just uh, limit your options so that, uh, you know, just get your focus, that's all. Fringy approves of Halo Infinite's microtransactions. Oh no! my god. No. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man. Don't go too far. You're going so No. No! 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 This is false and defamatory. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> he wasn't taking that laying down at all. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I'm not. Yeah, it's just uh, the, the I we were more responding to arguments that are like you can't know what's happening on screen if you're looking at words. It's mm. like Jesus. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like I agree with the concept and like the 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 idea, but in practice, it doesn't seem to be an issue. Like, yes, your eyes have to pay attention to the text and it it means that you can't see things on the screen necessarily in full when you do but i don't know maybe I, i'm just like just, a different I, watcher know, to everyone I, i'm not watching everything all the time anyway i'm looking around yeah, a lot of time like in, but also, in practice it, it's just not like an issue i suppose and i guess you know here's something that i would just say you can always get better at reading faster that is all that is something that you can do yeah. And it's something I would encourage. Well, like, you know, um, if... And I'm not going to pretend like it's impossible for people to get better at reading. Hey, what? Especially Mike Flanagan stuff. But when characters are talking, I am like, where are we right now? What's on the walls? Where are they standing? I Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What kind of lighting are we I dealing like, with? The whole frame. Yeah, because there's information in it that's important to the story, at least with certain creators. Uh, I don't know, man. Just, yeah, the, the aversion to subtitles frustrates me. I don't get um, it. It encourages this retarded industry of dubbing with people who apparently, like, just don't give a fuck for some reason. And, and, and if someone said, well, that's the problem, right? Not that people aren't reading subtitles, that there's bad dubs. I'd be like, maybe. Well, we can cut this one off at the roots by just getting people to, you know, like, actually just read the subtitles, you know? I mean, you... Don't encourage literacy, that's racist. You will, like... You know, categorically not have the emotion of the original actor combined with the yeah. visual, right? We know that. It's yeah. Like, that can be quite the sacrifice. Yep. And if I can retain the original way that it was made, but just with some text on the bottom of the screen, yeah. Well, so this I've is the thing, it's watched... always been alien to me because I've just never had a problem with that yeah, to yeah, that level. Either. I definitely prefer animated stuff dubbed. But that's, of course, with good dubs. That makes um, more sense because of the I because of the way that uh, the language will match the lips and stuff. Like to a degree, you I might guess. even be in a situation where you could have been convinced it was the original one. But it's very fucking oh, weird to do that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. With absolutely. Uh, like, live it's action. strange to hear it in its native language. Well, I mean, I uh, I basically become very uh, much just in favor of doing subtitles for anime, like I've been watching Cowboy Bebop, and I hear that the uh, the dub is pretty good for that, but I'm still watching it. Uh, the dub subbed. is better. Well, I like the sub. Um, yep. I, I like the delivery. It uh, it, all, it all feels super cool and neat. Yeah. Um, well, yeah I, I think, I, uh, I I think will most agree the dub is better. I think when it comes to anime, I just hate the way that a lot of the voices sound when they're in their native language. Just really? Like, and yeah, a lot of the inflections in them and just the way that I just, it's just... I like it. I like the way the Japanese sounds. It's a cool sounding language. Well, I like it when, like, people are speaking it. But when I hear... It's like if you're watching live action Japanese. Yeah, yeah. But when it's an anime, so often it just feels like it's like this weird, dare I say, cartoonish. But um, it's just it's just some about I hate it. Like I, I could not get through. It, that's what got me to stop watching Attack on Titan. Was like I just couldn't fucking handle listening to the voices. I just couldn't handle it. I understand um, exactly what you mean. I do. 
And I actually do, now that you've said it, I'm thinking about it, it's like, yeah, I don't feel like that was ever in Train to Busan, or Kingdom, or Squid Game, those... No! The, the, these, these, where they do extreme fucking takes, and the funny thing is, I was like, One Punch Man probably has them, but, like, it's self-aware, so, like, the, the idea being that that's how things get to live, you know, like, scenes where characters do, like, overblown power-ups, and... They fucking yeah. fall flat. Like the idea being, it's so fucking well, Moomin, intense. Yeah, yeah. Moomin Rider. He's uh, it's it's really <laughs> intense, and then he just gets fl flicked away. Stand up, um, pedal. Yeah, yeah. And then juxt oh, juxtaposed against Saitam is very flat yeah. delivery. That's um, what I'm saying. Like in that, I, I think it works really yeah. well. Um, um, but I mean, I think it works in uh, other stuff too. Because like in Cowboy Bebop, the Spike, he's he's got like a very smooth uh chilled voice like it's not particularly over exaggerated mm -hmm. um i think it works well so like i always take subtitles but i could see myself not doing that if i were told by everyone i trust no seriously the dub is better everyone knows this is true right. that sort of thing well i mean I, I mean i watched uh i watched death note dubbed i really like the dub for death note uh but yeah. i like the sub as well i think the sub's really cool um, but they, they did a really good job with the, the dub, or at least I, I was super happy with it. Yeah, it was, but like, it was great. I like Squid that Game? Too. Holy fuck. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Let us work together, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Futurama or something. <laughs> yeah, of course, once you get to the VIPs, neither side is safe. No. no doesn't matter what choice you make, yeah. <laughs> Um, I hope that answers whatever that was brought up by. <laughs> question was, yeah. yeah. What, whatever, the que whatever the question was, I hope that you got some. Oh, yeah, it was something about it. manga or something, yeah. <laughs> there is something, there's probably some stupid motherfucking I thing. Think it was, yeah. Rags is, ch is chill with manga as he probably is with anime, I assume. As part of the question was that, I think, the main portion. Well, when every, when every character sounds like me in my head, sometimes that is a, an incredible improvement. I see. <laughs> You know, but, I'm um, thinking about. Oh, go go ahead. But but I I have read mangas and I have enjoyed them. Uh, so it, it I think it's maybe if if you sent me some, I can't guarantee that I will read them, but I will appreciate it either way. All you need is kill is a really cool. Uh, because I I don't own a lot of manga, but I I own that and that that's a cool book. Next one says no. Wait. Um, I don't know. Wait, what? I think it's directed at someone in particular. I don't know. Oh. I I think it is too. Uh, Oompa Loompa Dubba Dee Daw Do. Don't you ask about Fringle D's goo. That, <laughs> no, I think, I think your That's inflection excellent. was off on that super chat. Can I you got, say it again? But I this time, Oompa Loompa. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it like they say it that. like they they mean you to say it. Oh, like the the Oompa Loompas would sing it. The song, yes. Of course. Well, yeah. Of course! Rags, yeah. I'm simply clarifying. I feel- I feel attacked. I wish for you to apologize. I'll feel attacked Oompa, later, come on, Oompa, say- Oompa, Oompa, no. What was the second offer that gonna be? <laughs> no, no, that was it. That was just no. No. Oh, you're saying <laughs> no, you will not. Sing the song! Um... Uh, it's, it's, Asking questions at school is a great way to learn if you try that's that the stuff drunk here, you might get your legs broke, so keep your head down and keep your mouth shut. grunk a lunk a dunk a dunk a dee dunk I think that was that? That's the <laughs> that was- that was Futurama, the slow factor. What the fuck that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we talked about this, right? We, we did. told you about the slow factor. Oh, I, I think I, we I told do. you I about the slow factor. No, no, I do remember. I, I, I remember yeah. the slurp factory Super now that you mention up. it again. We're yeah, it was, it was during Hit and Run. I remember that being on screen, and we were talking about the Slurm Factory and the Grunkalonkas. I think that's infinitely more funny for people who don't know what you're talking about. Like, you sing that song, yeah. then you go, We told you about the Slurm Factory. <laughs> <laughs> the Slurm Factory? Like, is this... Is this Floop? What, what's happening? It's like, no, this is I can't... Real. Is it... It's Floop, isn't it, in the Spy Kids movie? That's his name. Is it? I can't, yeah, he's, dude, I can't remember. Like, he's like the villain turned good guy by the end. His name is Floop. It's uh, just like, that sounds like a film we need to see now. Well, that probably is a really funny movie. Because they made a newish one as well, like a year ago, right? With Lava uh, Boy and Shark Girl or some shit, I don't know. Yeah, I think they did on Netflix. 
pretty sure as well in the Machete movie, um, the kid, the, like the boy in Spy Kids, he plays like a drug dealer or something. Nice. Just like, uh, That's the natural result yeah. of being in Spy Kids. Become a drug dealer. <laughs> Ruggins. And then that creator of that went on to do the Boba Fett series. Oh, wonderful. Which is out soon, Wait, is right? He, is he the showrunner for Boba Fett series? Or? I think so, yeah. Robert Rodriguez. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's out at the end of December. Oh, boy. I remember yeah, Boba Fett. We've got so much shit to cover. It's unreal. Well, yeah, because Hawkeye, Spooderman, Dune, maybe. June. Very possibly. June. June. How about... How about Spider-Man in Dune? Right. Spider-Man in June. Yeah. And and Dune. And Dune. Okay. Yeah. It's Man. just Spider-Man and a Dune that's alive. <laughs> and a little happy face on it. Gets, well, except when it gets windy, it starts screaming. Ah! Like, because it's probably like getting grated, you know, like Damn. the cheese grater. Well. It's sad, is it pleasurable it's for it to build it back up then, or is it nothing? I, I don't know if there's any real trade-off at all. It might just be, like, awful. <laughs> just it's just painful both ways. Yeah. Damn. Maybe. Dune lives matter. Existence is pain to a dune, and we'll do anything to alleviate that pain. Man, the Tron Legacy soundtrack go hard. Love it. Yep. Yeah, it I is mean, a good soundtrack. Everybody likes that one, I think. Stuff. Daft Punk. Oh, that's fucking daft. You're daft. Deft. Deft. Daft. Daffy Punk. Daft da Punk. Daft. Daffy Daffy Punk. Daffy Punk. <laughs> Daffy, 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 Daffy Dunk. Dunk. Synth Wave. Synth Daffy wave Dunk. Man. Daffy Dunk. <laughs> Is, Yo, the new Daffy Dunk album just dropped. What? No, Ooh. Daffy Dunk in Space Jam. That's his nickname that everybody calls him because he's, he's so great. Daffy Dunk in Mathematic Land. <laughs> That's what they should have called him in Space Jam, but that movie sucked apparently. The new one? Well, did, well yeah, because yeah. I like the old one. Yeah, the old yeah. one's good, but oh, yeah, we are. Okay, but the new one is terrible. We'll do them we back to back at some point. That, yeah. Oh, no, that'd be it fun. Sounds like Space Jam Two is just Warner Brothers IP. The movie. Ready Player One <laughs> again, basically. Yeah. 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 Um, wipe out but replace water with lava. I, I don't it seems a bit much. Oh, that seems wipe. not as fun. There's a cruelty the, there. What, what if the commentary just stayed exactly the same? Except <laughs> <laughs> He played totally straight. Ooh, that, and as he's screaming, he has to start raising his voice. Ooh, that knockout. Ah, that, that knockout. He that certainly crazy. isn't having fun in that lava pit, Carl. Ah! That's right, Jim. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Jim, and today's lava is presented by Lava's ah! Lava Rust. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's all that's in the oh, there melts the skull. Yeah. Uh, who'd win in a fight? A bee? Or a bee's way to an incredible hulks. Oh, we got asked that once before, didn't we? I think there was it was a little bit different before. I don't remember what it was. So, it... No, I think it was exactly this question. I think it was a little bit different. A, a hulk versus a bee's weight in hulk. A bee is versus a bee's weight in incredible hulk. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that is different. Um, I feel like the... Wait, so the bees wait in. So, does that mean like you'd have like a, a really Hulk? tiny, incredible Hulk? I guess. Yeah, I think that's what that means. Who wins then, a Hulk or probably a the Hulk? Bee? A Hulk probably or Hulk, yeah. wait, wait. So it's a Hulk versus a bee. Oh, the Hulk. The, wait, the Hulk, it, the, the Hulk the wins because it's. Oh, but Hulk the is the weight of a bee. Yeah. Is the, what? I, I see you now tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> and the bee is just the weight of a bee. Well, that's what I'm wondering, right? If if you've got Hulk and and a bee, and they're just the same size, I feel like Hulk still yeah, really. Like Hulk would win, Maybe yeah. I misunderstand the yeah. question because yeah, I just feel like Hulk wins. But I don't know. remember, Hulk gets uh, stronger the more pain he takes as well. So that bee's gonna have trouble. Maybe. Maybe. When your interest is peaked, what is your go-to source for WH? Oh, Warhammer 40k lore and factoids. Also high rags. 
Hi. Um, I don't know the wiki. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wiki. <laughs> yeah, I guess just idly reading that or something. I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I, I um, yeah, I, I'm not a big Warhammer guy. I, I just know if, I know a thing here and there, but not yeah. really. I, I only yeah. played a total War, Warhammer played... games and Vermintide. Yeah, yeah, I played uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. That was, that was pretty fun. Yeah, that's good. But uh, I don't know much about it. Uh, to play Devil, Devil's Advocate, could we now be following one of the time splits, meaning Kang's influence no longer applies? Again, we need to see Loki Season 2 to know what the fuck they're arguing is happening anymore, because yeah. I don't really know. We can assume some stuff, uh, but I don't know. Uh, Super Chat number one telling the crew to, s to play DRG. Deep Dragon, Rage, Garopa. Oh, Deep, Deep Rock Galactic, Galactic, I see. Deep Rock Galactic is the shit. You should yeah. all yeah, buy why? it and play it. Because I have, I've seen a lot of people play it. I have no idea what to expect. Maybe I need to. Peek so into good. It. It's really good. It's, it's really know good. What to compare it to. Apparently. Um, compare it for me. Try. Um, I don't know what I can compare it to. Which says like um, Pokemon combined with Resident Evil. No. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Call I, of Duty it's and its Guitar own thing. Hero. You. So you and up to three friends play as dwarfs, and there are four dwarf classes that do different things, and you go around underground in different ki kinds of caverns and um, underground, you know, big spaces, and you mine minerals and complete objectives and fight off um, alien bugs. And you level up characters and make your character better and better so you could complete assignments and move on to more difficult quests. And there's an excellent team play aspect that goes into it. It's very fun. I'd highly recommend. The game is just oozing with character. It's yeah. a great time. I feel you like I covered all that when I said Pokemon Resident Evil, but right. <laughs> yeah, but it base. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It really, it really does follow. Yeah. Well, you mentioned digging. Can you dig anywhere? Wow, you fucking Oops. silenced him. Nice. <laughs> huh? Too big okay, a question. Wait, what's that? I, did, I, oh. I really didn't hear your question. What's that? Oh, I had asked. Uh, you mentioned digging before. Can you dig anywhere? As far That's as I much, know, yeah. yeah. You you just dig any place. There, yeah, you, you could, like, if you wanted to... You generally don't have to... Like, a dang, the game doesn't force you to just dig for, like, no reason, you know? You generally know why you're digging and where you're doing it. But yeah, the the different terrain can get fucked up by all kinds of different stuff. Um, okay, so it's a voxel system. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. You, you can dig. That. You can dig in the ground, and the ground goes away, and you could walk into the holes that you've dug and the walls okay. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I know a lot of games, you know, aside from like Minecraft with simple blocks and everything. Like they allow you to dig, but clearly you're just digging through simple blocks. I was thinking, like, can the can the terrain still be like turned jagged or whatever, based on your actions, and just go wherever, and it's still a 3D game, not a block-based game. Because I know a lot of games will like cheat and use uh, spaces that are just context-sensitive dig or something like that. So some games cheat on that front. So I wasn't. Yeah, sure. as, as far as I know, this really is you can dig anywhere. Um, it doesn't just make you waste time digging around for no reason. Cool. I'll give it a look. Uh, every magic trick consists of three parts or acts. The first is called the pledge. The second is called the turn, and the third is called the best goddamn movie I've seen in a while. Thank you so much for recommending it, Longoid <laughs> and others. Hi, Fringy. Hey. That's yeah, neat. My favorite. Fucking awesome. Uh, here's five dollars. Thanks. Uh, my super chat's a goofed. Can only send member chats. Please look at a picture of an Indian purple frog. Indian. Indian or a purple Indian frog. Purple frog. Okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, it's. Jesus Christ, it, it looks like a frog 
fucked a like, mole. You got I, a picture? I feel like if I saw this in a movie, I'd be like, that's an interesting little alien creature. <laughs> Ew. Wait, hold on, what is it? What's it's it called? gross. It's a, the Indian purple frog. He looks like a... F a <laughs> 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 Doesn't he look like he's Guys, got a Guys, you shouldn't laugh. He's a frog? He can't do anything about this. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> this is nasty. Look at that grumpy. Look at that grumpy Holy guy. Shit. He's having he's so none of grumpy. it. <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nature is a oh, funny okay. thing. I can see this being his reaction to us laughing at him. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> No, I, no, it's I, I laugh because I love. It's it's a cute little thing. <laughs> That's what I say when I laugh at fat creatures too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! You suppose he makes any noise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely makes it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you, like if you pick <laughs> him up, will he fucking? <laughs> I think I think he'd fart. Yeah, as he flares his little he'd limbs. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> Would scream and fart. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, imagine if you picked it up and it was like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and like it skits its away really fast. We're like, Whoa! Yeah, it's really fast. <laughs> it Look at that nose. It's almost like it looks like a bulbous fat man nose. Yeah. I hope this dude's all right. I hope he's living a life. <laughs> Oh boy, good, good. Living All right, his, living his best purple frog life. <sighs> um, Fringy, I need to tell you, Molar and Metal destroyed the house you and Sargon had in Iraq. Uh, also, why does your <laughs> goo turn people into vampire things? I think Dude, this you came from another one. You definitely read this. You def, yeah, <laughs> I definitely remember this. Yeah, one. you've read this. Yeah, you've definitely read this. You really wow. have definitely read this. Definitely, you absolutely, certainly. you certainly definitely have. read this people. one. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I forgot. I'm disappointed. Oh, sorry. Wait, does that mean we're caught up to those, or or what? What's happened? No, it probably just means that person sent that more than once. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Oh. Yeah. They really wanted to know about the house. About that. <laughs> well, to give you an idea, the next one says, "Have you watched the Netflix show Inside Job Mushroom Milk?" Oh no. We Do you guys remember that one? one? <laughs> like, no, I, I certainly don't. don't. <laughs> what if I say yes? <laughs> He's like, you don't remember that? Oh. Mm. We talked like 30 minutes about it. Fringy, I got my hands on some of your goo. Experiments starting no. now. No. Oof. <laughs> nope. It's not my goo. Is it like the second someone else handles it, it stops becoming your goo? I- nobody <laughs> has it. It's just mine, so it's obviously not mine. Just process- it's just- it's called deduction. Yeah, it's like, I have your computer, it's like, clearly So there's don't. a second part to yeah, this, exactly. and it says, Mutually, any objections Frongos has is just him attempting to do damage control. Okay, well, that's, e that's, that is not a point at all. What, the fact, <laughs> so I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to say at all that what you're saying is not true, because by doing that, that must be deflection. I do love this little trick that you've employed here, where any counter to the claim that you've just thrown out there must be false. Good job. Sounds like they nailed it. I don't know. It sounds like they didn't. Sounds like they're lying. They're not a lion. They couldn't type. <laughs> Lions could probably... Uh, they'd, they'd get the message that oh my god. The, the figures you have used to dial are too fast. <laughs> <laughs> that message was fucking amazing. It's the delivery of the robot voice. Like, the yeah. fingers you have used to dial are too fat. Please, thank you, this is, oh my god. Dude, there are so many good jokes when he gets in the ice cream truck and he goes there and then the people <laughs> climb on the truck. What can I- get, get out of here, run for your lives, I'm having the caramel crunch, what can I get for 30 cents? <laughs> <laughs> and then he crashed the, I can't decide when I can't see the, uh, pictures. God, <laughs> the one where, um, he vets the gas, it's like, oh, you know, a build up of gas, it's bad, it's like, okay, vet gas, and then it just vets the gas and- <laughs> Cornfield yeah. and destroys it all. Oh no, the corn! Mr. Simons is gonna have me legs broke. <laughs> That's another good God episode. Damn. His moo moo. Now they're going. 
Mr. Birds when he uh when he was a kid, his memories when he was driving around in the little roll thing, and then he, he plows it into the Irish guy, the Irish worker. He's like, God, why are you? Oh, Mr. Birds. I mean, carry on. Just starts yeah. crushing his legs. Oh God, who look out for my little ones now? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what was I thinking about? Oh, yes, that crippled Irishman. <laughs> oh, yes, that crippled Irishman. <laughs> Mr. Burns is great. Yes, he is. You've won, all right? More than you bargained for. Oh, what was... Oh, fuck. You remember the one where I think it was Bart was working with Mr. Burns? And I think Letty had to... Uh, Letty had to say why he should keep working at the plants um, without using the the letter A, I think? No, the letter E. Yeah. I'm a good work- I'm a good work guy. guy yeah. <laughs> and, and it's like, but I didn't say you will. And presses the button, he falls down the trap door. <laughs> God, I almost- Raid Shadow Legends, I had to read in the skeezy Simpsons lawyer voice. Hi, Rags. Hi. You talking about Lionel Hutz or someone else? Oh, the the the, the one that the one that talks like this, like oh, the one that just lawyer man. Yeah. yeah. Works for Mr. Burns like all the time. Yeah. See. Uh. Yeah. Mr. Sampson. This is funny because I just looked up Mr. Burns' trap door, and one of the videos recommended it's called "The Simpsons Blue Head Lawyer Explains Legal Issues <laughs> to Mr. Burns." That's his name, Blue Head Blue Lawyer. Head lawyer. <laughs> Uh, Mola, am I cringe? You know, it, even if you are, that's not the end. There's, there's things you can do. You can come back from this. Yeah. It's not the end. As the meme goes, don't kill the part of you that is cringe. Kill the part that cringes. You'll become super-powered. Uh, cringe. So, super chats, huh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Speaking of Age We're of Ultron, there. how do the characters hold up in that movie? I know the plot is tis me, but do our heroes make it out okay? Hmm. I'm pretty sure we decided they were fine, right? Wait, what movie? I Age of Ultron. Fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we'd have to look. I'd have to really think about it. Cause I, I remember us just being annoyed talking about all the plot stuff in terms of like big character events. You know, the plot I think everyone, is just awful. everyone's yeah. mostly behaving. I think. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, I think I remember us talking about, I was annoyed at um, Scarlet Witch's turn, because it's like, how are you this dumb? Like, you thought this whole time that uh, Ultron was like a good man? Because remember, she, she, she figures out from uh, Vision's little casket that he's going to like blow up the world. And I guess at this point, you, it still reminds me of the King of the Monsters lady, where it's just like, what? Did you want to happen? I think she wanted them to. She wanted to hurt the Avengers. Yeah. It's just like, is that? What else do you think Ultron's gonna do though? Like super evil, and I think he just talks about how he's gonna make a new world. Yeah, he says, you know, hey, look, whenever things, you know, what, because he, he likes talking about God and stuff, and like, oh, meteors. It's like wipe the Earth clean. Yeah. yeah start over again. That's neat. It's, it's poetry. So, like, I think I would question just. The process. They clearly wanted those two to be bad guys for the first like half, and then become good guys, and, and I don't know that they were justified very well. Well, and Wanda's gonna probably be a bad guy again, Yay. so... Well, she already is, but, you know, like... <laughs> I think I'm happy with maybe, the idea that she's a, a villain, that's been Doctor Strange at least, but I, just, I don't know that they'll execute it well. I guess I guess my problem is I liked Wanda. And I, I didn't want her to become too. a villain, yeah. No, neither did I. She was, uh, after, since Black Widow was gone, she was like, I guess, other than Gamora, she was like the next one in terms of investment. What, but, woman? Yeah, little... or... Uh, yeah, because I guess, um, when I'm thinking about the female characters, it's still gonna be prevalent. It's like, I guess there was her, Gamora, uh, Nebula, I super invested in. I like Nebula a lot. Yeah. Um, so now, it's just, oh, we just gotta look to Guardians now, I guess. Because, <laughs> uh, Look at look at how they massacred all our lads. <laughs> the others, just Lasses, kind of everyone, rather. just sort of everybody. Everyone. Yeah, because I liked Falcon and, and Bucky. 
It's like the target is just, it's lining up with different characters as a sort of like will, and then it fires and then they get hit like with Sam and, uh, yeah. and Bucky and, Salmon? and now, oh. yeah, Sam and Bucky. Um, and then the target is now moved over to uh, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and the trigger's right there and we're like, hmm, yeah. it's we're time. Like, don't sneeze, all right? Don't sneeze <laughs> and pull that trigger by accident. And then after that, Thor. It's like, well, Thor's in a, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't know about Thor at this point. It's hard to say what character he is completely at this point. Yeah. I'll see what they decide. Mm hmm. I guess you got Ant Man just chilling out and being Ant Man. But yeah, like, big decisions like not telling anybody about Ultron when he made it, I think that was in line with Tony Stark. And I think yep. that doing it again halfway through the movie is also in line. I um, think so too. No, Cap not... obviously being opposed to it, that's totally... Yeah, and character. their decision to stay behind if they can't get the civilians out, I think that's totally fine as well. Yep. But there's other things, you know, there'd be a lot to consider. I'd have to yeah. rewatch it, I think. IJ, hello, Fringy, and greetings, Longman. Hello. Uh, Adolf, if he was alive in August 1945, the Americans... Americans built this bomb in a gar garage with a box of scraps. <laughs> it's like, well, I mean, he probably wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have gotten much further, you know, at that point. But he probably would have been annoyed. Like, how come we can't invent stuff like that, huh? And so he would have had the Obadiah Stane scenes. Very true. The Americans built this in a garage with a box of scraps. <laughs> with a box of scraps. Oh my fucking god, there's a tangerine emoji and I found it. Good for you, excellent. <laughs> tangerine. Have you ever had to do a catch-up for a super chat catch-up? We're literally doing that right now. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's happened <clears throat> probably half the time. It's, uh, yeah, because it all gets added up, you know? Yeah. I, I, I can't uh, tell if you should enable them. But... Someone please make some Ouroboros art for super chats for the, them the thematical elements. Well, the thing is, um, meme fabs are mostly recorded offline. I think all of them probably are and will be just for the copyright protection, but that means whenever we do one, we can always have a section of Super Chats that isn't getting refueled by being live, and thus, we will catch up. Right? Oh. Definitely gonna happen. We will definitely yeah. catch up. It will, it will happen, eventually. Yes. Maybe. Maybe this will be our great crusade, where it's just a never-ending catch-up. Why do we do it? Because that's what we do. Because like it has up. to be done. It's not about finishing. It's about, it's about doing what you have to do. It's about being. I all just curious about your opinion on the theme hope. I remember it being in an EFAP before, but I don't remember what you said. Do you mind repeating? On the theme uh, hope. On the theme hope. hope. I don't. I don't. I don't. Just curious about your opinions on the theme hope. I mean, it's like pretty much. I don't know what do that, that could be theme misspelled would be into. Do you think there's a misspell there, or do you think that's exactly what it's supposed to be? I think that's probably what it's supposed to be. Like the theme being hope in a piece of media, like I, a movie or something. Um. um I, have we even ever talked about the idea of just the hope as a concept? I'm not sure. I think we have, but I guess briefly, in terms of thematics, like everything else, it needs to be well executed in media, or else you might as well just send me an email saying that hope it's, is something. It's like the sun. Um, but make sure you don't have, when you deliver that message, don't have hope be an inexcuse for inaction. Or sorry, an excuse for inaction, you know? Like, don't give the idea that, oh, just hope. Things will be okay. Like, like hope isn't necessarily optimism. Be optimistic. But don't just throw up your hands and say, oh, yeah, no, things will be fine. Things will work out. You know, just have hope that things will, you know, turn out okay. Like, no, be proactive. Do things. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if, if it's like making points related to it. Like, it's a it's a, an admirable trait to have hope or not. Is it when it should be reasonable or not? Is it something that should relate to the people you're entrusting it to, to some degree? I, I'd be curious what movies typically align themselves around hope as a theme. I, I, I'm trying to think myself, but... 
like you can't be hopeless because if you're hopeless then you might not do anything because you've already given into despair and defeatism but you can't you have to have hope that things can be better but that has to be brought about by you know you you need to be the one to do something to make it happen don't you know give in to fate and hope it just works out there's a stupid line in TLJ about hope which says like the sun you should like just because you can't see it doesn't mean you shouldn't have it or some bullshit I don't even remember don't anymore believe in this <laughs> time yeah I don't uh I, I I don't know if there's anything else I can add to that I would need a bit more info but uh, hopefully that's good enough uh, what timeline are we in when congressmen are talking about anime on the house floor? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> motherfucker even knows its proper Japanese name. I... I don't know, man. Uh, news to me. So there was this congressman who, uh, he made... I guess he, he had retweeted an anime meme about, like, either himself or another fellow congressman or something like that. In the in the role of the Attack on Titan characters, and the Titans were like <laughs> members of Congress, including Biden, and so like they're discussing on the floor whether or not this is an act of violence oh, or God. an act of inciting <laughs> violence. It, it, I did it, this with Trump when he liked that CNN meme. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, he liked the CNN. CNN docks the fucking person who made it because CNN's yeah. trash and they're vile. Yeah. So this is just that all over again. So that's what happened. It was all fucking stupid because the world is a joke now. I'm just amused by somebody citing anime or whatever. It's funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But that's it. Yay! Oh boy. Uh, yeah, we're done forever. Uh, Yay! Last episode we've by. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, would, some people would be like, forever. "What the fuck?" And I'd be like, oh, "This is just gonna go." Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that. So that was the catch up. For the catch up about the Squid Game ones that we missed, so we are now back to just getting on with the backlog. But we will call it there for the next meme fap. I hope you're having a great Saturday because that is when this is coming out. Um, oh my god, you're a wizard! I know, I'm an incredible wizard. But uh, since this is well, if, if, is there anything else anyone would like to say before we we, we bugger off? Nope, I'm hungry. Tired. I'm gonna go get something to eat. No, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite hungry and kind of tired because I pretty much woke up and did this. That happens a lot. Everyone is hungry and tired, which is a great reason to say good night and goodbye, everyone at home. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donations. Hope you had some fun. Oh, and thanks for all the community content. You'll see yeah. more coverage of that. We're gonna try and get some some meme faps done uh, while yeah. normally faps are going as well. Yeah, y'all are that? insanely talented and making yeah. this a lot of fun, so. Okay, bye. Oh, goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>